I'm escaping to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Space! And apparently Russia, as we speak, is shelling the largest nuclear plant in Europe. So that's great. Um, I guess we're two minutes early. Uh, we'll pull in Bunny Tooth and we'll talk about things, I am sure. Well, while we're waiting, let me just pull that up. Because, yeah, that's fun. This will do. Can't vouch for the source, but it seems to be a uh, fairly wide knowledge at this point. Ah. <sighs>
Ukraine. Fire breaks out at Europe's largest nuclear power plant. Live updates. Ukrainian officials report a fire at the Zaporizhzhia. I can't pronounce that nuclear plant after it was shelled by Russia. Meanwhile, Ukrainian President Zelensky called on uh, Russia's Putin to meet directly for talks. I don't like that source. There's too many typos. That's not a good sign. There, Washington Times. That sounds that sounds sort of legit. Actually, CBC. CBC's better. CBC's going to be relatively modest. Ukrainian officials confirm huge nuclear power plant is on fire. Tentative agreement to set up safe routes for people leaving Ukraine and for aid to get in. Good. Canada prepared to welcome an unlimited number of Ukrainians fleeing the war. Good. Uh, yeah, so that's great. Um, the second stalker game might not be set in Chernobyl at this rate. Brilliant. All right, anyways. We're here for stupid stuff, not for serious stuff. Thank you to uh, Titan for that update. I appreciate it. Uh, we'll be joined by Bunny Tooth in a moment. Um, who may be late, which is fine. Because historically speaking, uh, modern day debate will be considerably later. So. Oh, uh, Sophia, you want on? Yeah, come on in. Definitely bring on Sophia. I didn't even think to ask Brooks and Sophia if they wanted to come on. This seemed so patently unserious. Oops, I actually called Brooks as well. Well, Brooks can cancel the call. Brooks is going to be busy, I, ex I expect. Hey, Sophia, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. Yourself? Good. You're very quiet. Is that just me? Can you try uh, speaking again? Uh, hello. Hello. Okay, I think you're doing all right. Is it very quiet? It seemed quiet on my end. That might just be my... Uh, my headset though that's been acting a bit strange lately people have been saying the audio has been fine and i've been hearing things very quietly so that's better than the usual where i think everything's loud and nobody can hear anything yee yeah, i get you so this has been a very interesting week so far uh it's been too interesting i i've almost clocked out over the past couple of days just because it's too much coming in at a certain point you really are just to keep up just sitting at your computer scanning twitter and it becomes like oh yeah Every day, every day, whenever I get up, I, I spend like two hours scanning uh, through the Twitter, the Twitter accounts that I've uh, I've followed for uh, period for like up to date, co up to date coverage from yeah. on the ground. And then before I go to bed as well. And it's um, some interesting information has been gleaned out of it. Uh, Anything stand out on your end? Um, Besides the thing I just covered, the uh, the power plant. So there's some interesting information regarding the uh, Russian IADS and Air Force may not be able to operate in tandem with one another because the Ukrainians have uh, fully intact short range uh, surface to air missile systems, which means that they not only have the. Um, Here, Sophia, they have all before you can before you continue, apparently your audio is rather quiet. Can you boost your uh, input in the settings? I can attempt to do so. Please do. Absolutely. It's, it's actually very easy. So you go into user settings at the bottom. Uh, yes, I do. Uh, okay. Yeah, you know more about computers than I do, so I'll just I'll leave you to it. Is this better? Uh, chat, let me know if Sophia's better. Why don't you just keep talking, and um, we'll okay. we'll get confirmation soon. So, um, some they have both the they have all the information in IFF to kind of like backdoor into Russian integrated air defense systems, which means they're basically able to... Oh, shoot, you're quieter. What? Hang, hang on one sec. What on earth just happened? Oh, God damn it! Stupid OBS. Every time I change the audio on my desktop, it resets the audio on the OBS to 100%, which is apparently 10% of my actual audio. Sorry, try speaking now. It should be good now. How about now? That, that looks better to me on my bars here. Roger that. I just went to push talk instead of automatic voice activity. Okay. 
Chad, it should be better now. I think I fixed it. Let me see if I can find the article here so you can uh, so you can read it. Sure. The, uh, the Twitter thread so you can read it too. Yeah. Here you go. Okay. Yeah, guys, there's a bit of latency, so um, I don't know why I'm informing you of that because you're going to be hearing this notice late as well. Brilliant. Yeah, never mind. Audio's good now. Okay, sorry. Let's see this article. I actually get paid for this shit. <laughs> okay. All right, let's look at this thing. Um, There's actually two interesting things. The one that it's the this thread itself and the one it's quoting. The other one is um, the other one it's quoting um, has basically revealed that Russia may not have the funds to actually move around they're even they're like really really sensitive vehicles um and it's causing them to like their tires to rupture to where their uh their automatic inflation systems can't keep the tires um inflated and that's why there are so many breaking down with wheels and shit but the more interesting part is probably this thread uh the one you sent or or yeah, so if you look at the thread, the ones the the the, the Twitter thread is by Trent Talenko. Well, the There's one he's, another he's, one he's quoting. But it's, it's all, also by okay. So oh, and that's the interesting one. So I'll click on that. Well, no, both of them are very interesting. One okay. implies a uh, Russian uh, Russian uh, infrastructure or not infrastructure, but logistics, and this one involves the. Uh, okay, the let, let me let me go through it quickly. I, I might go through this later on stream as well, um, depending on how the long the debate runs. Uh, okay, so what do we got here? Um, this thread is going to discuss what the loss by capture Russian army panzer, uh, the tank, uh, means for the Russian invasion of Ukraine going forward. It's bad. It's bad for the Russians, and particularly the Russian Air Force. Good. By the way, that list of captured Russian army short-range air defense gear comes from this link to all the documented equipment losses in the war to date. This is a Russian army TORM-2 surface-to-air missile complex that was captured and attacked by Ukrainian farmers. Oh, well done there. <laughs> That's so funny. Just tractors pulling it. <laughs> Oh, you can be certain that the Ukrainian um, special forces have showed up with uh, technical experts to take their technical information. I am part of a group web blog called Chicago. Okay, I'll go over this later. This does look very interesting. That's that's a very interesting development. If they're if they were actually counting on a swift um, takeover just because they couldn't maintain their vehicles, man. <laughs> That's... But basically, the uh, the summary of this thread is that the Ukrainian air, Ukrainians may be able to hack directly into uh, Russian integrated air defense systems to and can like kind of dox Russian aircraft, um, and also have they can also basically spoof Russian. They might be able to spoof Russian uh, air defense systems into targeting Russian planes, which means they can't operate both at the same time. This is like a Monty Python skit. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Oh my God. But people are dying, unfortunately. Uh, uh, yeah, th that part's not funny, but I mean, this part's pretty objectively funny. This part's going to be funnier. <laughs> oh, God help us. I'm, I'm rooting for Dylan Burns and Destiny in the same debate. A debate where both sides are wrong. Let's go. I I have no idea what to expect from Destiny and Dylan Burns, but it can't be a worse take than Jackson Hinkle. That's basically a cosmic law at this juncture. Let me see if uh, Bunny Hughes, uh in the area. No, it doesn't look like it. All right, well. I guess we wait. Has the debate started yet? No, no, no. It's it's on a. Oh, you can't see because it's not being shared. Hang on, let me uh, let me share this. You can actually see what we're what we're watching. That might improve the quality of the yeah, it up. review somewhat. There you go. No, we got about six minutes to go. Oh, just send me a link. That way you're not using up your computer's resources and it doesn't affect stream. 
Oh, we'll we'll be fine on this. It's only a problem with the um the Discord app. So okay, the okay. yeah yeah. So I haven't had any problems with this. Um, the issues I've had of uh, for whatever reason the Discord app just eats my my computer's power just completely. But um, I I I've been streaming fine because that's why I was so confused because I've been streaming for years now, just fine using um regular OBS on desktop and regular uh browser uh, Discord. So we will be okay. Are we stream snipping them? I'm not sure what that means. Um. No, we we are we are basically commenting on modern day debates. Typically irresponsible platforming, <laughs> um, but we're we're just going to be watching this debate and seeing what an absolute. I say the word shit show a lot, but I'm I can't not... think of a more apt term. <laughs> I'm not familiar with Jackson Hinkle. I know Haz. Is, is he just as much a joke as Haz is? Imagine if Haz was a semi-balding... I don't actually know what his ethnicity is, but a really, really white guy um, who, even if he was like seven feet tall, would project the image of someone um, significantly shorter for whom that is a very, very important and defining feature of their personality. Oh, damn. Yeah. And, and just, uh, he's, he's sort of a gift in a way. Um, like it, it's not, it's not common that such sinister people get such optically horrendous spokespersons, but you know, I mean, like, I don't know. Hinkle's just a very, very, very silly man. Do you... I've been noticing a, a lot lately with people getting, like, saying some very cavalier shit about the uh, the Russian people themselves. Really? Um, have you noticed that? Like, disparagingly? Um... Basically, a lot of, like, defense people saying, like, kind of equating the Russian people with the with the Russian state, even though, from what I can tell, Russian state media is still presenting this as a special operations and is not actually presenting this as a as a war. Most people don't realize that there's so that this many troops uh, committed. Interesting. I, I mean, like, I, I would never characterize the Russian people as responsible for what the Russian state is doing. The nature of the state is precisely that. I mean, but, despite yeah, despite what... its, yeah, despite it feigning being an emanation of the will of the people, it is no such thing whatsoever. It's entirely parasitic upon their productive power, the stuff that they do, yada, yada, yada. Like, it's a, it's a, it's a mob, effectively, um, especially in Russia right now. So, but I see, um, I see a lot of people just cavalierly stating that the Russian people, if if they don't, if they're not acting against uh, against the Russian state now, are uh, complicit in this. Yeah, that's stupid. Though. You can't you can't ask somebody to uh, go directly against their interests and their well being and their livelihood because you have some moral qualm with something, an entity that they are um, non consensually uh, involved with. Um, well. Or aren't even aware they're involved. With. Yeah, that, that's just that's just wrong. This isn't the Russian people's fault. This is this is something else. The Russian people have no say in this. Now, do I agree with to a certain extent with like uh, targeting um, the Russian economy such that it puts a tremendous amount of pressure on Putin's administration? Yeah, absolutely. But but the even the Russian soldiers like they they had no idea this was going on. They they had no idea what they were getting into. A lot of them are there because they would be poor otherwise. A lot of them are, um, a lot of them are drafted. Like it's, or the the word isn't the word isn't drafted. It's um, I lost the word, but you know what I mean. When there's like mandatory, uh, I guess it is a draft, isn't it? E. 
Apparently, uh, Paws debated Richard Spencer yesterday. Was that on Ukraine? I don't know. I don't follow Haas that much, and I follow. I don't follow either. Spencer even less. I don't follow either of these people. I was weirdly surprised, though, to learn that um, Spencer was pro-Ukraine, which seems an unusual stance for a lot of people in that sphere. It's it's uh, it's honestly not. There are a lot of white supremacists who got who went and volunteered for Azov, uh, or got training from members of Azov, mm -hmm. who uh, are part of like the an inter like, conscripted. International... Sorry, sorry. The word I was looking for earlier was conscripted, not drafted. Thank you, uh, Katsumi. Um, there's like uh, there's like this international kind of global network of uh, of uh, white supremacists. Uh, militants, mm -hmm. uh, which train each other and provide resources to one another, um, even between like uh, Azov and and like Russian Nazis and shit. Um, Converse contender asked President Sunday, "What do you make of Matt Dillahunty's claim that even if a communist believes capitalism is immoral, if they work a job to survive and they promote capitalism, he's an idiot. Um, you need to survive to do communism, right? Like." You don't you don't blame people who do not have any constitutive authority or power for the status quo for the nature of the status quo and the conditions of survival, which is different from somebody profiting directly from, uh, you know, selling communism or socialism as a brand and then you know playing directly into uh, specifically capitalist modes of uh, you know status projection like Hassan. But that's like the critique you feel at a, like a a mega church pastor or something. It's like you you tell people to give all they have to the poor and to donate money for for God or whatever, and then you buy yourself a private jet. <sighs> oh, bunny tooth's ready. Okay, I'm gonna pull uh, them into the call. How do I do that? How do I do that? Here we go. All right, we're just waiting now. I'm going to grab some water. I'll be right back. Oh, hello, hello. Hey, how are you hello. doing? Pretty good. Thank God you finally let me in here. I can... Oh, the fresh air. Okay, I'm going to grab some water and I'll be right back. Hang on. Well, hello, Bunny Tooth. I'm Sophia. Oh, nice to meet you, Sophia. I'm... Well, you, you already said who I am. How's your day been? Uh, it's, um, it's good. Gosh, you're beating me to it. I do not know who you are. Actually, wait, I think I have met you before. I think I met you in the server before. In this server? No, not in... Well, this is a group chat, but in the... Uh, what is it called? Discord? Um, the uh, cathedral. I'm. I rarely talk there. I think I've only talked once or twice, maybe. Yeah, it's probably. I noticed you because of your uh, your banner um, made by lesbian NRX gang. Oh, the meme I made. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I know. I know a lot about. Uh... know a lot about did you lose bunny tooth i think we lost bunny tooth oh no oh wait did you wait hold on sorry am i am i lagging uh we can you were you saying something and then you broke you broke up you said uh you noticed you noticed it because or oh you know i noticed a lot about yeah, I know a lot about them. That's not that's not really important. I guess we could talk about that later. Um, Wrong that. Yeah, I don't know why my. Okay, I guess I'm. Hopefully, I'm good now. Yeah, you seem to be so fine I'm trying now. Trying something a little bit different. Yeah. Well, hello, everybody. It should be starting any second now. So. 
I'm gonna see what uh, what's happening on Haas's uh, Twitch. Someone gave me a subscription for some reason. Pull this up. Uh, yes, that is correct. Everyone in NATO is supposed to be spending 2% of their GDP on the military, and Germany has historically only been spending about 1%. Looks like he's just waiting. So I have to update my Zoom settings, actually. Oh my god. They're having I'm technical so issues. Ready. I'm so ready for this stream. I'm, I'm like, so down. I cannot wait. Honestly, I was talking to a friend of mine about this. I think this is the perfect duo, because... You see, Destiny and Haas, they're like knights, you know? Big swords, big armor, a lot of flashiness, but their own kind of flashiness. So is Hinkle, is, Hinkle like, Burns, is Hinkle like Smo then? No, like like a squire. Like a squire. So like, it's like the two knights and their squires, you know? Mm. <sighs> I think Dylan Burns especially. He he, he seems very squire like. Look at his Squirely. hair. Squirely. Squirely, there we go. That's a word. That's English. Thank you, Sunday. Would it be squirely or squirish? I don't know. Squiroid? A squiroid? No, I don't think so, because uh Oh, wait. Because usually when you're saying, like, something is, like, it's Squire Lee, you're saying, like, you're not saying that it isn't a squire, or that it isn't pertaining to that, but it's, it has the essence of it. But when you say, like, a squiroid, you're, you're saying that it's not that, but it's sort of an imitation or something akin to it. I you're completely wrong. I could kind of see uh, just Haas coming back with like a splintered lance and Don Quixote. Jimson Dinkle just running up with. Is it? No fresh lance, sir. Exactly, you can see it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's got it's got the face for it. Look at this beautiful cover. Look at this. This beautiful whatever the fuck we call this they thumbnail. Spared... They spared no expense on this one. Russian invasion. Look at that. It's like an anime. I love anime. My thumbnail took more time and effort to make than this one did. That offends well, me. Well, I don't... Okay, actually, I don't even know how your fucking thumbnail looks like. Of course you don't. You don't pay attention to anything. Um, I'm not yet. Like literally, I was just like, okay, <laughs> let me get some pasta real quick, and then I just came onto this video. And I was like, yo, what's the, what the fuck is up? Having Sophia here honestly threw me off because I was like, wait, who is this person? <laughs> no offense at all. I can leave if you want. No, no, I need you here. You're kind of like the buffer. I'm kind of hoping Brooke shows it'll up. Just, it'll just be it'll just be clownery the, the entire way through if, I, if it's just me and Sunday because I, you know, I overpower Sunday basically. Who are you hoping shows up Sunday? Uh, Brooks. I, I doubt he will. Um, he's got a lot on his plate right now, but... It would be nice to have the whole gang on this. Oh, I love... Yeah, I do actually love this thumbnail, but it's that's more of, like, a joke. I want, like, for the debate, I want, you know, again, anime. You know what I want? This is an anime. You know, you know in, uh... You know in that, in the Warhammer, um... It used to be the, uh... The Imperial Guard when it was good... The Imperial Guard rulebook. There's a picture of that. Um, I forget what they're called, but the the commissar, like one of the major ones. It's like this really big, beefy guy, almost a space marine proportions, it's just like standing on top of the corpses of his own army as they're charging into uh, the fray, just commissar. pointing. You know who I'm talking about. I know who you're know talking who about. about. It's commissar. It's not. It's not gaunt, is it? No, 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 no. It's the it's the other, it's the one that like it's the 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 poor every man who just worked his way up. Caiaphas Kane. Yes! Cassius Kane. Um, that one. Uh, 
I want I want him with like Hinkle's face on it, but like through a number of filters, what so looks like consistent with the artwork around it, which I could do, and I should have done that, but I didn't have enough time. Um, and just just that, I'll just like replace like all the signage with like Soviet signs and whatnot. That's awesome. Yeah. That would that would be that would be beautiful, but. Here I put the uh, I put the image in the uh, the chat so you can show your chat what you're talking about. I just look at a hundred likes and yet nobody is uh nobody's even watching it because it's not ready yet. Um. Whoa! What? What did you? You you can't do that. I I can do whatever I want. I'm a president. You haven't even watched it. Sunday Whoa, Woodside videos before watching them. Hang on, Fuck hang up. on, yeah. hang on, commenter. Somebody's asking a question. Uh, Sunday, what side do you expect to win? We'll exclude the Destiny part and go with the other three. What's what's your guys' opinion on this? Who's gonna win? I think all of them are gonna have redu very reductive uh, arguments about this. Um, but if I had to guess, uh, optically, Dylan and Destiny are going to come out ahead because I know Haz is basically just incapable of not going off into some, like, wild nonsense. I think Haas is going to look re say... really good compared to uh, Hinkle. Sorry, Bunny, go on. I would agree with Sophia, but I would agree for, the di for a different reason because um, I think it's more just simply... I mean, everyone... I, like, there's not much information that will... or. or contextualization that would make that would get like most people that would watch this to agree oh yeah the russians you know invading that was like justified i, I can't i can't imagine that but to be fair i guess none I, I can't imagine anybody from hinkle or haas's side uh you know leaving their position i expect um, so this i expect I, just because like draw, I, guess. I expect just because this is how destiny is um that he's going to be extremely lackluster and weak, and the word flaccid keeps coming to mind for some reason in this debate. Um, whereas I think uh, Dylan's very yeah, I think I think Dylan's probably going to be uh, doing the most damage, and I think Hinkle is going to be an embarrassment that Haas is going to have to constantly try to compensate for, and he's not going to succeed. Um, yeah, because Dylan can hold um, hold their own on like. Uh, when it comes to like a lot of the information, but I don't think Dylan, as far as I've seen, Dylan's presentation is not that amazing. That's why I'm saying like Dylan is 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 the squire, like Dylan's a squire. But Dylan, you know, got the got the little book smarts in there. Not that I agree with Dylan. We don't we don't mention that we're here. Got, um, got some little uh, what book smarts? Yeah, yeah, we don't we don't mention that. It's oh just... yeah, I forgot. <laughs> You know, you know what I'd love to see is book smarts versus Haas. See, this is one thing that I like Haas for. When you're actually a stupid that piece, when you're actually a stupid piece of shit, and you're you're in a zone where there's no like clear right or wrong answer to this, which in this case there is. Haas and Haas and uh, Hinkle lose out of hand because they're they're taking a sociopathic position um, for pure optics reasons. Oh, Haas is live apparently starting now, but um, Haas. Uh, Haas has the great merit of occasionally punishing other people who deserve it. So, in this yeah, one though, Haas, is just ha Haas isn't to... Haas isn't stupid. The problem with Haas is that the problem with Haas is ultimately he's a sellout. So what he's doing here is he's 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 going to Haas is better than Hinkle because Haas sort of knows that he needs to like portray a little bit. Hinkle's just going to be embarrassing. Um, you don't think he believes his Kool Aid? God no. No, not at all. There, there was a time when he was like talking about like taking over the the Communist Party. Now he's just doing Destiny shit, but less successfully and complaining about it. Well, I think it's just I think it's just depression. But I think he, I think he I think he believes his his uh, his shit. I think I think I think he's still like a I think he believes he believes his shit. Infrared's rising, guys. Keep that in mind, okay? Infrared's rising. It's rising. Do you see it? I see it. What do you think those hundreds of likes are coming from? They haven't even watched the fucking video, my guy. Oh, they're coming from it's because infrared is rising. What you're saying is that the uh, the uh, the rise of infrared is hyperstitioning itself from the future. Is that what you're saying? Um. What? No. 
Okay, I'm going to agree. I'm just going to agree just simply because you used the term hyperstition. Based. But the someone who we have not, um, a ghost that we have not uh, yet uh, touched upon, is Destiny. How will Destiny do in this? What is Destiny's tactic? Oh, oh never mind. We can't talk about that. It's about to start. What the fuck is this? This is the worst intro music I've ever heard. Evidence for God? That's an what? interesting name. Oh no, that's an ad. Okay. Oh god, I, I thought it was gonna be... I thought they were switching to this. I was like... Can someone please type in like how you pronounce these names? Go... Goikovic? Goikovic. Goikovic. I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't laugh, it's just... I think it's Goichovic. Goichovic, okay, yeah, you got me. Goichovic. I think the other is... Zvirvink? Zvirvink. 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 Okay, that sounds way more badass. Than, than Zwirwink, I agree. Zwirwink. It <laughs> might be. Man. It might be Zwirwink, it might be Angus. Okay, we don't, we don't, we don't laugh at people's names, okay? I'm, oh, la well, I'm laughing at my own <laughs> silence. Tonight we're debating the war in Ukraine, and we are starting right now. God, what is with that? With infrared and Jackson's opening statement, thanks so much for being with us. The floor is all yours. Let us know the audio is, guys. Okay, so when it comes to the formation of this is the first context I want to establish. When it comes to the formation of military alliances, uh, this actually extends beyond the bounds of the sovereignty within a state's own territory. Uh, countries have an obligation to be cognizant of the geopolitical, geographic, and historical and civilizational realities that their own sovereignty is situated within. And this is specifically um, recognized by um, organizations, organizations like the OSCE, according to which, Ukraine being a member, one country, according to its founding document at least, one country's security cannot be strengthened at the expense of the security of another state. So what the OSCE establishes is that it's not just that states are just completely, totally free to just do whatever they want in terms of making security alliances and in terms of how they construct their militaries and position themselves geopolitically. There's a very delicate balance of power and security within Europe and everyone who's committed to actually preserving long-term peace, uh, which is what the OSCE is actually about, uh, has to be rec recognized the fact that there needs to be a balance of security. There needs to be a security architecture that ensures that um, there is a fair distribution of security across the continent. When this balance is tipped in one direction or the other, it creates a situation of instability and uh, geopolitical uncertainty and leads to the conditions that ultimately could lead to, to war and to conflict. So one has to keep this in mind when one is bringing up the issue of uh, the sovereignty of states. States should have a right to self-determination and states uh, should have the right to be sovereign, but they should also be cognizant of the geopolitical and geographic realities within which they reside uh, so as to not create circumstances that upset the balance of security and the security architecture. So uh, I'll give it to Jackson now. Yeah, so the next point that I think is really important is to actually, and I would like to uh, hear Dylan and Destiny respond to this when they talk, is to address when did this conflict begin, or if, you know, war, when did this war begin? The war began, and they refused to call it a war, Ukraine, the Ukrainian government refused to call it a war for eight years because they wanted to have IMF loans, and you can't give IMF loans to a country that's at war, but the war began after the 2014 coup that took place uh, on the heels of the uh, Maidan protest, which began, in all honesty, uh, without U.S. backing. I mean, there was a, a plurality of people within uh, Ukraine that were frustrated over the fact that, uh, you know, there was not going to be EU membership for Ukraine. Um, and, well, I guess there was going to be a delay in the decision. Um, and those protests began, and then eventually they decided that they were not going to take the unfair, uh, you know, deal that the EU offered them. Um, they knew that these neoliberal policies that would be inflicted upon them, upon uh, the EU, EU deal, would have hurt them much more than uh, opening up trade partnerships more with Russia would have helped them. Um, so, upon these protests, the U.S., uh, you know, began to infiltrate the movement. Uh, U.S. politicians began, uh, you know, working with uh, agencies on the ground, U.S. front agencies on the ground, like the National Endowment for Democracy, 
Uh, Victoria Newland even boasted about the fact that, you know, they funneled five, I think it was $5 billion. We'll discuss the details of the U.S. involvement in the coup uh, later on in the debate, I'm sure. Uh, but lots of money came in to these U.S. agencies on the ground to actually hijack the Maidan protests. Upon hijacking the Maidan protests, uh, violence broke out. Um, this was dissimilar to the 2004 color revolution that the U.S. also played a part in uh, surrounding the 2004 elections, which Yanukovych was also involved in. Initially reported that he won, uh, though international Western aligned uh, agencies claimed that these elections were marred with uh, with uh, corruption and discrepancies and irregularities in the vote. The uh, election was overturned then, and um, you know Yanukovych didn't see the presidency until his uh, second run. But um, after being elected, you know, uh, during these Maidan protests, U.S. In became involved. They led a coup upon the democratically elected government of Yanukovych, and after that, uh, you know, coup on the democratically elected government of Yanukovych. We saw the eight-year war begin, um, and that's the next point I want to make. It's insane to assume that uh, this war began, you know, within the past two weeks. Everyone knows that there was shelling, there was fighting in the Donbass region. Uh, the question is, when did that begin? It began directly after the coup, uh, thanks to the Western-aligned leader that was put into power. Now, these Western-aligned leaders that were put into power uh, have deep ties to the, you know, nationalist far right, uh, you know, uh, factions, radical factions within both the Ukrainian military and the Ukrainian uh, political apparatus. Uh, there's over 80 far right, you know, uh, military militias and battalions within Ukraine. Some of the most notable uh, include, of course, the Azov Battalion, which is one of the primary forces that has been waging uh, asymmetrical warfare upon the people of Donetsk and Luhansk, who they themselves took votes to recognize their independence, um, which was not, uh, which was not uh, you know, granted by Russia or Ukraine or Western states uh, for many years. Uh, though Vladimir Putin did come out and say that he respected the legality or the legality, the outcome of the elections, but he didn't actually recognize them as independent states at the time, uh, up until you know just this month. So, all in all, this conflict didn't begin uh, this week. It began during the Maidan coup. Um, asymmetrical warfare was waged against the people of Donetsk and Luhansk. In the past three years of the conflict, which is all I have been able to find data for, maybe Dylan or Destiny can provide more evidence, but uh, according to the United Nations, 81.4% of the civilian casualties in the Donbass war uh, came on the side of the Donbass, civilians dying there. Uh, and at the end of the day, uh, Russia, you know, was very, very restrained. They tried to engage in peace deals surrounding the Minsk Accord and bring peace to the region. Uh, like it or not, think it's fair or not, he did do that for eight years. Um, and in that entire time, everything I just mentioned was taking place. And these Western aligned leaders that controlled the government for different stretches of time over these uh, over this over this period um, have made a continued effort to try and join NATO, which Vladimir Putin is continuously with said, tanks, and I agree, would be a direct threat to their security. I also heard no mention of the uh, you got it. Nazi Thank you very much. on the Russian side, including literally the Nas balls and shit. For those openings, Infrared and Jackson Hinkle, want to let you know, folks, if it's your first time here at Modern Day Debate, we are a neutral platform hosting debates on... Why does James look like a hologram? On science, religion, and politics. And second, before I kick it over to Who's Destiny and Dylan for their opening, if you haven't have a question, feel free to sign point. up into the old live chat. 100% of Super Chats tonight are going to wor Worldwide Orphans, and you can also tag me with at Modern Day Debate in the live chat. Well, we know he's not because this uh, airing this debate violates one of the laws of robotics. To submit a question as well. Thanks so much, Destiny and Dylan, for being with us. The floor is all yours for your openings as well. So Putin has been saying, it's been quoted as saying, said multiple times that the greatest geopolitical catastrophe in the last century has been the collapse of the Soviet Union. I think if we look at the actions of Putin, not just in Ukraine, but in other countries and other states within Russia around the world, I think we can see that 
Putin's goal is to rebuild some sort of new body that resembles the lost Soviet Union. Whether that's going to be the Union state that includes Belarus, Russia, and perhaps some future Ukraine or not remains to be seen based on how well the yeah, Ukrainians can resist Russian, Russian aggression. Empire. Hang on, hang on, sorry, what? It would be more accurate to say the Russian Empire. Uh, Putin has been advocating for de, uh, de-Sovietification or decommunization. He wants more of a, he wants to go more back to the empire. Right, he envies the extent and the power of the USSR, not uh, not its ideology. Or not envies it, but he, he wants a return of that. But it seems pretty clear that Putin has a huge drive to rebuild what he sees as one of the, um, as I guess, his fond memory of the of the Soviet Union. The idea that, uh, in, in terms of individual claims, I guess we'll start going through the history, but I mean, almost everything you said is, is either half wrong or just completely wrong. The idea that y Europe was offering them an unfair <laughs> deal, one of the biggest reasons why they required that EU deal was because Russia themselves began to put blockades on certain imports for Ukraine just because they thought that the president was looking towards the European Union for a deal. Um, the idea that the Russian deal was better when the European deal would have just allowed them access to the markets while the Russian deal was literally a um, an exclusive deal that would have forbade them from trading into other markets is hilariously stupid. Um, the idea that this conflict began in 2014 is also just completely wrong. There have been foreign policy experts, I can find papers back since 2010, claiming that Crimea was under threat of invasion from Russia and it was invaded. Russia has been consistently working with disinformation campaigns among actual military aid to places like Donbass or Crimea. Right. Just, just Watch, watch Jackson Hinkle laughing. Right now, there is a nuclear power plant, the largest in Europe, that is on fire because of Russian shelling. He just tried to argue that Russia was trying to keep peace in the region. Yeah, um, since at least 2010, if not earlier, there's been a long and a rich history of corruption. Which I suppose if you burn everybody to ashes, there's not a whole lot to disturb the peace after the fact. In Ukraine, whether we're talking about people that used to actually be in the Soviet party that became leaders <laughs> of Ukraine, or we're talking about... What's up? the desert will be peaceful exactly compensation for the brain damage about to be incurred thank you zero about people that more or less wanted to be putin stooges later on like um <clears throat> like uh yanukovych or yanukovych or jackson um i guess we'll get into the individual history of any of these particular things but um yeah, that's uh, the, the idea right now today that Russia is somehow justified in their aggression and their taking over of any of the Ukrainian territory, um, whether that's when they took over Crimea in 2014, whether that's the eastern territories that they're trying to take over now or the rest of Ukraine that they're trying to take over. I think it's just absolutely absurd. Uh, I would echo something that Haas said in the very beginning of the debate, that one country's security cannot be increased at the expense of another. That's a hilarious statement coming from somebody trying to defend the neo-imperialism of the wannabe Soviet Union. Uh, and I'm curious how you guys will defend this in the conversation coming forward. Okay, so I guess the best thing to do would be start with, um, I guess I'll start in 2004, since I know more about like recent Ukraine. What one point of uh, interest that I, I, I note in this conversation, so you have these two jackasses on the left who are laughing while this is being said, while well, you have like children and normal people being having their lives completely destroyed irreparably, um, if indeed they survive. Um, th these are two people who, as far as I'm aware, have never actually had to work a job that put calluses on their hands in their life. Uh, Destiny, I know for a fact, did because he was a carpet cleaner of all things. That's a brutal job, by the way. Like, it's not like... It's not like construction, you're not like exposed to the elements, but it really, it, it does it does what it on you. I don't know Dylan Burns' uh, background, but I do know he didn't come from riches. Um, so the the right-hand side of this is the closest representation of the working class you have in this in this conversation. Yeah, I think this I mean, just kind of shows that they're not going to, they're not going to do so hot, because if anything, like, okay, so the majority position is no, right? So if anybody should be laughing... Um, is Destiny and Dylan Burns? They have that luxury, but it, I mean, well, it just, it just shows like, they have it just shows they have, have no that. regard whatsoever for the people who are actually paying for this. Like none. This they're, this is about looking confident on stream. Destiny and Dylan could be laughing justifiably, but they're not doing so, and I, I appreciate that. Sorry, go on, Sophie. I was gonna say, yeah, the the two on the left are completely and totally unserious. This is Destiny and uh, Destiny and Dylan's debate to loot to. Uh, to lose, um, and they're not—they're not the ones making this mistake. Let's keep going. 
Ukrainian history. So the Orange Revolution, which uh, I respect the Ukrainian people for taking power into their own hands to stop an election that was stolen, as was confirmed by the Ukrainian court system in 2004. And you, we call it a coup, or it was a coup of Viktor Yanukovych. What was failed to mention is that after the Ukrainian courts decided that there was large-scale fraud committed on behalf of Viktor Yanukovych in 2004, is that there was a revote. And after the revote was done, once international monitors were now involved in the situation, uh, that's when Viktor Yanukovych lost the 2004 election. And so the Orange Revolution, that is usually uh, cited here as a coup, what is not mentioned is just like in the 2014 coup, there is an election after both of these instances. In 2004, there was a revote. And in 2014, after Viktor Yanukovych was impeached, he then fled the country, and there was another democratic election where somebody was democratically elected. There was also another election in 2019 where Zelensky won with about 73% of the vote. Uh, I respect the Ukrainian people and taking the power in their own hands to take back their democracy in both instances. I would also like to talk about, uh, we're talking about, I know both of these people uh, care about sovereignty a lot here. Uh, in both instances, both in 2004 and 2014 and before it, the Russian state has meddled in the affairs of Ukraine on multiple occasions, fomenting corruption, uh, directly getting involved in elections, and directly getting involved with Ukrainian politicians and basically sponsoring them on behalf of the state. They have gotten involved in the affairs of Ukraine, and it's not that surprising that you're going to see protests against politicians like Viktor Yanukovych, and you're going to see the Orange Revolution in 2004 when a foreign state meddles in the internal affairs of another state. So it's strange for me to hear all this concern about America uh, interfering in the internal affairs of the Ukrainian government in 2014, when there was so much of it going on ever since the creation of, uh, ever since Ukraine voted with over 90% of the vote to separate from Russia in the early 1990s. I would also like to cite, since it hasn't been brought up by anyone, uh, that Russia guaranteed in 1994 in the Budapest Memorandum to not invade uh, Ukraine after it gave up its nuclear weapons and to respect the nation's territorial integrity. I would also say the spirit of that was also violated when they meddled in the internal affairs of Ukraine in both 2004, 2014, and many other instances. Uh, besides that, I heard a lot about concern about the far right, uh, but I heard no concern about, for example, the Russian uh, National Unity Movement, which is a, a Russian neo-Nazi political and uh, militia group that is active under the arm of the Donetsk People's Republic. They are a neo-Nazi militia that has been fighting on behalf of the Donetsk People's Republic for a very long period of time now. And so for me, this claim of denazification or this at all having to do with denazification is ridiculous to me. Not only are Nazis fighting on behalf of Russian back troubles, but there's also instances of, for example, Belarus, the leader of Belarus, which is involved in the conflict, praising Adolf Hitler, saying Germany reached its peak under Adolf Hitler. And not only that, but also we can talk about the Chechen fighters, for example. In Chechnya, they have put homosexuals in concentration camps. Now, I don't want to talk about the deep history of the gays in Nazi Germany, but if there's anything that is Nazi-esque, I would say putting homosexuals in concentration camp would solidly fall under that category. This doesn't even have to do with polling data when we talk about anti-Semitism between the two countries or the fact that the Azov Battalion's political party, which is something that's cited on multiple occasions, has not won a single seat in Ukraine's parliament. You can add the right sector as well. The right sector has not run a single seat in Ukraine's parliament either. Now, maybe if you added a three-finger party, you can get one seat out of 450, but this idea of the Ukrainian Nazi state that's being taken on by the Russians is ridiculous when the Russian government and the republics that Vladimir Putin has recognized is fighting with neo-Nazis. It's simple that the Slavs of Europe obviously have a bad memory with neo-Nazis, and it's really easy to convince your population that the enemy is bad if you call them all Nazis. If in this debate I said, uh, you know, my two opponents here are neo-Nazis, it would justify me being uh, extremely uh, terrible towards both of them because nobody likes Nazis as long as you're a normal person. Uh, we can probably get into specifics of uh, U.S. involvement in 2014. Uh, and the like labeling of as a coup, we can get uh, more into the Budapest memorandum. I'm hoping to get more into that, but I'll just end my statement there for now. I would also like to add on amends to Dylan's statement that I would like to congratulate the neo-Nazi country of Ukraine for being the first country outside of Israel to have its two highest level political positions held by Jewish people, which is an amazing achievement for a supposedly well, because, because neo-Nazi the Nazis, country. The Nazis uh,
opening oh, statements. Oh, opening statements. Yeah. Oh, you, you oh my good opening wait, statements. Wait, you can't I, mean, I mean, they wait, do it. Hold on one sec, gentlemen, keep gentlemen. Crying. They do it. There, there are still five minutes left for. Yeah. Thank you. you. Want, well, you if we're gonna play, yeah. Now we got factors. I do want to say, okay, that it isn't that surprising that these people couldn't respect the rules of rules of debate when the Russians are not respecting the rules of war in multiple cities across Ukraine. Sorry, almost as though they were trying to improve the security of their opening statement by violating the security of ours. Unbelievable. I hate it. I all right. So I'm gonna use the mute button liberally tonight just because i really seriously want this to be a, a fruitful conversation so i agree any Thank last you. words from Good luck with that. Dylan in terms of that opening uh last word just for context before we get into uh debating the ethics of the azov battalion this is a fighting force of maybe 2,500 people of whom 10 to 20 percent are supposedly neo-nazis out of ukrainian army that has over 200,000 active military personnel the idea that ukraine is some hotbed of neo-nazi activity is just hilarious having both a prime minister and a president that are jewish like it, it's it's one of the biggest driving forces that putin uses to try to push his population against ukraine it's absolutely pure propaganda all right i think we're are we good here dylan i've got a few more minutes anything else you want to um i mean i could just list off uh like russian war crimes in ukraine uh <laughs> since they talked about that uh the targeting of civilians and kurasan <laughs> the targeting of i mean he's laughing uh demented as usual mm -hmm. um targeting of civilians all across ukraine didn't you uh, address me you're full of shit. they're not doing I, oh! I can i can address oh, all okay. i want my goodness see oh, he's I, laughing I, I can I, I can comment you, on that. Do have, there is there are about three minutes and fifteen seconds left for Destiny. Dude, tell him to stay on topic. Don't don't make comments directed at me, Pillsbury. I Pillsbury. can. It's a debate. It's a debate. <laughs> what do you mean? Don't make comments directed at you. Do you want to just, just think, make long wait, speech? Follow that long think, speech. Do you think? Do you think it would be no, would it be considered a war crime when um Yushchenko, uh didn't that guy say that he was really crazy? He had like Agent Orange poisoning or whatever. <laughs> that, uh, that there was kind of a random thing when he was running against Yushchenko. This is kind of strange. All right, I'm sorry. When he's running against uh, Yanukovych, that was kind of a little weird, strange. Right? A little strange. I mean, but you yeah, know. Am I randomly, look, you know? Hey, hey, hey. Amongst it's a little the, strange, all the journalists. Wait, what the? Look, look at that. Look at that. Just can't stop. See, again, more evidence that uh, pro Russian uh, individuals in this conflict just can't follow Jesus, rules of engagement. Anyway, on the table. Okay. <sighs> this is fucking awesome. Um. Okay, so very, very quickly, because I don't think they're going to be serious anymore. What do we, what do we think of the opening debut as, as we, as we're calling um, it now? Destiny and Dylan won that. They completely and totally blew out their arguments. Absolutely agree. They just fucking slapped. They just, I don't know what the fuck they put on the table. That was like, that was the gob of ghoul. That's exactly what, <laughs> what is needed here, right? There's a little bit of comedy. They got the comedy in there. They got a little skit. They're like, oh, we got time. They got the men tat here. Dylan Burns coming in with all this information that I, I, I don't know what the fuck. What the fuck they're talking about? But either way, this is this is crazy oh, cakes. I know what he's talking about. Uh, so on both sides, uh, Russia, Russia and Ukraine operate various neo-Nazi and far-right organizations. Um, in tan in against one another, and it's very easy to to um, like you said, it's very easy to weaponize. Uh, the Slavic experience of being under Nazi occupation to galvanize support against another. Um, the argument that uh, that uh, that this is denazification is completely and totally uh, totally uh, unserious. It's it, it's a it's a blatant fabrication. Yeah, I, I can imagine. That. I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't, for... have, I don't need like a whole history lesson on this. I just I just don't know about. I just don't know a lot about the situation. It's such but, a strange, yeah, awesome. it's such a strange tact to take for uh, Haas as well, just because he's been trying to construe communism as being essentially conservatism for the last few months now, leading up to this. So, yeah, I'm like, pretty he, sure he's, he's wanting to. He he's been explicitly he's like... trying to close the gap between. What do you even call him? Like between people like him and and the radical right, anyways. And when you watch his engagements, yeah. he is spectacularly kind um, to, like, Keith Woods and, and Joel something or others types. I can never yeah. remember his last name. Patriotic socialism. I think they call him Potsies, right? Uh, that, that's the name. That's, that's the, the word. That's that's beautiful. I love that. That's, that's <laughs> gross. Oh, my God. Please, oh. stop. You're welcome. You're welcome for that's that. That's terrible. I, I hate that. I don't want to say it. Oh. Yeah, we can continue. 
That was a good one. Okay, uh, very quickly before we go in, how are they going to reply? Are are they going to are they going to be able to retort, or is just going to is just going to devolve from here? I think they're. I think it's going to devolve. I think they're just going to like, just. I think they're just going to get into. They're going to chair. They're going to keep their like little. There are two or three like facts that they brought up. I don't know if they're facts. Um, it's basically just just, just what if what if we oh, just look, they're going in because they're Nazis. They're it, it's... going in because they're Nazis, and they'll just basically be like. They're not, but barely any of them are Nazis. What are you talking about? It's like, no, but it's basically like just, Nazis. it's basically just start roasting. Am I muted? It's no, no, you, okay. Sorry, sorry, I just need to... I am in charge here. Um, it, it's well, last time it didn't go so well. <laughs> it's basically just parroting uh, Putin's propaganda word for word. There's, there's nothing original there at, at all. Um, Sophie, you want to take bets? Are they gonna? I I'd have not. Haas has is like completely and totally like I said before he's completely and totally unhinged. I have no idea where he's gonna go with it. So, and I don't know anything about the other dude. I think he's gonna be completely incapable. That's what's kind of surprising me about this. But we'll we'll keep going. Civilian uh, critical civilian infrastructure has been targeted in Maripol. Civilians have been bombed in Kurasan again and again and again. Kindergartens have been targeted. NGOs like Amnesty International Ooh, brought off right the now in violation of the Geneva Convention. I believe that the largest nuclear reactor in the world has been hit multiple times. It is currently on That's fire. That's true. That's happening in right now, actually. True. It's we don't have reports the... yet. I think I saw an RT article saying Ukrainians themselves were shooting handguns at it in order to. Uh, foment like false did you did we check to see if there was a swastika on the side of the nuclear reactor it could be a nazi nuclear there was a picture of a swastika that was released by russian state media but it later came out that it was part of call of duty war at war so it was anymore that was the end of our opening statement we rest our case all right want to let you know folks as mentioned, if it's your first time here, Modern A Debate is a neutral channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as we have many more debates coming up. And want to let you know our guests are linked in the description if you'd like to hear more. Last about, but not least, gentlemen, really, during this open conversation, I really do need you to work with me. It really does have to be that you're not speaking over each other. No, you don't. You're the moderator, James. Because that, of course thwarts our own purpose of having the debate if people can't hear people because they're speaking over each oh other so God. we're going to go into open conversation please play or, fair please it's all yours well where do we want to start gentlemen <clears throat> um i'll start since you guys just went by responding to well, i mean there's a, there's a whole lot to pick through there but uh dylan did make the inflammatory claim that uh, that yanukovych was impeached and um, despite the fact that Dylan claims to be an expert on the matter, yada, 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 foreign policy expert, he seems to have lost out the fact that Yanukovych was actually not uh, impeached per the constitutional requirements in Ukraine. In this fact, is a, I would like to finish. This is, finish. This, well, let me finish because you happen to not know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So he needed, there needed to be three fourths of the parliament to guarantee an impeachment. And they did not reach that. Uh, they did not get those three quarter votes in order to impeach uh, Yanukovych. And uh, the Supreme Court and the constitutional courts were not involved. They did not recognize this as an impeachment. Um, I believe it was the following day or maybe two days after Yanukovych decided that his life was under threat and he was going to flee to the second largest city in Ukraine. He did, he fled by, uh, by helicopter. And there was actually reports. The reason why he fled by helicopter is because there was reports that there was going to be a uh, you know a, a act of violence upon him committed by these far right wing forces that were trying to lead this coup. And in fact, upon his um, you know his his, uh, his the series of cars that were supposed to be carrying him off to Kharkov when he was leaving, when in fact he was in a helicopter, they were fired upon by snipers. So uh, he was not uh, he was not impeached. There was no constitutional requirement. They didn't get enough votes. So I don't know why you said that. Well, number one, it is a debate that is ongoing in Ukraine, whether he was legally or not legally impeached. This has been... <laughs> OK, you could continue. To... OK, you can continue to laugh. So why did okay. you say that he so was? You didn't, you didn't let me you didn't let me you didn't let me finish. OK, it's an ongoing constitutional debate on whether he was legally or non legally impeached. Obviously, why is there a debate? Hold on, let's yeah, just give a minute, James, just James. a minute or two for Dylan to respond. 
Okay. It is a ongoing legal debate within Ukraine. And I honestly, I am going to appeal to the legal scholars in Ukraine, which said that he was constitutionally impeached. I'm going to appeal to them because I'm not a legal expert. And I know Jackson Hinkle, you're not a legal expert as well. But I do want to bring up here for a second that this is probably the first time I've ever seen Jackson in favor of a of a regime change war. And can They're we also talk about way? Let me appeal to the scientists. We'll give you 30 Let seconds. Me, I got to give you 30 well, seconds and then we got to kick okay. it over. Haas, if you want to talk about science for a second, can we talk about the claim you made that the Ukrainian government was working with the American government to make bioweapons that would target Russian DNA? Uh, there have been reports that the bio labs that are operating within Ukraine, that the Ukrainian government is allegedly solely operating, were indeed what? like this is an allegation by the Russian embassy. And I'm going to appeal Do you to you. have the, any evidence? I, well, I'm going to appeal to the experts at the Russian <laughs> ah. embassy. Who <clears throat> A weapon to blast metal gear? What? What is going on here? This I is like, what I, I said about Haz being unhinged. This is what I was talking about. Honestly, yeah, you you yeah, you need some looties and tunis for that one because I, I honestly was thinking like, okay, Haz is unhinged, but well it's, okay, I guess I should have kind of seen this coming, but yeah, what were we gonna say someday? Um, I, I just I'm just amazed that this comes out and his immediate reaction is is not to challenge the framing of what he said. Or to say that no, I was making a more modest claim da, 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 about this. And I'm not actually stating that this is the case, you know, like what, what somebody would normally do if they speculated about something that's like patently insane. Um, he just immediately goes into like a matter of fact explanation of his sources. <laughs> it's like that <laughs> targets Russian <laughs> DNA. What like well, it's like well, hang, hang on, no, no, there, there. Well, well, hang on. There, there's precedent for this, right? That's what the Federation did to the Klingons during the. Uh, the, the Klingon war. That's why um, first uh, yeah, first course, season. Yeah, that that's one. why first season ones don't have the brow ridges. Yeah, it's, they don't talk exactly. About like if it's in Star Trek, you know, it's in like if you think about like three D printers. Like we have three D printers today, right? Which is no, the, exactly. The it's 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 basically a replicator, just a slow replicator. Yeah, like if you look in Spy Kids, for example, because you know that's that's my source right now, because Dugan, um, Spy Kids, you know, they got the same thing got like mcdonald's and stuff if you didn't know that's actually how mcdonald's is made they actually just put it in a replicator microwave and just press a button and voila can i just say that i think i think has is just like torpedoed their entire side of the argument forward but my interest but my interest has grown considerably so let's keep going so you have, okay, so you, well, so yeah, I'm just like, just, I'm going to appeal to the scholars on um, military uh, threats, what, the military apparatus of the Russian foreign ministry. I'm going to appeal to the scholars of uh, the Russian military who I trust them. I'm not an expert in uh, the intel that all they have okay. and all Which that Which scientist stuff. has backed that up? Any scientist? Those are Russian military ex uh, foreign relations experts, and they know what's going on. They have the intel. It's the GRU. I don't know which what which have. ones, which ones. Wait, okay, okay. which legal then a few, which legal scholars uh, in so, particular? So my yeah, question: yeah, Which so legal is, scholars is are arguing that the hang on? Which which scholars are arguing that Ukraine isn't developing uh, genetic weapons to target Russians? <laughs> Impeachment was legal then. So you're fine with me appeal. So my it's pro it's a problem for me to appeal to legal scholars, but it's not it, it's a problem for you to do I'm that. just applying the same, the same standard thing? you're applying to me. But you were laughing when I was doing that as if it was yeah, a ridiculous thing to do, but you're standard. doing the same so it's I'm okay. Applying then. The same standard. So then all we can, I can say is that mm -hmm. uh, the, I don't believe that the Russian uh, foreign ministry would be lying about this. I so you do believe so. okay, could how would that be done exactly? How would you target Russian DNA with biochemical weapons? How would that work? Definitely considering wait, you, don't, made, you don't know that there's wait, 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 you don't know wait, that me, there's biological finish, weapons. Let me finish. Let me finish. You don't know that there's weapons. Oh, hold on one sec. To, to be fair, like no, James, shut up. Don't stop this. Do you not know that's okay. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Look at him. You don't know that's a thing. Let me finish. Guys, seriously, just, just to be fair. Is James an idiot? Why the hell would he ever pause that? This is... Ugh. Fair to infrared. I, I, James has some uh, some type of ridiculous notion that he's... This is actually, like, serious discur discourse. Um, that any meaningful conversation is going to come out of this. He's just completely and totally in the dark about There's how... no way in hell he's not... No, there's no way in hell he doesn't know what he's doing. Like, this is 100% a cynical venture where he just drags on people to make 
lol cows are themselves publicly while he collects money from super chats. Like he he knows this. He's not stupid. But like he, he I disagree. He's not stupid in that way, okay? I, I don't I don't like this channel at all for reasons I've given, but uh thank you, Jared. I, I appreciate that. Um it's it's just ugh. Which is why you should watch Sunday instead. <clears throat> exactly. You you should come to the Sunday showdown. Oh oh yes. Don't be a, a wimp and watch modern day debates like Sunday and me and Sophia are watching right now. And I'm I'm a I'm don't a tyrant. A... I'm a tyrant when I moderate. I don't ask permission. I just mute you and then I tell you what you will do if you want to live. Let's keep going. Chance to answer that last question, Dylan. And I promise I'll kick it right back to you. Okay. Right. Yeah, finally, uh, you don't know that that's a thing, that there's biological weapons that are being developed that sp target the specific DNA of specific peoples, that the uh, U.S. was accusing China of developing this and vice versa for China. Like, you don't know about that whole thing? My problem is it's very difficult for Putin on one hand to talk about the united, like, the history of both Ukraine and Russia and to have the amount of, like, relations between yeah. Ukraine and... What? Yeah, we know they share DNA. <laughs> Yes. So, how are you going to make biochemical weapons that target them. Russians? Ask but them. there's no there's no evidence for this. Well, can can we actually can we just there's ask some no, more well, reasonable questions? Wait, no don't you evidence. think it's why, why there's, do we there's... why would we trust the Russian state media who is trying to, it's not to the state like media, fabricate it's, uh, the Russian embassy? Let's let's, let's which give... is a... what? It's the Russian representatives of the state, not the Russian state. Okay. Well, no, it's not. It's like it's like the Russians like state's cousin. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> which is 30 seconds and we'll kick it over so you and really or jackson no. if i were to try to tell you that i know that iraq has weapons of mass destruction because the u.s state Department, this was not the which, pretext for oh, russia oh my god wait is there an echo in my was that my you voice guys, echoing because it's pivoting it this so is this was not the pretext the for its special operations so it's not a relevant debate we have to it's off topic listen you started this debate bitching about not being off topic apparently we have to so i hate to do this just let's finish. give it another 30 seconds to Destiny. We'll come right back to the infrared. Okay, I just, I don't understand because I don't think the Kremlin Gremlin would be happy if I were to cite the U.S. State Department when the United right, States is please. trying to enact no, not, like not a gonna unilateral have... war against another country. I don't think I'd be able to say, well, the okay, United States not... has this thing. You would need no, some sort want... of like external are... European Union Obviously. body or UN body or somebody uh, looking into something. Wait. So for no, Russia that's James, trying not... to justify right, a this... unilateral invasion of a country to say that like, well, their embassy said that this was a bioweapon, I don't think that's a good, I don't think that's fair. I feel bad for you, Jax. Yeah, if this <laughs> infrared, you gotta do Yo, a favor. You wait, hold on. You're gonna unmute yourself. Come on, you gotta work with me here. Oh, but so I'm gonna I'm gonna take his. <laughs> He's unmuting himself. Oh, I'm sorry. Since Why would you give him the ability to unmute himself? Because James okay. doesn't James doesn't know how to. James doesn't know how to stop him. That's why he doesn't understand the technology. They're on like a Zoom or something. It's Sunday. I think I think you may be wrong though. I think. Um, cause you said Haas is gonna have to like drag Jackson. Along. Oh yeah, no, this is, this is a total Haas, reverse of Haas what I expected. Along. Jesus Christ. Oh my, ha like look at Jackson. He's, he's the knight now. And Haas is just the old knight who's basically become like the Jackson, wise old Jackson, man. Jackson, Jackson. Strong all the time. Jackson. Did I not say Don Quixote earlier? Jackson, there we go. What no, no, guys, no. Guys, prophecies. Guys. What's going on? J Jackson, Jackson is not the knight. Jackson is the little girl in the white with the teddy bear walking amidst the ruins, shell shocked and crying. That's that's what Jackson. Oh my right god! <laughs> so right. we're not going to play now those games. Your... You can have insult me, he's but just do it in his, your time. He's gonna, he's gonna sit infrared. his little you bitch can... ass gnome ass down and fucking put some respect <laughs> on this. What did he just say? Gnome, <laughs> gnome ass down. Wait, was he trying to say no? Yeah, you say gnome. Okay. That's how you pronounce it, right? It's like well, that's like, how we. It's, know, it's how we. It's, it's a how meme. We... It's a meme from a couple years ago. The people would would post it, and it would be like, "I'm not a gnoblin. I'm not a gnelf. I'm a gnome." Oh, well, that's that's got a history. Oh, that's like, that's less interesting. That's if, awesome. if he was actually just mispronouncing it, I would have I would have preferred that. Well, he does well, mispronounce ableist. Okay. I am gonna fucking cut him off. 
Now, if this was the pretext for Russia's special military operation, you would be right. We wouldn't need that evidence to be provided. But that's not the fucking pretext for the special military operation. It's another type of allegation, the details of which have not been disclosed to the pu fucking public. So arguing about it is fucking pointless. You want to know my fucking opinion? I trust that they wouldn't make this up because they don't mm -hmm. need to because they have plenty of, uh, enough such as the fact that the Ukrainian government is infiltrated by anti-Russian neo-Nazi forces. And we're going to talk about that, actually. You said that because Zelensky is Jewish and that there's Jewish representation in the Ukrainian government, that there couldn't possibly be neo-Nazi sympathies rampant in the Ukrainian ruling elite. I never said that there weren't neo-Nazi well, sympathizers. Let's, let's there the might question. be sympathizers, let's but that's not, that's not what your initial First allegation all, was. Was mm -hmm. Nazism solely defined by anti-Semitism? No, it was primarily... Anti-Semitism, actually... If he doesn't mention, um, like, people in Trump's circle, then this is kind of a stupid argument. Wait, what? Not Neo-Nazism is not defined? Nazism isn't defined by anti-Semitism? That was, like, their main focus. Yeah. Above all things. The, the, the retort that Infrared could make here, though, is, again, like, you wouldn't say, for example, that there wasn't uh, far-right influence in the United States um, because Trump had uh, people in his circle who were Jewish, right? Um, so, I mean, like, it's... Because I, I think he had, I, I forget the, the details, but it was sort of, or it, was, it was made mention or of as like a, it was made mention of as a defense of, of his being far right or being like a, an aide to the far right that he had like Jewish family or something. I, I can't remember the details. Yeah, it's his son-in-law, Jared Kushner. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And his daughter, his daughter convert, is, a, is a convert. But another example would be like Netanyahu himself, who is very, very buddy with like, with like, neo-nazi affiliated uh politicians in uh austria and alternative for deutschland uh in germany um as well as um what's his name in fucking hungary uh, um, oh uh or uh Bol no, not bolsonaro bolsonaro's bolivia um shoot what's his name you just say bolsonaro's bolivia you should be ashamed of yourself he's brazil brazil sorry uh Victor Orban. Orban, thank you. Sorry, all these words sound the same. It's just, it's all B's and R's. But yeah, um, Israel, like the uh, Likud has been like, the Likud government has been like providing arms to like arms and propaganda and support to various far right and alt right groups uh, and weapons even um, for literally, literally decades. Um, Mainly because it helps the the national uh, argument that the uh, the diaspora can't be safe outside Israel. So, I, I I'm just surprised it's not bringing up an example like that. Is is the is the gist? Because that's that seems like the obvious go to, but was just a subset of the pan-European supremacism that defined Nazism. They could they were anti-Semitic because they considered Jews to be foreign to Europe. Right. The main thrust actually was targeted toward Russians who were considered Asiatic and Slavs to the east in general. Wait, who? And they wanted to enslave wait, and wait, who, who, who? the Russians, too, and the Slavs, who, too. Huss, who the fuck asked? Nobody cares. Huss, this has nothing to do with what we're now, talking about. No, it does. Let's, because let's, the fact that Zelensky is Jewish doesn't fucking Oz, mean that the Ukrainian more. government can't have neo-Nazi sympathies. Stepan Bandera who is a Nazi collaborator during World War II, is widely celebrated in Ukraine by the Ukrainian government. They're putting monuments by him. They're putting his pictures up during Maidan. He's been exonerated and he's been rehabilitated, despite the fact that he was a fucking Nazi collaborator. Now, if you can't square that consistency with the fact that Zelensky is Jewish, you should go as Zelensky himself, why he's the head of a state that is celebrating a Nazi collaborator despite so, him being of the Jewish background. So are you saying that the Russian Nazis like Jews? They're fine with Jews? I mean, the Ukrainian Nazis. They're fine okay, with Jews. Okay, hold on, like hold on. Jew actually, I actually have everything to do on this. To be fair, actually, to the whole, like, Jewish point, um, or really more against it, I mean, you can kind of say the same thing with the United States. Like, just because we had a black president doesn't mean that the United States is not extremely utterly anti-black well that's the point i was making before like with with the sort of the reverse case where um as what a defense you, what do you mean racism ended in 2008 there have been yeah, no course. racial problems or ethnic tensions since oh fuck exactly. i forgot i had that whole debate with bosh for nothing damn All right <laughs> yeah but i'll just set time to cancel yeah, my just... channel it's over turn it in we've won that's a question you um, should raise to them. And yes.
Oh, I was going to say, yeah, this is uh, unfortunately true. There is a massive campaign to kind of um, rehabilitate Stepan Bandera. Stepan Bandera. You cut off there, Sophie. We're used to round up... Uh, Roundup escaped Jews were were like even considered even more brutal than the SS, um, so that is unfortunately true. Well, no, I'm asking. Uh, well, I'm asking you. I'm not. I'm raising the yeah. question to you. They may they may harbor anti-Semitic views, but as far as I'm not concerned, there is nothing in there is nothing impossible about the idea of Western Ukrainian who are from Jewish descent to mm. also have neo-Nazi sympathies themselves. Okay. Having sympathies for somebody that might have been a national hero. Primarily... Now, Katsumi makes the point, and I can't vet this. Uh, Bandera, who has mentioned, has also been promoted by the USSR. So, not by Putin, to be clear, but. Yes, he was. That is also true. Oh, I'm and sorry. I, I don't want to interrupt you. We've given you a good amount of time. Mm -hmm. we, let's kick it over to Steven, and then Jackson, just so... after, after Steven, just in case mm -hmm. Jackson has anything to. So this is like Nazi prop or not on Nazi propaganda. It's hard to tell the difference. This is like a uh, Putin propaganda 101. Okay. So the original claim was that the government was full of like neo-Nazis. And is. now it's shift. It is. Infra. Am I done talking? Holy shit. Now the claim is moved all the way back to, well, there is a hero that was pretty inarguably a neo-Nazi that some people in Ukraine celebrate. Not this is some, a totally not some totally the whole Ukrainian to government. Totally no, it's not. It's, he's an incredibly he is an incredibly divisive figure, and there is an incredibly divisive figure, even even in Western Ukraine, okay, the, the United States. Can, am I? Can I finish a fucking sentence? Holy shit! This isn't your Spencer debate. We're going to ramble for twelve fucking hours. I'm letting me get a fucking word in, okay? I mean, I the, the, the the idea that oh, just no. because somebody, uh, I have to watch that now. We'll do that later. Worship some hero or some country said, "Oh, this guy was really important in our history." Means that the entire country is all of a sudden infested with neo Nazis is no less true than when the United States celebrates any fucking hero that has a sordid history or has been racist or has been anti Semitic or whatever else. The fucking United States took in Nazis after World War II in exchange for some of the scientific information they could give us. It doesn't make us Nazis. It doesn't make our government full of neo Nazi sympathizers. If you want to make the argument that Ukraine has neo Nazi sympathizers, I then mean, you need to show me neo Nazi actions happening today in Ukraine. Not trying to allude to yeah. some hero that uh, that uh, a prime minister. Or, you know, in 2010 or whatever, decided to nominate as some fucking hero because of his history in Ukraine. You need Sorry, you two were going to say something? Real quick. Um, I was, uh, I was said, I mean, uh, because there were, there is evidence of like neo Nazis and white supremacists in the government, specifically in ICE, but also in the uh, DHS. I believe there was um, DHS a couple of years back were using some really weird statistics that came out to like something like, uh, 14 out of 88 something or other um, in the papers and the, in, in like a paper that was released. And it turned out after an investigation that there was at least one person who was removed from the DHS for having white supremacist uh, sympathies. I mean, even then they don't really, they don't even have to do that. I mean, they're, I mean, they're, they're literally the government of the United States of America. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna let this run for a few more minutes. White nationalists as guests, but yeah. I'm gonna be back in like five seconds. I'm just gonna refill my water and other things. So you two keep chatting, and I'll be right Roger back. That. Okay. Well, I mean, there's also the example I gave the other day of like how uh, how Nazis kind of infiltrate U.S. military forces and kind of um, adopt symbols which are kind of uh, not so great. For example, for example, U.S. Marine Scout snipers. Um, a lot of Nazis like to join the scout snipers because they have uh, that that particular um, group of uh, group of Marines have a unit which looks unfortunately identical to SS runes. Wait, you're telling me that there's a bunch of people who join a fucking like squad battalion military thingamajig so they could get a fucking patch so they can openly be nazis in the military yes if that's not larp i don't know what is imagine joining a part of the military so you can wear a fucking patch well no the goal is to be able to go and kill uh you know other ethnic well, groups just, i mean that's just going in the marines in general i mean it's not really Exclusive. Take a look at the screen. Group, a, take a look at the, the image I just sent. Okay, hold on. I need to go on my phone for this because 
computer be like, hold on. Uh, I don't see it. Did you post it in the uh, group chat? Yeah, I posted it in the group chat. It should be there. Oh. Oh, there it is. Okay, sorry. My, uh... All right. Oh, yeah, I think I've seen that. That's so, that's so lame. God. Americans are so lame. Listen, well, yeah, you, I mean, don't this, to, you don't get to claim about really. anything about America whenever Germany's forces was planning in a, planning to, like, coup their own government. Um, but on the, I guess to keep on the point with, uh, with the stream, um, yeah, so I think that is, that is kind of a good point. Basically, even with everything they're saying, which is why I don't get why they're focusing on this, um, there's nothing, uh, how do I say, there's nothing, um, what, what, what am I even trying to say? There's nothing like, Basically, you can use all of this to to go at America or or a lot of other countries. So it it, it kind of gets in this box where if the United States were to get invaded by whatever fucking country, let's say Canada, you know, grows some balls and gets genetically modified mooses, mises, whatever the fuck they're called, um, to uh to fight us, is that justified? Well, it would be justified because they're basically a fascist country. So I don't know. All right, I'm back. Let's keep going. Hi. Hi, back. That was a dad joke. Get out. Did you well, show me something current about that? What are the neo-Nazi activities that Ukraine is taking on today? Don't tell me who was nominated as a fucking national hero. You're completely full of fucking shit. You just said that Stepan Bandera and there's was no one incidentally there's a, no a Nazi collaborator. His whole historical <laughs> significance was that he was a fucking Nazi collaborator. He has no significance outside I think, of it. I think, no, I think I can, like I think I can add some figure. context it's to this It's not like too. the inventor of the fucking telephone Welcome who Jackson. happened to be a racist. This guy, his primary historical significance was being a Nazi collaborator who betrayed the uh, Soviet Union and was uh, attacking them on behalf of That's the fucking true. Nazi. To exterminate That's true. the Slavic and Russian and Ukrainian peoples, uh, to create a westernized Ukrainian collaborator state. So you're completely full hear. of fucking shit when it comes to that. Finally, Jackson's you want to know ready. about the neo-Nazi activities that are going on now and have been going on in the past eight years? Sure, it's the Azov Battalion, which is the vanguard of Ukraine's uh, military in the eastern Ukraine and in the Donbass, which is regularly attacking civilians, regularly shelling civilian infrastructure, regularly embarking on a campaign to slaughter and exterminate uh, the Russian peoples in eastern Ukraine. They co they committed the uh, uh, massacre of Odessa back in the early days of the Maidan. All sorts of fucking neo-Nazi activities. They burned people alive. They've hung people. They've slaughtered people. They've made people disappear. Uh, if you want to talk about neo-Nazi activities in fucking Ukraine that are now in contemporary here, we have a whole host of fucking... Every single thing you just described, modern-day Russia some context. I, I want to jump in. Exactly. Like, what, what's the argument here? So, therefore, Russia's in the right to shell civilian populations? Like, that's, that's what he's... That's what he's positing. That's the only purpose this is... Uh, can't even speak. Yeah, they had, it, they had it coming, basically. There's like a tab, right? So you, you like, there's there's two meters, and if you go up a little bit, then that licenses the other group to, to do what you did. Um, doesn't matter who we're talking about, of course, because, you know, like, Russia's not exactly shelling Azov specifically, are they? <clears throat> they crucified people. Because they crucified the people. The None of that was uh, neo Nazis. Right. Yeah, all yeah, it's not neo Nazis. They crucified people listen, for being No, listen, it's not a neo Nazi war crime. Listen, okay, listen, listen you guys have all been to be a Nazi to commit war crimes. You guys have all been talking. Let me get in my two cents now, okay? So, at the end of the day, the primary goal of the ideological inheritors of the organization for Ukrainian nationalists, which is the, the vanguard of fascism in Ukraine, this is the ideology, the radical faction within this organization, especially of Stefan Bandera. They are the people who are primarily responsible for the hundreds of thousands of, uh, you know, uh, Jewish, Polish, and Russian deaths that took place during World War II when Western Ukrainian uh, ultranationalists and neo-Nazis were collaborating 
uh, with the with the actual uh, Nazis from Germany that were invading. Okay, so um, ideological inheritors of this ideology, and you know, apologies for not being able to pronounce these names properly, but Ole Tianyabuk, who is the co-founder of Oleg Svoboda. He claims that he wants to purge Ukraine of uh, Jewish people and Russians. He was ranked the fifth most anti-Semitic political leader on the planet in 2012. It just so happens he was a people's deputy in Ukraine uh, up until 2002. But um, this guy right here, uh, who who was a co-founder of Svoboda, Sv- hey, also so co-founded... This- Sorry, say again. Why is he using someone from 2002? <clears throat> like, how is that relevant to now? If he's not in power, then that that should be indicative that that influence look, is no longer in the government. Look, you don't... I, I've, I've come to a realization about why Haas had such a weird grasp of Hegel in his debate with perspective philosophy. And the reason why is because... These people don't arrive at their positions via research. Surprise. Um, they get fed this stuff in, in some chat somewhere, and they just compile it into a series of things that they, re- they re- memorize. It, it's, it's, they, there's no reason behind any of this. Well, to be fair, that's how most people um, read Hegel, you know, these days. So This is true. So, yeah. Like me and don't read Hegel. <laughs> Thank you! <gasps> Kindred spirits, I see why you brought Sophia on. This is this is amazing. This is amazing. I hate you all. This ultra nationalist right wing party with Andre Parubi. He was the leader of the Euro Maidan prote- protest. He was the one that helped organize the violence that was inflicted upon the uh, what's assumed to be roughly forty nine fifty individuals who died in the uh, massacres on February twentieth of twenty fourteen at Euro Maidan. Uh, He was the speaker of one of the most recent parliaments, the chairs of one of the most recent parliaments in Ukraine. Uh, He was the leader of the society to erect the Stefan Bandera monument in Ukraine. And he claims that Bandera was the most important person in Ukrainian history. So it's not just and I could you know, I could go down a list here. You could Maxim Marchenko. uh, uh, This individual uh, Zelensky replaced the civilian governor of Odessa um, command commander of the far-right Adair uh, Battalion. You have uh, Viktor Yushchenko, who is president. He actually publicly, before leaving office, signed a decree stating that uh, for an unbreakable spirit of heroism, self-sacrifice, and the struggle of the independence of Ukraine, I'm granting a status of hero of Ukraine to Stefan Bandera. You can look at uh, you can look at tons of people. And- Andrei Belitsky, uh, Ukrainian white nationalist. He was the co-founder of the Social National Assembly, first commander of the Azov Battalion. He's celebrated on TV shows. He was a big, uh, you know, part of the Maidan protest. You can go down the line. Many, uh, many, many uh, members of or, or uh, deputies of the thirty more seconds. Um, People's Deputies of Ukraine def- National uh, Security and Defense Council secretaries. Uh, all of these people within the Ukrainian, Ukrainian uh, military, uh, military and government governments have had, had some sort of an ideological either sympathy to or participation in, a lot of these people have, with neo-Nazism, okay? Even, and this is the last thing I'll say regarding neo-Nazism, um, this, is a, this is a shocking video. There's a video of uh, some of the neo-Nazis uh, who helped organize and carry out the Maidan coup who said, if not for the 8% of neo-Nazis, the effectiveness of Maidan would have dropped by 90%. And these were the same people that were funded by, uh, indirectly funded by uh, U.S. agencies on the ground, uh, like the National Endowment for Democracy. Last thing I'll say yeah, is... Uh, that was the Dylan, last one that Dylan you or Destiny? Oh, yeah, yeah, real quick. So if, I, just if, as a quick if the response, Azov are marginal, we, if the Azov Battalion is marginal... We, then why did Poroshenko in 2014 say they are our best fighters? Why did even the mainstream Western press report that as far as Ukraine's Eastern operations were concerned, the Azov Battalion was of vital significance? Why did the National Guard of Ukraine... Yeah, we can't answer... This was... uh... Real quick, that can can actually... That's that's absolutely true. Both both facts can be true. They can dislike that the Azov Battalion exists, and they can also be their best fighter, because the Azov Battalion has been operating... They're based out of Mariupol from volunteers from that region. 
they are constantly they've been constantly fighting in that region for eight years. Well, in addition, just because the, ta just because the Taliban are bad people does not mean that they were not damned good at what they did in, in <laughs> Afghanistan when they fought there. They can be Nazis, terrible. Oh, and, and we wish yeah. terrible things on. But they're good at what they do. Yeah, we probably had no issue. I, I don't know the history of this too deeply, but I imagine we didn't have as much issue with it when they were fighting the Soviets. Um, what I was going to say is, um, in addition, we were talking about this in a previous stream. Um, the way uh, the uh, past conscription has worked is they've, they've trained um, people to fight specifically in their local regions. And so if for whatever reason, like a, a a region is suffused with a specific toxic ideology, well, that's just still nonetheless going to be the case, that the people who are native to that region are going to be the best fighters in that region. Um, that, that just that just seems seems uh, intuitive to me. Uh, to be clear, the formation that you're talking about is separate from the National Guard um, of Ukraine. Um, I know there is a there is a tertiary. So they have their main army. They have the National Guard, and then they have another unit that I can't, another formation that I can't remember the name of that is only supposed to be brought up during uh, specifically wartime mm -hmm. uh, within their within their particular region. Azov is part of the national uh, an official part of the National Guard, um, but they are based in that area and have been fighting there for uh, eight to ten years now. Hmm. Hang on, just give me one sec here quickly. I need to do something important. That's why they're specifically so good. Give me one quick second, guys. I want to do something. I want to do something, and it will... It will matter. Now I notice that Jackson Hinkle looks like uh, he's like on Camino or something. He does a little bit, doesn't he? Yeah, with like the the white shirt and like the really light background. Oh my god, this thing is so. Actually, he does kind of look like Obi Wan Kenobi, like a like a young Obi Wan Kenobi. Na, 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 na. Oh, okay, we need to. Change it a tiny, tiny bit. I just want to turn this into a thing so we can clip it later because it's it's perfect. It's perfect. Yes, eight hundred. Okay. Are they doing all the little 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 little, 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 little bit of art? Little, little bit of art. We we call it a little bit of art. We do a little trolling. Sorry, this this just trust me, everybody. This will be worth it when it finally comes together. There we go. I think. Yes. 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 One little one little top up there. Let's see. Scroll down a tiny bit. Fix it. Just, just. I need. I need it to be perfect. I need it to be perfect. I need it to be. Hmm. There we go. There. It Found is. it. It's a territorial defense forces. Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want Are him to do you so much you could do anything thank you for that okay it, it was it was it took so long to do and you just ruined it well done how did i ruin it you ruined it you ruined it it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay incriminating me just as a, so like, they made a post on.
So oh just a, yeah, just as a, like a real quick thing, okay? Like you can go back as, as much as you want, like 20 years ago when Ukraine was barely a country for 10 years and the country was still mired in corruption and try to say, well, these guys came from these parties that were like, blah, blah, blah. Like show me anti-Semitism in Ukraine. Right, Ukraine is like one of the, the last well, parliament. Can, can I? Hold on. Hold on. Hey, come on. There are a lot yeah. of points. Yeah. So, wh th where is the anti-Semitism in Ukraine? Where is the Nazism in Ukraine? You can't point to the civil war <laughs> happening in the East and going civilians are dying. That's Nazism. Nazism isn't you just can't, anti-Semitism. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't point towards people being killed extrajudiciously, people that are being invaded and genocided, people that are being deported from their lands. Because if you want to call that Nazism, then we just have to go over to the East and look at Putin. He's the biggest fucking Nazi alive right now. So the idea that that in and of itself qualifies as anti-Semitism when Ukraine is probably the least anti-Semitic country in Europe, according to the Ukrainian Jewish Center, or uh, uh, according to the Ukrainian Jewish encounter, at least, when you look at the fact that people in Poland are so eager and keen to take on um, people that are fleeing from Ukraine, like we, we don't see this mass persecution of Jewish people in Ukraine. We don't see any like rampant anti-Semitism in Ukraine. I, like you can go back all you want and point to like one hero that was nominated by an outgoing uh, prime minister, or you can, you know, point to these people President. that in the very beginning came from far right parties, but there's just no evidence today that there is this rampant anti-Semitism, this rampant Nazism in Ukraine. It doesn't exist. Where are you, where are you getting this idea that the only measurement of Nazism is anti-Semitism? Okay. Nazism was also right. Thank you very yeah. much. So there's also something that's really interesting here, and it's that Nazism seems to matter so much on one side. Nobody cares about the neo-Nazi militias fighting on side by side with Russian soldiers. Nobody even brings them up. The Russian National Unity Movement and the militias fighting on behalf of the Donetsk People's Republics. That isn't brought up. Why? Because those are inconvenient Nazis. Those are Nazis on the Russian side. People don't talk about the fact that we're talking about the Nazis are bad. Why are the Nazis bad? Obviously, because they put people in concentration camps and they slaughtered people and all the war crimes that he brings up. But the fact that the same people involved in putting homosexuals in concentration camps are right now within Ukraine fighting against the Ukrainian government, that isn't something of concern. I heard them laugh when I talked about Belarus, the, Bel the Belarusian dictator, Lukashenko praising Adolf Hitler. These things are inconvenient facts because the problem is, right, and this is the fact of the matter, there are Nazis fucking everywhere. On Will Put Wind, and the Wagner group is on whose side, I forget. Across this conflict. But the problem is the people want to hype up the <clears throat> Nazis on one side to make them the Nazis because Slavic people have a terrible history with Nazis. If you can make your opponent the Nazis, then boom, they're the bad guys. Anything you do against them is justified. If I, st I could stand here and tell you that Russia is a Nazi state, I could bring up the fact that 5% of Ukrainians believe that Jews should not be allowed to be citizens, while 15% of Russians believe that thing, almost triple that statistic. I could bring up the Lukashenko quotes about Hitler. I could bring up the gays being put in concentration camps in, in Russian territory. I could bring up the neo-Nazis militias and say, so Russia is a Nazi state, but that would be dishonest. But I'm seeing that dishonesty from both of you right now trying to paint Ukraine, a Nazi state, and I don't even think Jackson and Infrared got their points in order. Jackson saying that they are anti-Semitic Nazis, Infrared saying that they these are Nazis who love the Jews. I, I can't even- I didn't fucking say that. <laughs> what I actually said- was that the oh, the emphasis on anti-Semitism may not be as strong as the emphasis on pan-European supremacism and racial exterminationism, and but that's the fucking point. And moreover, the movement for national unity is not at all fucking relevant or prevalent within the they're fucking fighting. Donbass. It's they're no, fighting. What? Hold on. Yeah, they're nowhere near as relevant or proportional uh, to the fucking forces of the Russians that are fighting in the Donbass as is the Azov battalion. They're com they're marginal. They're completely marginal. But they're the, Islamophobic. The, the Chechens are fighting. The Chechens are right now a very important part of Russia's operation right now. You think the Chechens are working alongside these uh, totally Islamophobic uh, prevalent forces? No, they're yes. not prevalent. They're fucking completely marginal. And, these, uh, and if they you, are. If you take no, into account not. the premise of what started this entire conflict back in 2014, the Euromaidan protests and the violence that ensued there, and the fact that it uh, was co-opted by these uh, coup leaders uh, that were Western-backed, um, you do have to acknowledge that the effort to, uh, you know, accomplish this and the success of the movement was led in great part thanks to Andre Perubi, um, who is the speaker of uh, one of the most recent parliaments and the chair, chair of the mo one of the most speaker recent parliaments in Ukraine. Uh, this is the guy who literally sparked the entire conflict. 
Another thing I heard you say that was even maybe uh, more damning than the fact that you falsely claimed that, uh, you know, the president was impeached when he wasn't impeached was when you said that uh, you claimed that or maybe it was destiny. Actually, I might be um, I might be, you know, getting my quotes wrong. One of you said uh, that Crimea was illegally invaded by Russia. I would be I'd just be curious, like hear your uh, thoughts on that more and whether or not you respect the will of the Crimean people who voted in a referendum overwhelmingly to legally join the Russian Federation. Uh, 96.77% voted in favor of joining the Russian Federation. Is that after the invasion? 2.51% yes. supported staying in just, Ukraine. Jackson, was that after Russia invaded Crimea? They held that referendum, right? I just want to get that what fact. Do you, right. What do you find? We can as talk a about Rus- the specifics. Well, I, I just wanted Excellent. to hear yes or no. Is that Jackson? Was that, was that the Russia? Was that the Russian referendum first. they held after they invaded Ukraine? Crimea what do you find? Let, listen. What do you find as Crimea a Russian invasion? Because going back to 1804. There well, has no, been wait. Russian troops in Crimea. The invasion so, of, of when they took over, when they invaded Crimea. You can't answer that question. I got it. 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 I the people there. So Haas and uh, Jackson are trying to position this as like you know the national bourgeois acting in the interests of the uh, of the um, of the uh, of the workers' movement within Russia and anti-imperialism globally. But the actual justification that Russia is using is the claims of the Russian Empire, um, the historical claims of the Russian Empire. Okay. <laughs> what? Yeah, I I guess the. I I I don't know. I'm. Yeah, I don't know either. I'm, I'm just I'm just kind of astonished if that's know, if that's that. It, that sounds like what they're doing, but I don't know how you do that. Like, aren't, aren't these guys like Bolsheviks, basically? What? Potsies, Potsies. I mean, like on one level, I'm inclined to agree, but like, let's let's keep it civil. They're, they're overwhelmingly to the Russian invasion, just like the, the people Federation. in the Donbass did. Just like having the people in the Donbass sta- having troops stationed in a port is not the same as taking the over the entire peninsula. Separated from the Ukrainian government. What's your evidence they the took Russians over the entire came? peninsula? Because also, there are plenty of videos on the ground of people saying. Uh, they are not threatening anybody. They're here peacefully. They who 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 has new, sovereignty right now over the Crimean new, Peninsula? I'm sorry. Can you, who has who has who owns favor? Who who administers right now to the region of the Crimean Peninsula? Peninsula, is it the who Ukrainian government? Yeah, or is it the Russian government? It's a part of the Russian Federation since they voted. Okay, to so what does it mean to the t- oh, and they and they voted they voted that? Who held that referendum? Uh, the referendum was organized by the people of Crimea. Under who? It, it was a Russian the organized Russian referendum and not that the had, it was organized, and organized by, by the Ukrainian government. Can I, wait, I gotta, what actually I gotta, happened? I gotta what everybody. actually happened? Pardon my interruption. Just, just to be sure that Jackson, did you feel like you had enough time to answer that last question from Stephen? Sure. Got you. Okay. And then I think Stephen, you were asking. So a question. referendum that's not recognized by. I mean, here's here's what's baffling me about this. So let's 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 just take for granted. Um, this this stance, there is just some continuity between the Russian Empire, the Soviet Union, and the current Russian state, and we we're just which I, I mean on some on some basic level there there is sort of, but let's let's assume that like on an ethical level these are the same political formation, and that these people are partisans to that. Okay, but then what's your argument against against Ukraine? The, the Russian Empire was an empire. It, it appropriated and trod over um, lot, lots of little formerly independent communities. Like, what's what's the argument? Are they just pro-empire now? Like, what is this? Well, the Russian Empire wasn't imperialist, though. That's like how the Chinese Empire wasn't imperialist. Or there wasn't a Chinese Empire, I guess, but the Shang dynasties and all those all those things. The King Dynasty. 
China was never imperialist. China's never been imperialist. Is this a meme or? This is from it's from Infrared's channel. That's that's from a long that's from a, from a bit ago. So we're 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 in we're in a space where I I can't tell. So. <laughs> well, you're also dealing with a person who's uh. Yeah. I'm just I'm just here. This is this is true. Well, let's just continue for now. By any other country in the world, including Ukraine, obviously. Why don't the you want idea to that you could invade Wait. the idea that you could invade some part of a country and then hold a referendum there to see if those people That's want to stick with you or not? Happened. Even That's if not they, happened. even if we granted That's all of that, happened. that they did say yes, you can't just have populations referendum away parts of your country's sovereign territory to other invading nation states. That's just not how that works. You even if that was the case, even if that I don't care what's interesting you. Even if that was the case, that doesn't work that way in any other part of the world. Yeah, that's you know what's interesting. interesting? Would happen, that respect that way, respecting, that would the respecting the results. Listen, listen, we're, Destiny. We're, one of the ways. I, no, no, wait, dude. They works. hold on. James, just seriously, they can't just throw out like 50 minutes. million. I didn't talk at all. I didn't even answer your question. I didn't even get to answer his question. Let me respond to what you said. Not to mention the fact that, gentlemen, you stopped talking. to do this, but I do want to say, Dylan, is there anything you want to clean up on behalf of Destiny? Because we haven't heard from you for a while. There's two things. The first thing I wanted. The first thing I wanted to bring up is that. Uh, I didn't hear from Infrared, really. He just said the Chechens are fighting the yes, but Chechens involved in putting homosexuals in concentration camp. That doesn't make them active. Nazis. Wait, that wait, 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 no, no, Nazis. listen, listen to me. Whether Even or if not, those wait, let me, fin let me, fin let me, fin whether they're Nazis or not specifically doesn't matter. Because okay, then just say that. Let me finish. Let me finish. Then just say that. I don't care. So, shut up. I don't care. Okay. I'm trying to finish my point. I think that people who put people in concentration camps, minority groups, should not be involved in any active combat zone anywhere. In fact, they should not even be allowed to hold governmental yeah, yeah, positions. Yeah. So, and I'm not finished, and so you should stop talking. And so with that in mind, and knowing the when you guys talked about all these war crimes and everything that was so terrible, I think it's weird that we can just look past the fact that one of the, pe the people involved currently in fighting the Ukrainians are the same people who shoved people in concentration camps in Chechnya. Also, it's weird that you are fine downplaying your guys' Nazis. You admit, I guess, they are Nazis fighting on behalf of your guys' side. You'll downplay your own Nazis and upplay the other side's Nazis because your Nazis, again, are inconvenient. It's inconvenient that there's Nazis on your side. Let's and so instead of being like, there's no Nazis on our side, where these Nazis are fighting a campaign I of denazification. Also, Dylan, too, I, said, I, 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 I never even got to finish my earlier response to Jackson's neo Nazi shit. I was almost done. Also, it's my fucking turn. One last thing. thing. It's one last thing. It's my fault. Yeah. Dylan's talked I'm too sorry. much. It's Hold my fault. Okay, wait one second. All right, I, I do want to give Infrared a, a brief chance, and then Destiny, I know you have a point, a couple of points you want to make. So, Infrared, I want to give you a, a chance. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Maybe so the first thing is very moment. clear. Dylan, I know that you're in favor of a Nazi, pan-European supremacist, but LGBT-friendly uh, ideology. I already know that, okay? But the fact is... I agree. It's probably true that there's a uh, homophobia oh my God. in Chechnya. They're very much more in favor of more traditional values. Why is That's it so their loud? Business. As far as concentration camps are concerned, I've seen no fucking evidence for that, throwing them in concentration camps. But even if I were to grant you that that was true, that still doesn't make them fucking Nazis who want to exterminate whole peoples because of their fucking nationality or their race or their ethnic origins. You seem to think that's not as bad or that's some kind of equivalent, right? But I don't think that's a fucking equivalent. Someone, uh, someone petition uh, James to just put me in charge of moderating debates for him because this is embarrassing. I don't think having a conservative country, which I don't agree with um, persecuting sexual minorities, I just don't think that's on the same fucking level as being a goddamn fucking Nazi. You seem to not fucking care about that distinction. Now you're saying that I'm downplaying the Nazis on the Russian side because they're not convenient. Never mind the fucking fact that in terms of the objective significance they have compared to the fucking Azov battalion on the Ukrainian side, they are nowhere near as fucking relevant. They're not you significant. Gotta have a they are this marginal. Is crazy. You they are marginal. This. Okay, I thought it was. Hold on. Infrared. <laughs> Object <laughs> infrared. One second. If it, objective. Hold on. Infrared, hold on. I just need you to. I, I thought it, I, I did sense something too. It did seem like your volume. He did jacked his shit up. 20, oh, yeah. 20 seconds ago, it did seem like. Something yeah, changed. because you're making everybody louder than me. No, 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 I promise I'm not. Was, it, was that Russian I mean, propaganda? I, to do that. I yeah, mean, these yeah. Nazis people in my chat are telling me that. I, people in my own chat are telling me that. I can give you 20 seconds in terms of yeah, wrapping up your loud, then I've got to get over to Steven. Sorry, what's that, Sophie? The alpha ape needs to be more louder than other apes. Exactly.
Exactly. D Dylan, Dylan is making the claim that I'm in, that it's just Al inconvenient Dave. for me rather than the actual reality being the fact that the Russian nationalists and the Russian neo-Nazis are completely marginal in the Donbass, whereas the Azov Battalion are not. He mentioned something also about Lukashenko's out of con con comments that were taken out of context. Lukashenko is an anti-fascist, 100% anti-Nazi, 100% anti-Hitler. We can actually get into the nitty-gritty of what proves and backs that up, too. You took some statements he made Stephen out of context. Waiting, Stephen's been waiting for a while Nazis. to respond. I want to yeah, so just to reiterate again, the Azov Battalion is not making up the brunt of the fighting forces in Eastern yeah, Ukraine. Yeah, in this, Eastern this, Ukraine, they were. Small, this, Eastern this, Eastern Ukraine. This, is a, this is a small battalion of, like, less than 3,000 fighters. The idea that the these people are making up the majority of Ukraine's forces. It's just not true. And even of the Azov Battalion, only a minority of these Nobody people are neo-Nazis. Even, even, even of the Azov Battalion, a minority of these people are Nazis. There are problems there, for sure. But this, this claim that there is a broader Nazi problem in Ukraine, I mean, at this point, maybe there is. If we're defining Nazis as people that are pro-LGBT and pro-Semitism, I don't know what kind of Nazis these are or, or what makes them Nazis, aside from earlier you said they kill people, which You're I guess- You're a pre-supremacist racist. Is, it, is, it, is, it, is, a, is everybody is Nazi? I don't, like, Hitler wasn't going for, like, pro-European. All right, looks like we're in the green now. Good, sorry about that. European. The, I, Aryan is literally Western European for the Nazis. Sorry, the stream died for a second, but we're back. Oh, why, why are we still in the red? What the hell's going on? Oh my god, okay, give me a sec. This is the worst. This is the actual worst. Fucking YouTube. Do I still have you guys? Yeah, hello? Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, Sorry. Man. Hang on just one second. I just went to the bathroom for a second. Okay, it looks like we're back on oh, wow. finally. Uh, nothing, I'm just, uh... It, uh, we lost the connection for a second, but I think we're back. Sophie, we still got you. Sophie, you there? I'll take that as a no. Oh, damn. That's literally what it is. Yeah, I'm just oh, going to be around. Like, okay, because you're a oh. little bitch. Hey, Brooks, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm holding my baby. Oh, that's adorable. I keep saying congratulations and, like you just announced. And listening to people time. who are already very clearly stupider. Well, I mean, when, when wouldn't that be the case, right? And, and you never Jackson fucking defend what Jackson, you just Jackson said because you're like fucking wrong. In. Let's have Jackson. Go ahead. I, I would like to just say one thing really quick and then a, so and the a broader point. Was, so, uh, uh, Sorry, I'm a little bit tired. That's why I haven't been as a... Uh, if, you, if you want to duck out, you don't need to stick through the whole thing. No, no, no. I can, I can, stick, I can stick through a bit more. But um, okay. yeah, just... I, I woke up like really early for no reason today. And I was like... That completely threw me off. Mm -hmm. uh, Sophie, if you're trying to speak, you are... Uh... You are muted, just a heads up. Destiny seems to be just hyper-focusing on yet. the Azov Battalion. No, you're in your audible. Yes, is, I, I can't hear Sophie. Uh, you know, making up the brunt of the violent uh, you know, no, I'm aggression like, against the people. Have, um, what is it, the, the muted, like, symbol? No, I, I'm just in another room real quick. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, um, Brooks... What were your thoughts on the, or I don't know if you want to say anything, but what were your thoughts on what you've seen, if you've seen any of this? There has not ever been, nor is there an online left. I hate everybody. What are your thoughts? Um, 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 um. I'm actually kind of, uh, kind of happy how things turned out. Honestly, I like that. Um, I'm not really a big fan of Dylan Burns. Actually, don't like a lot of Dylan Burns, but I like to see that Dylan Burns has a flame, and I th I see a lot of flame here. Um, Dylan's very... always been very. I, I've always appreciated Dylan's 
uh, deep need to sort of get at what's really happening in various places and talking to people on the ground, you might say? Yeah, I guess I can sort of see some of that there, this uh, groundedness. Yeah, I've always liked Dylan for that. Destiny is destiny, but man, I just, I cannot handle the entire concept of anything they've said, which uh, all of their justifications uh, flatly, and I'm always disappointed when people don't challenge them on this. Everything they're saying, you could just simply turn and say, so you back when the U.S. does blank. Like, that's it. It's uh, the people that they mentioned who the U.S. forced out and installed a public government. They mentioned the people the U.S. put out, so obviously you back U.S. action uh, and CIA action there, right? Because if you're backing Putin doing it now, you must have backed it when the U.S. did it. No, no. Do you back the U.S. sending troops into any place we've had troops for the last 50 years? I can name a few countries that would probably upset you. Um, like It's just any of their logic is just purely to continue the argument rather than having any semblance of a you know real principled stance on fucking anything. Well, that's, that's actually what I thought would happen here and it'd be a lot smarter and more criminal would be if uh, Haas and Hinkle basically would sort of give in to like the imperialist tendencies of the audience and just sort of say like, well, look, you know, the United States did this, so shouldn't we be okay with Russia doing this? Except for kind of making it a complete hypocrisy point, like follow along. And that can, I think, get some people over. Yeah, it, again, that's though, like the evil that, route, though. That's like the it, Caesar's it's, Legion, you know. It's it's not just the evil route. It's it's almost a nonsensical one. It's one of those things. Everyone is saying things like, "Oh, no one cared about the stuff in Ukraine." It's like, motherfucker, I I I marched. I I did sit-ins. I almost got arrested for the Iraq and Afghanistan war. Like I, people do this stuff. We we actually have anti-war protests here in the country. Just because we happen to just suddenly align for the first time maybe ever with U.S. interests or the State Department doesn't mean that the thing isn't pure. It doesn't mean that we don't actually have the right call. Sometimes people align on stuff. And in this case, people align on stuff in the right way. I have absolutely no, and I have no issue saying, anyone who backs what Putin's doing and thinks there's an excuse for it is just a walking pile of human garbage. And I have no interest in like, you know, really understanding your pathetic way of viewing the world. There are people actively dying, civilians being killed. Uh, you're free to doubt however you want. I spent time in Ukraine and I have active friends there who I've spent time on video on WhatsApp. I've seen the damage. This is real. So I don't really give a shit. Like, I just don't care about Look, we, we have we have uncontested footage of explosions in civilian centers. That's basically all you need. Yeah, it's 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 absurd. And so anything is just basically continuing this uh, U.S. bad, U.S. bad, rah, rah, rah. And it's the kind of thing that yeah, people are memeing on, like, Vosh and others who are like, hey, actually, sometimes the State Department's right. And by the way, the answer is sometimes they're right. Like, for example, uh, World War II was a good call for us to go in there and stop a person. Just saying. Like, does that mean that, oh, we should have backed Hitler? It's this really insane, again, reactionary, not revolutionary stance that people on the supposed online left have taken. It's disgusting. It's just disgusting across the board. And it's it's shocking to me that people I've sort of had to just realize are, are piles of walking human shit that and, I, I thought I cared for or I knew. And, and again, it's, to, it's to reiterate, disgusting. to reiterate, the people who Infrared and Jackson are defending right now, who Hausnet and Jackson are defending right now, are, as we speak, actively setting fire to the largest nuclear power plant in Europe. Um, that is profoundly... I don't need to say that it's profoundly dangerous. We aren't, we aren't talking about something that has any ethical ambiguity about it whatsoever. Um, the, no, their, their goal is... Their goal at this point is essentially political terror in order to get Ukraine to knuckle under so that way they can, you know, for a little while, have the Russian... Federation, as it was once back in the day, until Putin needs to invade the next place, as he once again sees his numbers drop and oil drop and his power in the world drop again, and he'll invade something else. They're already heading to Moldova if they win this. You think they're going to stop there? You think it's not just a handful of other countries? There's a reason a lot of countries are rushing towards NATO right now. It's, it's terrifying that, that anyone would back something that is flatly a militaristic move and Nakedly so. Nakedly a 
militaristic capitalist winning war. It's, it's absurd to me. And uh, doing so in, under the name and the auspice of defending minorities is like just spitting on people. It's disgusting. That's well said. Uh, Brooks, so. hang on, Sophie. Just, we're going to continue in a second. I'm so sorry. I'm glad you're back, though. Um, Brooks, just very quickly before we continue, I'm assuming you're using earphones. I don't want to scare your baby over there when I start playing Haas. No, no, you're good. As long as I, okay, cool. Let's keep going. Or Sophie, you want to say something really quick? I was going to say this is just what Haas and Jackson are doing is just like really, really typical campism that comes out of those particular sectors uh, of the, uh, the quote unquote online left. It's pretty much they have this idea of people will talk about like American exceptionalism or Western exceptionalism. And they'll say they're criticizing it, but in actuality, they're engaging in a weird kind of uh, exceptionalism where only the U.S. or only the West is actually capable of things like imperialism or, uh, you know, capitalism or whatever. Yeah, this is I was having this argument with someone where I was using and I'm going to get it wrong. It's one of my favorite Zizek lines. He was talking about um, someone who was in a uh, African country that was war crimes were happening. And he said, the problem with the West is you won't let us even be evil. And there's, it's a great sentiment because there is a nature to the idea that everything in the world, the U.S. has affected. Now, there's, as you said, there's an exceptionalism. There's the more traditional, which is everything in the world the U.S. must do. And that's the sort of George W. Bush, Fukuyama, into all of that shit, um, neoconservatism. But on the other side, there's that hilarious, almost comical left that exists that is kind of the opposite, that presumes that the U.S. obviously is the primary agency in the world and that no country can make decisions based okay, on... Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut you all off right now. I'm going to cut you all off right now because apparently Haas goes nuts in a few minutes and I, I don't want to miss quick. this. No, 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 it's okay. I, I was, I'm more interested in that than this, but I wouldn't want to miss this either. So we can return to that one. ...of Donetsk and Luhansk, which keep in mind that war, 81% of these civilian deaths that have taken place there in the past three years... Uh, took place on the side of Donetsk and Luhansk. Uh, but as I mentioned, you know, the people who literally led this coup are the ultra-nationalist right-wingers, many of whom, but not all, are uh, anti-Semites and encompass this neo-Nazi, uh, you know, ideology. You seem to be leaving that out. What? And, um, you know, I can guess what? the motive why. Why but, do you keep... Uh, to, to, get to, a, to get to the broader point here, Destiny, a few minutes ago, you said that it's not okay for, and I'm paraphrasing, so if you want to rephrase this after the fact, go for it. It's not okay for uh, troops to come into a, what you recognize as a sovereign country, um, and, you know, forcibly bring about a change of power. I think that's, you know, we can both agree, right? So why is it that you think that it's okay, I guess, for uh, these far-right paramilitary groups um, that encompass this neo-Nazi ideology uh, to hijack the Maidan protests, uh, massacre people on February 20th when the protests were actually... Uh, Titans made an important update uh, just vis-a-vis -vis the Ukraine situation. So apparently the uh, power plant situation is under control now, so the fire is out, I assume. ...dying down and people were going home um, and cause all of this violence to spiral out of control. And then... When negotiations are going on between some of these neo-Nazis and the Yanukovych government to try and bring about pre-term elections to restore some order to the Ukrainian government with Yanukovych, um, the neo-Nazi factions, again, like Andriy uh, Perubi, who was the leader, the commandant of the Euromaidan protests, uh, he ordered upon his paramilitary individuals uh, to continue blockading, to continue, uh, you know, holding their ground, so to speak, and holding their ground throughout the entirety of this protest meant raining down hellfire upon both protesters and police to incite more violence. And there's been countless made on leaders and activists who've Let's provided a testimony that they were the snipers. It was Back not to... members of the Ukrainian police who Dylan were doing this. Or Destiny. So Wait, so <clears throat> do you not believe that Yanukovych ordered his special military people to fire on protesters? You think that's just completely and totally bullshit? Oh, 100%. One? There's no evidence. And in fact, the Ukraine's Ukrainian Ministry of Internal Affairs literally this. says as much. Where, where do you, why do you say there's no evidence of that? Uh, because the Ukrainian investigation into this, the special investigation into this, actually 
um, did not make any initial charges against people who were involved in this. And the, again, in the Wait, they didn't make charges because this, Yan- Yanukovych wasn't even given guarantees that he wouldn't be charged. That's why he fled to Russia. Unlike the unlike the prior prime minister that was able to have a transfer of power because he was guaranteed he wouldn't so, be charged, Yanukovych wasn't given any such so guarantee. That's why he left the country. Point here as to why mm-hmm. I'm right. Not really. Also, earlier you said on, you, you, keep you, you, keep, you, keep, you keep citing the fact that you keep you keep you keep you keep citing the fact that you keep citing the fact that in the east. Wait, hold on, wait. I barely, I barely talked. This- Has James lowered his own audio? What the hell is this? He's just like Murray. Let's go to Jackson. Let's go to Jackson. Come on, come on, guys, play fair. I wonder, are they going? Are Jack is Jackson going to mention that um, that uh, Pavel Gubarev had declared himself the people's mayor in um, in Donetsk or the people's governor in Donetsk and was a member of uh, you know a Russian uh, what was the party's name uh, fucking uh, Russian National Unity the neo Nazi uh, the neo Nazi group is he just not going to mention that? I I am I yeah, yeah. This guy's like rambled so able, much. Well, I, I haven't responded. Just keep going. I have I what the shit guy said. said. Like, there's no evidence for this so on the answer question, the question. Come right back to you, Stephen. So you said, uh, you know, there's there. Uh, I, why do I think that there's uh, no evidence for this or whatever? So the Ukrainian investigation, uh, they didn't find any. And in fact, again, there's been several Maidan leaders and activists who provided testimonies while 14 self-admitted members of the Maidan sniper (laughs) units admitted in media interviews uh, to the Maidan massacre uh, to sniping police and protesters. Uh, Several former members of the Georgian military testified that they and other groups of Maidan snipers in Hotel Ukraina, where these bullets were coming from, um, and the All investigation right. actually proved that bullets were coming from here. They just never actually went to the extent of saying who was in the hotel. Well, I do want um, to kick it over so to Stephen, I do, just because I, I did give you a chance to answer the question. I should jump back to Stephen. Well, there's a lot of evidence. So if Stephen wants the full answer, you know, he should be willing to get the full answer. Sorry, this is I, the spinelessness of the moderator here is actually making me angry. Like, is he being told behind the scenes, I'm going to drop out if you don't lower your voice or something? Like, what is this? No, I just, I just think that's like, I, I think you're kind of on the money before this is this is the mo right like just be very low and just be like oh guys hey hey guys can you stop i don't want to mute you i want to be liberal with my muting it's and it's whatever drives like, yeah. it's literally whatever drives views and right now obviously because you're saying haas freaks out and already has this is hilarious from that direction that's all this is yeah haas, oh. that is hilarious i would agree that is absolutely hilarious and so, I like, look, the next, the the next debate he's doing is evidence for God. You think, like, people are watching that for clips. It's a, this is a shit. Yeah, I think um, the fact that the moderator has, like, a really low, you know, mic and is just, like, this dude in the corner is just, it just makes it even funnier, you know? I am watching that debate for exactly one reason, and that's I want to know if it's Zvirvib or Zwirweeb. So we, we wait what the uh was it wasn't that the name it was the the was, god debate it was i i was saying zweer wink oh v- and zeer um, right not weeb yes yeah, oh god <laughs> wow Zwier- wow just did you this i like that iron man's life <laughs> disregard that moving on zweer weeb um so, gee, there's like 20 different things i haven't responded to so <clears throat> who, who's yeah, who's yeah, finding goalposts? Who, I'm not changing. You're the one that's adding a new goalpost at the end of every single sentence you've said. You literally right? said so what? Look, I, I, can't, I, I, can't even, I can't even respond. I can't even respond. Okay, minutes. hold on. Wait. Let's. Okay. Are we doing this right now? Is this what we need to do to, to get the conversation going? Um, okay. So, so who do you who do you side with? Who's ruling? What organization? What government's ruling do you side with that said that that police did not fire upon protesters during the their year meeting? What? What uh, what side do I side with? No, who, whose investigation are you citing? Whose whose details? Whose findings? Not a one-off media interview that was posted oh, no, no, on no. Russia Today or not. I'm referring to the testimonies given by uh, the snipers themselves. Testimony the to mind. who? Why would you only agree? Why would you only look at some testimony? Why wouldn't you look at the overall ruling of the Ukrainian uh, Interior Ministry? Because the Ukrainian investigation did not find, they did not place fault on either side. Though, according to the testimonies themselves, they admitted fault for doing this. 
that it's not that they didn't place fault on that. They explicitly said that Yanukovych ordered his police to fire upon the protesters. Do you deny that they said that? They did not. They did not place blame on them. No. Why one do you keep saying place blame? Who's saying place blame? They they made they made the statement. Their findings said who did that? Who did they charge? Because. You don't I don't know, know if it was their. I don't think it was their role to charge anybody. And Yanukovych already fled the country. It was their role to place charges. They didn't place charges because they couldn't find evidence that the police did this. Um, in fact, the, the the reason why Destiny, Destiny, why can't you? Why can't you give me an answer for this? There were testimonies. There were testimonies that the May, Maidan, uh, you know, pro, or the Maidan organizers uh, were the snipers who shot at police and protesters. Uh, we have forensic examinations as well by government ballistic experts, which determined that about a dozen cases uh, that the protesters were shot from Maidan controlled structures, including the hotel. A forensic ballistic examination um, found that uh, the bullets killed protesters did not match bullet samples from the police. I mean, I could go on and on. Why are you why are you making uh, assumptions without looking at the evidence itself? Because I would, I feel like I would rather rely on the overall rulings or findings of the entire committee rather than just trying to go off of some of the testimony that you might have found given by some of the officers that may or may not have been involved. Well, I could go on more, but you have to understand that this committee, at the end of the day, is being controlled by the coup government who actually carried out this operation. But earlier you had no problems going by information that comes from the Russian State Department about stuff going on in Ukraine? Ask, I'm, I'm, ask I'm not Nazis talking about that right uh, now. I'm talking about guilty. this. Why, why, I'm actually looking at this guilty. investigation fairly and honestly, and you made the accusation that it was police from the Ukrainian, uh, you know, security services that fired down. Now you're getting caught in a little, uh, you know, a little problem here. So you're trying to deflect back to earlier discussions. Why did you make that claim without evidence? Why did Yanukovych flee the country was it when he wasn't given a guarantee that he'd be prosecuted? If he didn't it was do a coup wrong? government why that was going to fucking why do you keep drunk shit the up? It was a coup government that was led why, by the guy that he was going to make his subject? prime minister anyway. Destiny, I, I, like, I just want to say one last thing on this point because really? clearly you're refusing to acknowledge the uh, reality of the situation. Most people consider uh, what took place on February 20th when 49 individuals were killed as the most controversial hours in any European conflict since the end of the Cold War. It was the precipice for this coup. It was what launched all of this conflict uh, into action, so to speak. It was the precipice for this. What does that even mean? Speak. So the fact that it was a false flag attack led by the uh, coup uh, protesters themselves, the, the militia organizers themselves, to try and get Western backing and to try and incite more chaos in the streets when the protests were dying down is a very, very important note when you look at the broader context of all of this and the fact that after the coup that took place because of this, uh, that is what sparks the increased aggression in the Donbass. And that is what also sparks the increased aggression against protesters in Odessa who are fighting back against the coup government. There, you have no evidence to support any of that, that there was Western backing to any of these people, that any of this was a false flag. Everything you're going off of is complete conjecture. The testimony of one or two, I've got testimony in the United States of Bigfoot and UFOs abducting people. The testimonies of one or two people doesn't prove any of the claims that you're making. Um, let's just actually go to U.S. involvement in this, because I have a lot of uh, quotes from actual diplomats themselves who admitted that they were involved in uh, providing funding uh, direct funding to the made on coup organizers. So um, first of all, we have Victoria Newland and Jeffrey Piot, who were two U.S. diplomats, U.S. Ukrainian diplomats at the time, who have a viral leaked phone conversation admitting to the fact that they were hand handpicking the coup government. They in said that conversation where uh, you wanted to send you the link to it. No, because I've already read the entire conversation. They don't and admit what did that, that ever. conversation. They, say? they never said anything about handpicking the new government. It wouldn't even really? make sense. Really? Really? Yes, really. Give me the okay, quote where they say that. To, do you want yeah, to give me the quote where they say that? Yeah, read it. Okay. Uh, we have a leaked phone call here. They said, fuck the EU, referencing to the fact that the EU was not being aggressive enough during this whole situation. Uh, and then we, we said, uh, or we have a uh, Victoria Newland here say, uh, Yachts, referring to Yatsenyuk, is the guy who's got the economic experience, she said. Referring to opposition leader uh, Arseniy Yatsenyuk, who backed the devastating uh, neoliberal policies 
that were demanded by the West. So they were discussing whether or not Yatsenyuk was going to be an effective leader in the new government. And they were saying, well, maybe this person should be directly outside of the new government with Yatsenyuk. And, and Destiny, guess who ended up becoming the Hold new Hold on, real quick, because you keep pivoting, coup. asking Destiny, questions and a commentary. Destiny, None of Destiny, this shows them picking a leader. New... As you said, Yatsenyuk was already the opposition leader. What, oh, where is this idea became, that they picked him? Became the... Yeah, this is a conversation that we could have. This is not... This is not making Jackson's case at all. Prime Minister. Yeah, but Jackson's carrying Haas on uh, his back, though. Like, I'm I'm extremely surprised here. The Squires are really becoming the Knights. I'm, I'm serious. <sighs> are, I'm are serious. You and I'm not memeing here. Because, like, well, Infer I mean... not only has no charisma... He's basically kind of dumb. Okay, Brooks, has... Brooks, you're, everything you're going to say is going to be right, but what you missed prior to this is Infrared going on about how there was a Ukrainian scheme to develop a Russian targeting gene bomb of some kind to destroy Russia. <laughs> like, are you, are you fucking with me? I, no, I, I, I fuck that. you not, sir. It is, it was it something. It was Metal Gear. Oh, this is this is horrifying. I'm sorry. I didn't realize this was that. Jackson Jackson is is a paragon of of rationality and reservation in this conversation so far. It's yeah, Jackson. No, like look at like look at Jackson. Like Jackson, wow, maturing, like the blossoming of whatever alien hormones. Uh, is look, now brewing within him. No, look. This is this is like if if midway through World War Two. Um, Cthulhu invaded Earth, and then suddenly people are like, "Oh, you know, compared to the Deep Ones, you know, yeah, Stalin, again, Stalin's kind of okay." They're they're yeah. able to do this because Haas again, Haas is an idiot who doesn't actually properly engage with theory, but he attempts to. Jackson literally just Google's reasons to be for Russia and just copies and pastes everything in a big giant document and reads it off. And it's a gish gallop like nobody's yeah. ever seen. So he's able to maintain that level of energy. And you didn't know about that? Well, geez, are you going to respond to this? And it's none of it is, again, to say again very cleanly, all of it is hyper-individualistic. None of it is a universalized principle. It's the opposite of what leftism is supposed to be, and it's embarrassing. Jackson oh. is what Nick Fuentes would be if the right wing grift didn't work out. I don't know about you, Brooks, but I've, I'm already like, you know, off of that when it comes to this. I'm not, I'm not expecting any leftism here from either side. Actually, I'm just, I'm just looking, I'm just looking for the little things, you know, just the little, no, the little I, growths, the little story, the little narrative. You like? No, a... I appreciate that, and I'm not necessarily looking for leftism. I think I'm more embarrassed that these are these four and i i like dylan but, <laughs> but these four are like if you add vosh into this mix mix and like four or five other people this is the vanguard of the online american left and it just makes me go cool we're over just uh somebody in the chat i just screen cap this shot of uh james would you thank you so much um the online left never existed, and it's time to recognize that the left, as a as a cohesive universalization, has never actually worked to move us. Guys, just all of you, before we continue, just I want you to appreciate this. Just look at where we paused, and just look at James next to the subtitles. It's just it's. <laughs> You're giving ass. <laughs> look at his expression. You're giving ass. <laughs> It's like it's like his own version of of the whole like, you know, no bitches meme. It's like yes, I I see. <laughs> giving asses and it's like question mark. Yeah, giving I'm, no asses. I'm just popping this on Twitter quickly. One second, and then we will continue. Okay. What do you, for after, after what do you mean? Yatsen Yug? Yeah. Look at who was already the opposition leader. Wait, he, he, job, he, right? he was already the opposition leader. He already had 370 plus votes in the in the parliament. What do you mean? 
Andre Piraby was the uh, Maidan coup leader. He was the real opposition. No, no, wait. Where is the, the evidence so why, that he was handpicked? How was he handpicked? How was he handpicked? Oh God. Wait, what? because he didn't he, have he the backing the, in parliament he for the it. the chair of parliament. No, no, no. Why could he have not whoa, whoa. become the leader? Where, no, no, you're t- pivoting. Where is the evidence that this guy was handpicked by the United States, that he was pushed Victoria by the United Newland. States? A conversation about this guy saying he would be good when he's already the opposition leader is not evidence of him being handpicked by the West. Well, there oh, was multiple that's, that's people in that, that conversation that they were going back and forth. Good. Yeah, they're going back no, and forth not, discussing no potential. Yeah, there you have no evidence. This is everything you do. Just destiny or uh, sorry. How is that no evidence? How, how, wait, 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 wait. Okay. If there's exactly. evidence in the phone call of two diplomats right. saying, "Man, this leader in this country would be so awesome," and yeah, that other one sucks. Do you think that's hey, evidence so of, of, a, of an assessment? To it just so happens, destiny, that she admitted that the U.S. Uh, stoked this uh, coup with five billion dollars in previous years to lead these regime change operations. Wait, that where did she admit that? Read that quote. Read that quote. Read that quote. Re- read that quote where she admit that. Okay, I will. Give okay. me one second here. Can going? we all sit in silence while he reads and wait for it? I, I want to hear that quote where she says, "The United States sent five billion dollars in aid to stoke this coup." Let me pull it up. And if he pulls it up, will you admit you're wrong? Yeah, if he has that quote, I would be interested in hearing that. We don't have to be silent. I'm sorry, Dylan. Go ahead. Give me one I'll second. Be I will read exactly it. where the five billion dollars went. I, I feel like if you had a quote like that, you would front load that into your case here. I'd be interested in that too. Big brain quotes. In the meantime, folks, our guests are linked in the description. If you haven't uh, already clicked on there, you can hear more from them. Also, I would just like to say that there is tons of evidence of the Chechen government putting gays in concentration camps from multiple news outlets. Well, that's not that's not what we're debating today. The only well, thing, well, we but can, the thing is, the you only thing you'd it. have you to acknowledge. It, so I'm just acknowledging. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, that yeah, happened. yeah. Well, we can debate that another time. But for now, what we're saying is that that is not the same as Nazism. Okay, but is that of concern? Do you think? If I was Chechen, I would be opposed to it. But I don't okay. live. In- Look at Jackson sweating. It's like, think Jackson. Think. Just, you know, it's not my so, business. do you think that fighters who put <laughs> gay people in concentration camps should be active? In- He's sweating. Look at his face. In combat, you Ukraine. cannot. Oh, you cannot. You cannot make. It's like, oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh shit! This doesn't say what I said it would. The racist claim that all Chechen. Wait soldiers no! Wait no! I'm not saying all Chechen camps. soldiers, but the. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his face. No, it's like that. It's like that one meme. Of the what's like the the guy oh. in class, right? And he's like his look, face is like all stressed. Look, guys, guys, he's look, look. We stuff. we have we have all been there. <laughs> Come on, y'all. He's he's doing so much. He has to do the work of two people here and undo everything Haas says. Come on, give him a break. <laughs> this was like back in my fucking like libertarian days, like. Uh, I'll try to look for some fucking statistic on whatever. Hang on, it's hang on. Like, let's just let's, shit. It doesn't say what I'm. Okay, okay, okay. To, okay. Let's just let's just say. watch. Let's just watch Jackson for this. I just want. To, I want to watch very closely. Just pay attention to his face. No, there are officials who were involved in that fighting in Ukraine right now. Which ones? You know the one that you're like, Dylan. You you liar. You he's swallowing. Died. He's shy that guy that he's alive. That he's that golfing. Guy, right? Yeah. You're saying he's alive. That he guy. He specifically was okay. I'm saying okay. That guy, let's say he's alive. That makes your argument even worse. Yeah. That guy was involved in putting homosexuals in concentration camps. Okay, uh, I haven't seen any evidence for that. There's tons of evidence for it. I have not. I have not. Jackson, I don't want you to feel left out. Give you <laughs> yeah. So, Victoria Newland, U.S. Assistant Secretary of State, estimated in 2013 that the USA had quote invested more than five billion in 1991 to help Ukraine achieve the future it deserves or sorry 19 since, <laughs> si- no 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 since 1991 <laughs> since 1991. so since 1991 they've been investing money to have the coup in 2014 do you yes, not think that the Ukrainian citizen wait, wait, wait. the context <laughs> wait, of that year? what did yeah wait wait what was the quote again can you say it one more time yeah let's hear the quote again <laughs> That's, that's like he's gonna cry. Fi- invested USA had invested more than five billion dollars since 1991 to help achieve to help Ukraine achieve the future it deserves. What does that mean? How does that mean that that they're achieving a coup? That could mean hey, we're giving the well, money to help Ukraine Victoria get better. Newland had leaked audio recordings, handpicked that, that, Yatsen, that, Yuka, so they the didn't leader, handpick. We've and already also, about that. also, bullshit. also, we saw that uh, he the didn't national, handpick the National Endowment for Democracy's president. Uh, said this about U.S. support. He said just two months before uh, the Maidan protest broke out, um, 
he wrote that, uh, quote, the opportunities are considerable uh, and there are important ways Washington could help. And this was in reference to uh, the na- this was in reference to the coup. This was the president of the National Endowment is. for there Democracy. Is, there's nothing specific. The it's all vague. It's nothing specific. Yeah. Well, here, yeah so way, here's the question: Wait, where did the money go? Yeah. Where did where the five billion, billion go? go? Yeah. Where so who received who received the money the to start the coup? The it's goal not goal the goal 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 goal. Goal. This is where we're at. We're in the middle of the field. Like the thing is, I know about this because Putin says he read Putin said exactly. Putin Putin said this specific thing. And the thing is, the five billion dollars did not go anywhere near a coup aid or anything. The $5 billion. <laughs> where where did it go then, okay. Dylan? So, no, I'm asking you. You, you, did you. Just give it, no, did I'm asking give, you, Jackson. Did they give Jackson, individual you said the $5 billion. To the Ukrainian no, people. Jackson, you where do you said think it. $5 Jackson, billion? Dollars. You gentlemen, said it. Where do you think you said, said it, Jackson? The U.S. Jackson, 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 you said it. You said it. I tell you, you can pretty. Jesus Christ, a mime would have modded this better. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please stop. You're 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 putting up my views. You're putting up my likes. The traction's too much. Please stop. Please, please cease. Please, please stop it. Please, please, please. please pretty please, please. I'll go to the washroom. I'm gonna keep this running. Um, if you guys want to try and shout over this, be my guest. I'll be back in like two minutes. Ew, you call it the washroom? Yeah, I'm in mean, Canada. We have dignity here. Easily oh, logically oh infer uh, that the fuck. Okay, pardon my logic. Just to be infer. sure that people can hear each of you make your point. So, uh, just going in order, we'll go alphabetically, okay. which is uh, D, uh, DHJ. So, okay, Dylan, and then uh, Haas, and then Jackson. So, Jackson, you talked about the $5 billion. We're saying it did not go towards a coup. I don't see no evidence of this. This is something Putin repeated in his speech, which is a lie. So I'm asking you, since you referenced the $5 billion and you have yet to show any evidence that anybody was handpicked, where did it go? Where did this $5 billion go for this coup? So Dylan, I know you're a fucking dumbass and you can't Mm. put two and two together here. There is logically nowhere else the $5 billion could have gone. So you don't know. You don't There's, know. It couldn't, so Jesse, logically speaking, yeah, it you couldn't don't have gone anywhere else. Five billion dollars from 1994. Wait, wait. Do you know the history of Ukrainian-American relations since yeah. 1994 to 2014? Yeah, Dylan, you shut really the fuck up. Let me finish my point. Five billion yeah, dollars you, 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 unless there Jackson, and aid, unless you Jackson don't think, has something. You don't think? Jackson, yeah, mute, mute him, mute him so I can respond. Yeah, let him leave. Or you might be on mute, Jackson. Let me let me unmute you. I think I put you on there earlier. Okay. All right. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Yeah. Um, the Financial Times, you're right, Dylan. Sure. I don't have the exact bank wire transfers and, and shit. I, I, you're right. I, I'm, I'm just completely making all this stuff up. Financial Times, though, reported that uh, groups like New Citizen received this funding, and they said that they reported that um, this money played a big role in getting the protests up and running, referring to the Maidan protests. Uh, this was led, of course, by... Andrei Perubi, who's a notorious neo-Nazi within Ukraine that, uh, you know, called upon the firing of protesters and police uh, in the protests. Uh, there was there was one other point you made that's slipping my mind right now. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that that sure, we don't have the exact bank wire transfers, but you can't you can't entertain the fact that this all happened. Five billion dollars here. We have these. We're still on this. No, no progress. Check the uh, check the chat. Uh, YouTube chat or? Uh, this chat. Oh. Um, I'm just seeing, uh, James giving asses. That's all we got. Yes. Okay. True. All right. Yes. Fair enough. These phone recordings, we have all of this going on. We have, you know, Chris Murphy, John McCain, Victoria Newland, Jeffrey Piott going out on the streets of Maidan, passing out cookies is, to the protest. We're doing, he's doing the wait, Gishka. Let me finish. Let me finish. Oh my God, dude. It's just a million yeah, bullshit yeah, points. Yeah, yeah. Like when one of them. 15 more seconds, Jackson, and then we got to Every move. time I get interrupted or you interrupt. So let me finish. You cannot entertain, or you, you have to entertain the fact, rather, that the fact that. The funding began in 1991, one year directly after the effort uh, upon NATO-aligned countries to bring Ukraine into NATO. That that lines up perfectly with what the overarching mission at play here is of Victoria Newland to get 
the anti-NATO forces within Ukraine deposed from government, that's Yanukovych, and to get pro-NATO uh, individuals in government to join NATO. Got to move it over. Okay. okay. So I got I to gotta respond to that because the thing is, the five is also one year after the collapse of the Soviet Union and Ukraine went into economic ruin. And the $5 billion is something Putin stated as well. That's referencing to the entirety of U.S. aid to Ukraine from that date to 2014. Mm -hmm. So you're telling me that the entirety of U.S. aid to Ukraine was made up of just going to coup stuff when you have no evidence, no financial documents, no transactions, no direct evidence of any sort, then any of that went towards resources, towards a coup. It is referenced to aid. He It'd named like, it. No, he didn't. He, he named, named nothing. Group. You, I named you left because you're a little bitch. You weren't here. No, he, he didn't. It. So where did it go? Where did it go? And what did the coup, what did this group do that did the uh, revolution? What it did organized, it do? It helped organize the protest. It was a group what, the that five, helped organize the So the $5 billion dollars went to what? What? The, 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 so Man. I'm saying that Financial Times reported, uh, again, what? you're right. I don't have the exact wire transfers. I'm not in these people's bank accounts. I'm just saying it's a little bit suspicious <laughs> that we have, we have Victoria yeah. Newland saying that we have $5 billion going to Ukraine since 1991. Victoria Newland's office uh, happens to be the same office in which the National Endowment for Democracy is located. They share an office in Ukraine. Uh, we have Financial Times reporting that New Citizen received some of this money. Sure, probably, definitely not all $5 billion of it. And it just so happens that these protests, which were Western-backed, um, and we know according to uh, this phone call, they were at least sympathetic to the uh, you know leader Yatsenyuk, who became the prime minister directly after the protests. Uh, this stuff all lines up, and it just hold so on, happens. I, 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 wait, hold on, wait, I gotta no, no, respond. I gotta 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 respond. Okay, so, so we we haven't we haven't established we haven't established a single fact. We haven't we literally haven't established a single fact. We haven't established a single fact. So all we have established so many. Okay, so all we've seen. I have the fact right here. All we've seen is that since in in 1992. After the dissolution of the Soviet Union, the United States and Ukraine signed a bilateral deal with the United States which sent aid to Ukraine to help them for a variety of things. They identified three strategic objectives. It was to create a broad-based market economy to help build a participatory democratic political system and to assist in social sector reforms to ease the difficulties of transition. That's where the money went towards. The government themselves, the governments themselves were the ones that were organizing and receiving the aid. The idea that you're trying to pretend that this $5 billion that's been allocated since 19 1992 somehow went through black market channels. If it did, then we wouldn't be talking about the $5 billion that the United States says that it sent. This would be black money or dark money that's going through other channels that you wouldn't have any idea about. Or rather, it would have been established by like a WikiLeaks leak or something like that. The idea that official US aid that was agreed upon by the Ukrainian government, that it, that it was going to end up in the Ukrainian government, and then somehow the leaders in the Ukrainian government decided to allow that aid that they as a government agreed to accept to be funneled to groups that would eventually form a coup is ridiculous. A lot of this aid was far reaching. It wouldn't surprise me if you could identify one or two groups that were involved in protests or coups that received this aid. Yanukovych probably had a lot of personal friends and probably people in the government that received that aid as well. The idea that that aid was used to, to back some sort of coup because you have a recording with two U.S. diplomats talking about a preference in leadership in a relatively volatile country. I don't understand why you think you can link these two things together. I can tell you right now that the United States sends so much aid all across the world. I could probably Shut find aid going to every single to fucking country that's well. ever had a revolution, that's done. ever had a coup, that's ever had any any sort of yeah. political turmoil, and and find two U.S. diplomats talking, okay, so uh, express, yeah, bro. expressing yeah, bro. expressing. I expressing a, oh, can I finish yeah, one bro. statement? Yeah, I gotta finish. Yeah, I gotta finish. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. I totally don't know how we could. Well, gee, I I have to. I gotta finish a single. I have to finish a single statement. I have to finish a single statement. Please wait your turn. Please. Finally, yeah, we can so wrap this we have, we have, up so, right now. So to, to, to so, be clear, so the yeah. evidence we have is that since 1992, the United States has sent $5 billion to the Ukrainian government, not to secret groups, not to protest groups, not to future coups, that the Ukrainian government itself okayed this bilateral uh, agreement well, to humanitarian coup, aid. And the citizen. only evidence that we have, and the only New evidence citizen. that the only, I, let me finish, the only evidence we have well, that lying, this so went to fund you. a coup is two like U.S. diplomats about talking like about, like talking on the phone, no, expressing a preference for some leadership or a failure of the EU to act on something. Okay, That's it. Right, let, let, let me go now let me go now okay because this is actually really fucking simple so first of all there's like many prongs to the fucking stupidity you just laid on my fucking table now the first thing is that 
You actually contradicted your little friend Dylan here because Dylan, the fucking liar, wow. just sat here and said that the five billion dollars was an economic aid to Ukraine. No, it fucking wasn't. It was because eight. Newland herself, who publicly denies uh, funding the Maidan coup, in the same <laughs> sentence she utters denying it, said that the five billion since 1991 was there to promote democracy. And we know what that fucking means. It means promoting NGOs, civil society groups, and forces within the Ukrainian government that are aligned with the U.S. Now, you're trying to make this out like, you know, it's absurd that they would fund the Ukrainian government that's later going to be overthrown. The thing is, the whole of the Ukrainian government wasn't overthrown. There are elements within the Ukrainian government that were against the president at that time. The coup was actually against the president. Uh, don't, don't go crazy, Dylan. You're going into Alex Jones territory. The Ukrainians are developing... A, a a a bio weapon to target the ethnic Russians, which are apparently the same as the Ukrainians. Not the entire Ukrainian state itself, and even here. during the uh, president. I don't know. But I've. Um, Haas has. Yeah, Haas has simultaneously uh, argued that the Ukrainian people are actually Russians, while at the same time accusing them of trying to create a uh, a. Uh, uh, a bio a bio weapon that will target russian genetic genetic uh makeup solely some somehow i i that's a call of duty shit. like plot and all of this I, I know there is i think that's gonna be the next this is more game. this is more metal gear solid i think well no but 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 now like call of duty has to take this because metal gear solid is gone so or no it might be the new uh, it might be the division three. Oh shit you're right. I don't play any of these games, so we'll move on. Presidency of Yanukovych before the 2014 Maidan, there was still a division of uh, spheres of influence within the Ukrainian government between the Americans and the Europeans on one hand and the Russians. It was not a Russian puppet government by any stretch of the fucking imagination. It was still just as divided. And that five billion that was given to, uh, to the Ukrainians since 1991 was going toward the forces that ultimately would culminate in the Maidan. Now, Jackson literally gave you a concrete fucking example. I could give another two, Haas. I, yeah. I, 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 I want to respond. Group Okay, that received know. funds from this five billion that participated that was pivotal for the it helped organize protests for the fucking maidan so the whole right, point let's... is that this five billion uh for regime change and democracy exporting that the u.s was giving the ukrainian government which i reiterate bill the fucking liar claimed was economic aid when it was not oh, really? it was political so can i get a commitment on it can you give me a commitment that none of this money went to economic no aid? no no. Can you're shifting the goalpost wait no i want to hear that oh you were shifting let's, the let's, fucking ah, goalpost. There it is. some of it some Dude, of it may have had an Wait economic component okay. to it, but uh -huh. it was primarily to promote you democracy. You okay. made ahead, it seem Dylan. like so, it was primarily gonna, okay. about economic aid. So, number no, one, not. that's not, that's not even true. Okay, yeah. that's not even oh, true. Not true. So, yeah, number one, 1. 1.1 1 .1 billion of it went to economic growth. 2.4 billion went to things like military assistance, border security, human trafficking issues, international narcotics abatement, law enforcement induction. That's I'll actually the Jackson majority of it. Away. That, the majority of that, is not promoting democracy. It would actually be labeled under promoting peace and security when you talk about things like human trafficking, which is a legitimate- Then tell Newland let that yourself. Let me, fin let me finish. I'm just telling you the exact <laughs> money amounts, where it's going, and you're rejecting it. I'm telling you exact money. And the thing is about that, human trafficking, it's <laughs> after the collapse of the Soviet Union, there was a lot of issues when it comes to children being sold into sexual slavery. There was a lot of issues- Which the CIA is involved, involved with. On. Okay. Bro, he, can, you, wait, he can't just keep screaming into his microphone, jacked up as loud as possible. Like, you want to, you want to like, cry about? I'm trying. Okay. So, Jesus. okay. So, back to the issue. This is why a lot of this money went to Ukraine. It went to things to deal with things like human trafficking. It went there to deal with economic aid after the economic collapse post Soviet Union. All, some of it, of course, some of it went to 800 million of it went to governing just, governing justly and democratically, and 400 million went to investing in people. We can get into specifics if you want to break that down, but there is no evidence in the five billion of this, of the five billion dollars, any of this going into black sites or anything of this sort. The majority of this money didn't even have to do with democracy necessarily. We've got to go um, into Q&A shortly, but I know that Jackson, I think you wanted to say something. So yeah, uh, I would like to say something. So we also have the fact that uh, at the start of the Maidan protests, uh, the three new TV shows in Ukraine, that uh, news TV shows that were covering the protests and working with opposition were uh, Romadsky.tv, 
Um, and there was there was two other ones. Uh, let me see if I can find these here. Um, but while I find these, I also want to note that uh, these three TV stations uh, received funding from the Dutch and U.S. embassies, as well as the Renaissance Foundation, which was funded by George Soros. The other two were Spillno.tv and Ecnepeco TV. I don't know how to pronounce that. And George Soros, during the coup, uh, the Maidan coup himself, admitted, quote, I set up a foundation in in Ukraine before Ukraine became independent of Russia, and the foundation has been functioning ever since it pl- ever since, and it played an important part in the Maidan events right now. And then the third point, because again, you've alleged that I can't provide evidence for this. I've also provided the new citizen organization, which was involved in the coup. We also have Yevin Karas, who is the leader of Ukraine's neo-Nazi terror gang, C-14, which again helped lead the coup. He was the guy who said that if it were not for the 2% of neo-Nazis that were active within the Maidan protests, it would have been 90% less effective and successful. He said, quote, we are now being given money, so much weapons, not because as some say the West is helping us, not because they want the best for us, but because we perform the tasks by the West uh, because we are the only ones who are ready to do, uh, and we have, wait, sorry, because we're the only ones who are ready to do them uh, because we have fun. We have fun killing and we have fun fighting. uh, And they like, wow. Let's see what's going to happen. That's what they said. Can I do do a thing because we're going into Q&A soon? Let's actually say, if Dylan will allow me, let's actually grant all of this. Let's say that there was a coup. Um, Let's say that there was some revolution for some reason. Um, Future leadership is still maintaining a a lot of popularity throughout most of Ukraine. Let's say that all of that happened, okay, but it was a coup, it was illegal, all that shit. What right does that give Russia to invade Ukraine? Oh, that's very simple. We should have gotten that for the start. So we talked about the balance of security architecture within Europe, which Ukraine was planning on upsetting with its plans to fucking join NATO. But that alone, you're right, doesn't justify an invasion, which is why Russia kept trying to negotiate with its Western partners for some eight, nine years about this issue, leading to fucking nowhere, to to the point where they finally tried to negotiate with Ukraine also about the issue of the Donbass to settle a peace. And Ukraine signed the Minsk agreement to have a ceasefire in the Donbass. As as recent as January of 2022, Ukraine made it very clear that it had no intention to implement the, um, the Minsk agreement, which said that they would lead to the destruction of our country, and we had to sign it at gunpoint by Russia. Now, finally, Ukraine's continued attacks against the people of the Donbass, they're what amounts to basically a genocide, the constant shelling of civilian infrastructure and the daily terrorism experienced by the people of the Donbass, by Ukraine's armed forces and the Azov Battalion. Uh, Russia decided to step in finally and recognize the republics. And when those republics became sovereign in Russia's eyes, and Russia did this, by the way, to Wait, can we just can we do this simply instead of rambling the about the entire of history the of the violence. Violence. we're going to when those this, right? when those republics continued to be shelled and attacked yeah. after they were forward. recognized, he's just sprouting up history. Yeah, he does this every time he can't answer a question. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. This is the fucking answer. Russia's it, Russia it was, is justified. It, Russia is justified for no mm-hmm. other reason than to protect and guarantee its own security as a country, as well as to so protect my que- yeah. So my question then is so as well as to protect the people of the Donbass. So my question is, why does the security of Russia supersede the security of the Ukrainian people? When you open this with a quote about how the security of, the of one people, country... One sec, sure, because Steven. the security of the Ukrainian people was never under threat by Russia. It's it's NATO who is tipping its balance in the opposite How is the direction. security of Russia under threat by NATO? How is the security of uh, Russia under threat by NATO? Sure, <laughs> NATO has a history of disrespecting the sovereignty of other countries and invading other countries. Like Russia it, does right now with Ukraine? This is a fucking self-fulfilling prophecy. Russia is doing what it's doing in Ukraine to prevent NATO aggression against Russia. <clears throat> Russia has no plan on forcing. So why why can't Ukraine others. have legitimate Russia security? Russia doesn't export why? its system or its values. <clears throat> NATO does. It's that. Why, it, Russia, the Soviet Union, absolutely has in the past. Russia is absolutely looking to the Soviet. The Russia future. is not the Soviet <clears throat> Union. And second of all, the Soviet Union did not fucking export its system by military force. No, it the, didn't. It absolutely did. No, What? Wait, wait, fucking uh, abs- hello? Hey, wait, can, can you? Sorry, what's yeah, I couldn't hear you. Were you trying to speak? Were you speaking? Oh, I'm just, I'm. The Soviet Union did not okay? export its. Yeah, I am. The Soviet Union did not export its system militarily. It absolutely did. I know it did. It, from its inception, there was a civil war. Um, like, what? 
there were attempts to uh, there were attempts to do so and uh, to export it to Finland and the Baltic states, but they ultimately failed until the they were able to take take uh, the Baltic yeah. in uh, World War Two, but. But then they did the same after uh, after World War Two in the occupied zones. Uh, yes, Win. That's is... that's an apt description of this. A tanky is denying the use of tanks. Um. Yeah, I think this is just Haas, like you know, doing the same BS of like I don't know. I guess this is like a part of his like the whole like Mongol skit because I'm pretty sure he said the same thing about. Um, this is what I was referring to before, not just of China today, but particularly of um, uh, China's past, of course, when it wasn't China. Um, and saying, like, oh, they never imposed any sort of, uh, you know, imposed any, any like, ideology or, or uh, certain structure upon people. They just, I guess, had cultures in their culture or something like that. So I think he's kind of pulling the same card here, saying like, you know, Russia just wants to have, I don't know, I guess Ukraine just be Russia in a way that isn't intrusive to Ukraine. Absolutely. Name a single example of that. All three of the Baltics, at the very least. The Baltics were not taken by the Soviet Union to expand its system, but because it was a, a form of revanchism for the former territories of the Russian Empire. The countries not were invaded, extend, had their parliament disposed of, and then took votes and held referendums to join the Soviet Union. Sounds similar? Like Crimea. Wait, Russia, well, the Soviet Union has a huge about? history You're of doing this. Referendum, 96% of the Yeah, not crazy how after you get invaded, crazy. Hold on, wait, hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's talk about Crimea. Let's talk about I can't even finish, I can't even finish my question. We have to say that it was I'm going to finish my question. It was. You cannot say that. I just, let me quickly finish this point about Crimea. 15 seconds. First of all, the people of Crimea made the decision first. I do want to. Then the Russian military came. Come on. Dylan's been waiting for a long time. I do want to get to the They declared independence. Independence before. Okay, so what I, what's really interesting about the Crimea thing is we keep bringing up the referendum. Jackson, can you tell me what were the options on the referendum? Oh, the two choices. They declared independence before the. <laughs> wait, no, wait, no, Jackson. Could you answer that question quick? They declared independence. No, I'm asking Jackson a question. People, I'm asking. No, I, that's. I didn't ask. I didn't ask. What were the two options? The what were the options on the referendum? The what were the Federation. options on the referendum? What were the two options? The what were the two options? Answer my question. Anybody ever read Discworld at all, especially making money? So in Making Money, there's a character who's trying to imitate the sort of Machiavellian uh, uh, patrician, that's the word, patrician of the, the city of Ankh-Morpork Park world. Most of the stories take place. And there's this uh, this bank manager guy who's who like, he, he, he likes to uh, pretend that he is this person. He has like a complex, like Napoleon complex. Um, that is what that is what Jackson is in this conversation. Infrared is what Jackson wants to be for God knows what reason. And so, a question for infrared, he just he intuitively treats as a question for him. Voting. What were the two I don't options? care how you want to construe it. Ninety no, states declared the answer my question. To join what the were the two Federation. options? It was legal. What were the two options? The Crimean government You're not answering my question. Uh, Dylan, 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 you make him answer my question. Earlier on, you make him answer my question. Hold on, all right, gentlemen. He's not going to answer my question. He's dodging it. Okay, so the reason, the reason, the reason, it's my, it's my time to talk. If he's, he's not answering my question. Okay, so I do want to give, I want to go back to Dylan. We'll give him a chance. And then we'll give you a chance to answer the question. Jackson, Infra, I've got you. They had already declared Infra. independence. Okay. I swear to God, the moderator's lowered his own gain. Like, he's he's the quietest person here. What what the hell is going on? <laughs> this is to say, I've got you on mute. Okay. Give me a break here. So, so the reason why Jackson isn't answering my question is because the two options, neither of them was joining back with Ukraine. So they Because were, they no, already no, showed how to do that. I, 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 shut up, please. Sorry. Jesus Christ. So the reason why a lot of people, including like Crimean Tartars and others, boycotted... They already oh, declared oh, independence! Jesus. Oh my God. The reason why... Oh, so much. <laughs> what the fuck? The reason why... <laughs> they had already... <laughs> they had already declared independence before...
James, I can't. I can't do it, man. I can't. You can't because you're a They declare independence before Christians came. They overly reject. Dude, why don't I see him at protests, bro? Like, he can, like, he can. He, he would be, shit. he would be out there with a megaphone, an actual like handheld megaphone, and it would cut out. He doesn't need a megaphone. Are, Just you, fucking... are you sure you want him at your protest? Yes. Are you I, sure? I, I, I would. I would I, pay. I, I would pay money for that. Yeah. And besides, I need him to go in first when the uh, when the cops are shooting. <laughs> I don't know if you want the voice They're of your movement to be the that. dude who probably thinks George Soros uh, and Israel is behind all the fucking world's woes, but... Well, no, I'll give him, like, the, the, what is it, the CPI flag, um, and, like, they'll be their own group, and then the rest will just, you know, come in later. There's a whole, there's a strategy to this, okay, trust me. CPI, by the way, I mean, um, what is it, Center for Political Innovation, which is Kayla Maupin's group. For anybody else wondering, not CPI is in Communist Party of India. I don't know how he's unmuting himself. All right, well, let's go to uh, Dylan. You had a question. Yeah, I didn't. I never got to finish. Liar! <laughs> I didn't even get to say what liar. I'm lying about. You didn't even let me lie yet. I'm about because to lie. they had you already know, declared yeah, independent. Yeah, let me lie. Okay, Dude, let me tell my evil Western stop. lies. And Okay, and then you can like talk later. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't realize so he's my muted. evil Western lie is that neither of the Bahaj options on, on the bro. referendum was to that. join Ukraine. It was a join Ukraine, you join Russia, Russia formally, or b be an independent state heavily influenced by the Russian government. Is that what it Those said? Those were Dylan? the two. Is that that's exactly not what? what it that's said? not the exact words. It was a lot. <laughs> You're okay. fucking such a Let me get this point in. I'll stop and watch it. Jackson, 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 I never. James, if I can't talk, I can't talk. I can't debate if I can't. James, I can't. Please, please take your turns. Okay, okay, okay. 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 I All can't. Right. What, what I can't. Was, okay, hold on. Let's. What was the question that you had, Dylan? That we do have to. Go I don't even have a question anymore. I'm just trying to say something, and they won't let just me. Let me get one point in 15 seconds. seconds. No, I don't because care. I don't care. Dylan, I'm not really making. Give me 15 seconds. Know. Give me 15 <laughs> seconds. We'll give you a quick pithy response, and we're gonna go. Jackson did not know what the two options on the. Sounds like he's in a fucking fishbowl. <laughs> Infrared <laughs> looks like okay, fucking. No more. It's this like is... fucking Lido and Trades with the fucking. <laughs> okay, okay, stop. I can't do it. Just need to keep going. Sorry. <laughs> referendum was. That's why he wouldn't answer my question. And or it was inconvenient to him, but neither of the options was whether you, Crimea could join back with uh, with Ukraine. And the problem hey. is that I, I, I don't care, Has Please, for the love of God. They had already formally oh, declared. Okay, we're going to the Q&A. Wait, he, no, he, James, let me get this last point in. No. I've been trying to... Let me get this last point in. <laughs> 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 One more. Let me get one last. No. Ten seconds. Just give me seconds. Ten seconds. Give me ten seconds. No, I don't... Just find a way to fit it into one of these questions. This one coming in from Ozzy and Talk says Putin destroyed Russia, and there is no way back from them without Putin stepping down and Russia oh. apologizing. European Union. European Union should join NATO. Putin will go down in history as an example of one of the worst global leaders ever. Save the kids. One addition, uh, Russia should also yeah. pay reparations. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'll answer that question very easily. So Crimea had already declared its formal Wait, independence. Wait, that wasn't the question. That was all the Cry question. Shut the fuck up, you little bitch. No, Crimea no, had no, already no. declared. Okay, we go. Crimea <laughs> we have to keep this civil. Okay. Crimea had already declared formal independence Could before the referendum. Could they do that under the Ukrainian constitution? They didn't need to because it was overthrown ah. in a coup. The Ukrainian president ah. was overthrown in an illegal coup. So, so the constitution is in the air and it's out of the fucking window, you so, fucking dumbass. So the, the constitution matters.
for the, but not Not the when there's a coup that's no, that's really, suspect. No. Dylan, do you Turn think that Not when there's a coup? That's interesting. James, why do you keep fucking with me, but you let him... Listen, you let him... Ten minutes, but you keep fucking me? Let Dylan talk to him once. Do you think that a coup violates... You don't fucking mute him once. Let me fucking... Do it. Oh, wait, the is thrown into the, the air kick him, kick him, just when there's a just fucking him, illegal clue. You, you gotta kick him. I would like you his, have his, to his, his, his timetable. His timetable time isn't even accurate. I forgot Dylan was there. I forgot Destiny was there. <laughs> Destiny who? That guy was in this debate. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh my god. Honestly, this is what I would see. This is why I was excited. If you did not come for this, I'm sorry you lost because this is all that you come here for. This, this is this is the gold here. Mm. God, it's so fucking good. Accurate. The Declaration of Independence for Crimea took place uh, after Dylan's after acting like a coup doesn't violate the sovereignty well, of a given nation. Wait, hold on, wait, 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 real quick, just because okay. Husky's screaming this. The, the Declaration of Independence from Crimea happened after the Russian invasion. The, the, no, the fact didn't. that he's trying to say that it happened prior no, to that isn't even true. No, it didn't. Russian it troops were on the ground in, in February. In late February, Russia Unmarked, was pushing into Crimea. Unmarked. Unmarked. The, Listen, oh, they were the pushing Declaration of, of Crimea. What the, the Declaration of Independence was on March 16th. Go ahead, what what does it mean pushing into Crimea? Go ahead. As in Russian troops rolled through the area with little resistance and took over the entire fucking peninsula. I wonder why there was little resistance because they had already expressed and declared their... Actually, we went over this a little while ago. Um, it turns out that their weaponry was woefully under-maintained and basically none of their shells worked, so it's a miracle they put any resistance at all. Attention to be fucking independent. Even Literally. if they had... Sections of your country cannot just vote themselves to join another <clears throat> country that has military bases in that peninsula, hey. aggressively positioned to go and invade you. Well, they, work they that way. That's not can how I, sovereignty works. Can I vote to join right? another debate? Can we do that? This one coming in from Can Fight says, "Just got." Wait, posterity. I never got to respond to Jackson's <laughs> question about sovereignty. I want to answer it. Super short and pithy. Uh, okay, so Jackson asked me if a coup violates a nation's sovereignty. It depends on who actually does the coup. If the people of said nation overthrow the government, I believe they're allowed to do that. And so that's what they did in that instance because the Yanukovych was regime was morally corrupt and worked against the interests of the people. Sorry, there you go. Let's jump in. There was no Let's vote for the coup, fight. Dylan. Can fight that's not how coups work. The majority, the majority they had, of they had an election. So they had an election. There wasn't reading. even a majority that wanted election. to join the EU. They they had not even at the time a majority. I think we need another mute here on the Moscow so Manlet, so please. Hey, you look bitch ass. The gnome. Both Dylan and Haas, I've got you on mute because we do have to get the next question. Destiny has Destiny. His torso is big, though. He's short. He looks like a fucking torso. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck? Oh, is your beauty? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> like, that is so pathetic. Look at the arms like, on Dylan. I didn't realize he was that big. Like, good God. Um, Sorry. Ran, ran yeah, apart. Dylan is a big person. Um, Yeah, people were commenting about the title of this video. Like, un unironically, Destiny and Dylan are both taller than Haas, which is the funniest part of this. <laughs> oh, my God. Really? Wait, I thought Destiny was, like, really short, too. He is. That's why it's funny that Haas is shorter. Wait, what? How short is Haas? He's like, a just a smidgen, smidgen shorter than Destiny. They were uh, photographed together at that thing they went five, through the debate. Five, like, 5'4", five, 5'5", five, five? really? Yep. Yeah. I think Dylan is probably the tallest person here, actually. He's he's six something, isn't he? What? Yeah, Dylan is rather tall. Also, I'm still waiting for that, uh, that, that boxing that fight between him and Haas. I still want that. That'd be so oh good. Oh my god, I want that too. Wait, they're gonna box? Uh so Haas challenged Dylan to a fight and said he needs a month to get ready and Dylan said, Cool, I'm already trained. Uh because Dylan has training in I think boxing. And then Haas Haas said he's not gonna do it because Dylan has training. So, yeah. damn it. I would love to see that. Wow, I would actually pay to see that. Like, if deadass, if they said, like, that was, okay, $250 for pay-per-view, like, I'll fucking put more. I'll put 300 down. 
Jesus. I want to see that. You know that scene in Spaceballs where uh, Lone Star is just holding Dark Helmet's head from on top while he's just like swinging rapidly underneath? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what it would be. Jesus <laughs> Christ. But how tall is Jackson Hinkle? I have no idea, actually. Although, judging from the fact that he's, he's, he's like trying to imitate Haas' aesthetic, um, my guess is he suffers similarly. Just for the audience, no problem with being uh, five four. By the way, no, no, not it's, at all, it's not at all. Trying to be five four, it's more just like it's I not. It's, it's not like about it's the, the issue. It's the five four is not even that short. The point isn't that. Um, the, the point isn't that there's anything inherently wrong with being any height at all, or any advantage in being any height at all. The point is that when your personality is is when your sense of self esteem is staked entirely on that, and you're an awful person like these two, it's funny to point it out. That's all. Yeah, it's like it really explains it. This is coming in from Can Fight. Just has a long torso. Gosh, gosh. Like in in addition, I have no doubt that Infrared would actually, like, unfortunately, um, take Dylan apart in the ring just because he's built. Okay, Looks like Can Sid from Ice Age. He has the body of Sid from Ice Age. He has the body of Sid from Ice Age. <laughs> repeated a third. Next one. <laughs> Thank you very much for this question from Can <laughs> Fight. Says just okay, got posterity. No, <laughs> I like how Destiny was like repeated a third time. I mean, like I don't, I don't actually. First of all, Destiny's gotten pretty uh, fit recently. Dylan doesn't look like Sid from Ice Age, and but even if they did, even if they did for whatever reason have the body of Sid from Ice Age, um, at least unlike Jackson, they don't have the face of Sid from Ice Age. So, yo, oof, whoa, oof, I went in hard. Yeah, it's that, like Sid from Ice Age. Yeah, it's that hairline. Oh my Jesus! Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It, it's like it's the same. It's the same lines. I'm allowed to say that I've got like a high hairline. So Russia just, just attacked sure. the largest nuclear power plant in Europe, a violation of the Geneva Convention. Also, Russia has a huge Nazi problem. In parentheses, Limonov literally made Nazbols. You know, I have trouble pronouncing these things. I don't think five four is that short. Someone's saying that what in the, the chat. Fuck? What the fuck is James like reading off? What what's going on here? I I don't know. I I've I've lost all interest in, in the question. Something about something about Nas balls. Yeah, five four is not short. So five five four would be like what? Like up to my nose, kind of. I don't I don't regard someone who's up to my nose as short. I, I think I think when I think if someone's up, if someone's up to my nose, that's pretty short. Yeah. I'm five eleven, so. I mean, I'm six on the dot, which means that, like, compared to Vosh, Demon Mama, Demon Mama's height scares me. She's actually, like, apparently, like, 6'2", so it's like a giant compared to me. I'm 6'6". Six, six. What? You're 6'6"? Six, six? Yeah. Good God, you're like a, like a Skyrim giant. Jesus Christ. You're like Gandalf. Are we, allowed, are we allowed to answer that question? Are we allowed to answer that question? Lemonov is a fucking anarchist. Can we answer that question? Lemonov is an anarchist. Are we allowed to answer that question? Lemonov is a fucking dumbass asking that question? Can we answer the 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 question? Can we crimes against humanity and war crimes on both sides of this. That's why I support the International Criminal Court investigation into war crimes that uh, have taken place here since 2013, which the media seems to be leaving out uh, of the announcement of this ICC investigation and the preliminary uh, examination into war crimes and crimes against humanity here. But the thing is- Honestly, in my experience, I don't know why I'm still like on this, it's, it interests me for some weird reason. Um, shorter people are, are more intimidating than taller people who are kind of top heavy. Like, yeah, it's because like, they're, uh, because they're presence. Honestly, of everybody in this chat, I think Infrared and Destiny are probably the more, even Destiny, honestly, like, especially with how he's been, like, beefing up lately, they're probably the more intimidating physically. Jackson just can't exude that for the life of him. He could be the strongest one here and it just wouldn't register. Um, really? God, cameras do a lot for people. Uh, Des have you seen like recent photos of Destiny, like from the neck down? He's, he's tall. not that I hunt tall. for those. He's what? Like, 
he's Tom Cruise tall. Like that's not a thing. That's not a that's not intimidating. Uh if you're if look if you're if you're really fit and you've got like some weight to you, I I'd be more concerned about that than somebody who's taller but kind of like you know, lanky, like light I guess. Um. Yeah, lanky. Yeah. And then you've got demon mama types who could unironically take all four of these guys at once just because. Just I mean, you can kind of do that if you're a demon. I mean, my, my brother's also like that too. Like, he doesn't work out or anything. I mean, he does he does work a pretty hard job, but he's just like built as a giant. He can lift me with one arm, which is not a mild uh, accomplishment because I, I am not light. So, like, it's. I built different. By by contrast, like my father was shorter than me, and I'd be I'd be terrified of him physically. I think I think of all the people here, the only ones that I would be uh, really concerned about are Oz and uh, Destiny, honestly. And the other two would probably just be like slapping each other. Is if you're going to talk about uh, war crimes and crimes against humanity and civilian casualties taking place right now in Ukraine then you better be talking about them taking place in Donetsk and Luhansk still today and the ones that have taken place there overwhelmingly um, in this in this uh, conflict that has been waged asymmetrically by Ukraine, by the Azov Battalion in particular in <laughs> eastern Ukraine, um, since 2014. This, people seem to leave that out. Yeah, wait, can oh, we all I, agree that that would be a good idea then? I think that Russia should pull its troops and respect Ukraine's sovereignty. And then after they do that, we can have an independent investigation to see if there are no, any human rights abuses committed. There's the 25th of February, protesters blocked the Crimean anything. parliament who started and this, expressed Destiny? their will to be independent. So that Destiny, was before Destiny, the Russian Wait, that's not even on topic Destiny, anymore. Destiny, You're still rambling to, to put the put preliminary the examination led by the uh, International okay. Criminal Court, who launched the first war crimes and crimes so, against humanity here in this so conflict? I Okay, can I, I want to actually address two things. Oh, that was a question for Destiny. But I wanted to. Can because I agree you with made you? I'm trying to. That was a question to, for Destiny. Jackson, I want to agree with you. Destiny, me, who did it? Can I? Not, okay, I won't agree with you then. Okay. Destiny, who did it? Do you even know? Do you even know what the first war crimes or crimes against humanity committed here were? We should let independent organizations you go in and investigate. Even we should let that. Nothing that you're saying Jackson, justifies you a Russian invasion. It's, so it's so easy. It's so easy. It's so easy. to whatever fucking Minecraft it's so, bullshit it's so you spend easy. hours playing it's every so single It's so easy. Yeah, go quote random U.S. diplomats that you saw Minecraft. on an RT post about how that ju how that proves that there was like I'm, Western I'm involvement in a coup. I'm the International Criminal Court investigation into war crimes, which you claim to care about, but only what is What does every single international court say about what is every single wait What does every single international court say about Russia's annexation of Crimea? What does the I, international you're, you're court No, 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 let him answer. Let him answer that. Let him answer that. Let him answer that. Let him answer that. That's a great question. Pivoting yeah, Stephen. Pivoting Stephen. Pivoting Pivoting Stephen. Who recognizes the Russian annexation of Crimea? That's a great question, Destiny, because the International Criminal Court has said that the crimes against humanity and war crimes oh, he doesn't. started there in this conflict he doesn't have an answer. were from there it Ukraine. Is. That's a great point. Because you pivoted, Destiny. There it is. First you said he was quoting a random journalist. There. And then he would, quoted the International Court and you Joe fucking pivoted like a pussy. Pivoting Jay, pussy. Oh, pussy. Hey, James. Yeah. Let Dylan go. Pivoting pussy. I, Let I've, Dylan speak. I've, I've been attempting to do something dastardly, and that's actually agree with Jackson for a second. And um, I actually do agree that there have been a lot of war crimes actually committed in Donetsk and Luhansk. And one of the, actually the biggest issues I'd point to specifically has to do with water security. I believe it was UNICEF that wrote a report about water security issues in there caused by the war. It's just I don't believe the best way to deal with human rights abuses on either side is to expand the conflict because now electricity, water security, all these resources are now going to be even harder to come by in not only Donetsk, Luhansk, but in the rest of Ukraine as well. We've already heard about like reports in yes. Maripol and Let's move in the next report. one. Yeah, I'm trying to agree with Jackson. I mean, we already heard about reports in Maripol and other locations about critical civilian infrastructure being undermined. And so yes. the best thing so, to do... Well, so, Dylan, I have a question back for no, you. I, I, I do Look, Mariupol in no, 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 2015. Gosh, gosh, okay. Shut the fuck up for a second. Shut the fuck up. Sorry, I do so, want to do this. Uh, I Destiny, want to I have a question forward. back for you. Hold on. Because I, I do, we have so many questions from chat. Dude, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. So why is it? Why is it that... James, mute him. James, mute him. questions from the chat. Plummy 005 says, how long does a group of people need to live in a land in order to have a claim to it? People say that the Russians in Ukraine were imported there 200 years ago, but we can say the same for any group of people going back enough. 
Uh, Destiny, who took Mariupol in 2015? Your mom. It was the Azov Battalion, you fucking idiot. Just because they're not the only idiot. Oh, shit. Oh, I like I like Destiny again. No, we're all we're all losers for laughing at that one. Jesus no, God. we're not. No, we're not. No, I'm not a, no, Destiny's not forgiven for anything. No, he's not. He's not forgiven for anything. But I will say that is that is how you respond to Oz. Give the devil like, his due. Great. In one doing? military Nobody operation, that's crazy. Of a whole city? Of a whole city? Of a whole city? Vladimir Putin. And you're saying they're marginal? I can't hear you, Jackson. This is impossible. This one coming in from... Dylan. Jackson, do you have something regret? Yeah, yeah, no, I I agree with what Dylan said. I, you know, I condemn uh, war crimes, crimes against humanity on both sides. Yeah, and I think they should be investigated. People should be held accountable. We have to recognize though who started this, and you made a good point about that. Um, the thing is though, do you not uh, give any credit to Vladimir Putin for trying to get everyone to adhere to the Minsk Accords for years and years and years that would have brought an end to this brutality? Nobody so, adhered to it. It was violated on both sides continuously. That's why the second set didn't even get signed. Who violated what? it first and who expressed an unwillingness to implement it? And both sides say both sides violated it first. Who expressed an unwillingness to implement it? Ukraine literally said okay. they had no intention to implement it despite so signing it. It's Okay, this one coming in from, thanks for your question. Pivot Cyroy says, question for Infrared and Hinkle. If this unjustified invasion was done by Russia to protect the people in the Donetsk and Luhansk regions... Why does Belarus have it details for invasion plans for Moldova? I, wh based on what evidence? Where's show yeah. me the evidence? Well, that's actually from Belarus uh, Lukashenko. He showed a map on screen during a speech, I think, two days ago, where that showed invasion plans from Trenistra specifically, not Moldova. They could be contingency so, so plans. How do you know those are uh, invasion plans? Those could be contingency plans in case uh, the events change. I, maybe <laughs> I have no. In, in, in oh, contingency God. plans for in the event they. They need to invade Moldova. Why would you need to invade Moldova? Yeah. What? Literally, they just went through multiple times this extraordinary <clears throat> string on a pin on a giant board of conspiracy, and then screamed, "You can't see the pieces!" And then, literally, it's just that. You know, how do you know their invasion? This point? is this is like <laughs> this is like if uh, if 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 Hitler somehow was able to go, like on YouTube back in the day, and in, in the midst of blitzkrieging through belgium um they they saw like lines showing points of attack to get into britain and he's just like no no it's it's a contingency plan just in case like listen the plans to invade denmark norway belgium uh and fucking netherlands and luxembourg are all just contingencies <laughs> Let's assume that for argument's sake. Contingencies for what? Like what? What possible? What possible situation could make that a a uh, an amelioration to the state of things? That doesn't make any sense. Well, obviously, for something that's contingent, that is what contingency means. Thank you, Bunny Tooth. You're welcome. Blue. I mean, so so listen. Yeah, that, that seems to be that seems to be a development that we are either not aware of or don't have the intelligence to answer completely. You know, I'm not gonna be like a if if we test Putin and Putin turns out to be like a, a full blown raging sociopath <laughs> and he continues on and does disgusting uh, things at a, at a grotesque level. Then I, you know, of course, I'm not gonna defend him or anything like that. But what we have to understand is that. And I thought this he's bombing civilians like dwellings and he was just shelling a nuclear power plant. This is where the question was going um, right now. The it's not just about the Netsk and Luhansk. Uh, Putin is asking for he's not even asking for Zelensky to step down or his you know government to step down. He's just uh, Putin is just asking for demilitarization of Ukraine, which means removal of foreign weaponry. He's asking for no NATO membership ever, a guarantee of that. And he's also asking for, yes, the ending of the slaughtering of civilians in Donetsk and Luhansk. So those are what they're fighting. That's not over only right now. And it's a very restrained. What else proposal. is he asking for? 
He also made requests to the United States and the European Union during the negotiations before the invasion that they uh, end nuclear guarantees for Eastern Europe and also pull troops out of Eastern Europe as well. That has is, nothing is, to do with the terms of a ceasefire and yes, peace uh, during, and withdrawing troops. Okay, that, that, that was prior was, to whatever happened. Yeah, that was that's prior, but it was that during. Nego- it was still conditions. Okay, but it was still part Zelensky of the negotiation. But I want to. But no, wait, he's not I, going to the negotiating table okay. asking well, for that right I, now. I'm going to stop trying, James. That's for the Americans and Europeans. That's not for Zelensky. Jackson saying he's not going to the negotiating table. Go ahead, Dylan. Okay, so the the first thing I want to say is they are actually Zelensky and the Russian government are actually negotiating right now. I think they just actually negotiated. Thank goodness, like a humanitarian corridor. Hopefully, um, I don't know if that's going to be placed in places like Kyrgyzstan and Maripol. I hope it is soon. I don't know when that's going to be implemented. They are negotiating, but that that's ongoing negotiation process. I thought the question was broader about all the demands made of Putin's government up into this, but I did want to include that. I also do want to say that you said if he goes crazy, I would just say. Uh, the attack on the nuclear facility tonight, which caught it on fire, is something I would be extremely concerned about. Okay. You don't know considering I'll answer that. that. I'll answer that. So first of all, uh, I wasn't there... finished. Wait, okay, let's, okay, let's I... then, let's uh, cut both of you off. Lewis says, okay. "Question for Infrared and Hinkle: How exactly is the RT network not misinformation and propaganda if it is literally Russia today?" Quote. Sure. Today because they said it confirmed. Because Russia when we, whenever we ask the, uh, people for concrete instances. Government. Yeah, whenever we ask for concrete instances of misinformation of our, what we report from RT uh, and, and uh, in our recent reports, we have get nothing. Nobody's ever able to come up with any actual instance in which they're lying. Destiny fucking soyed out. and. Re- so we, we think it's fair to just parrot state propaganda from Russia then. That's just, yeah. Raged when he saw me fucking cover RT because they were covering the humanitarian situation where 50,000 had to be evacuated <clears throat> from the Donbass. And he literally lost his shit and fucking, uh, he started sewing out and started crying a little bitch uh, because this was misinformation. He wasn't yeah, actually able to point out why it was misinformation or what lies so RT was telling. One, keep these questions coming. Yeah. Wait, can I ask you a question about that? Did, um, did Russia ever pull troops from Eastern Ukraine in accordance with the first Minsk agreement that you guys said that they were a party to? What are you talking about? Why, why, Destiny, why should they adhere to any of the about. Minsk agreement if Ukraine is already coming out gotcha. and saying so nobody, never, so, no. Sorry, Sophie, you said something? Sophie? Russia was supposed to pull out of it all out all of its troops according to the Minsk agreements and refused to do so. Just a heads up, you're very quiet there. You might want to boost your uh, gain a little bit if you can. What? <laughs> is this better? That's better. Maybe just keep uh, closer dude, to your mic. Sophie is. Sophia is super loud for me. Just really? You know. Oh, maybe it's my end. Yeah, Sophia. Maybe. Sophia's and look, James, you got to get your levels right because infrared and everyone else are a little loud. So just get your shit together, James. I think it's too late. Exactly. Is, this, is this? Look, yeah, this is over now. We're uh, we're behind. We've got about oh, not too much longer. Thank God. About 15, 18 minutes, then we're free. So Ukraine nobody, never, so just to be clear, never nobody ever adhered to the Minsk agreement. Them. Nobody this ever. Okay, unironically, um, I will, I will mod these, James. Just give me a, give me a call. I, I will, I will mod this. I can keep infrared under control. I know how the buttons work. Things, two things, two things. Nobody ever adhered to it. No, no, two this things, is why two they things. were a monument. These signatory. Well, you're, 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 you're too busy modding me, so you, you can't, you can't do that. No, 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 no. I'll moderate. And basically how it works is I'll just mute everybody and it'll be my show and I'll just debate myself continuously, uh, you know, on the topic and ask myself all the pretty little questions that the chat gives me. And you'll just, and, and all the, you know, the destinies and the Dylan Burns and the Dean Mamas will just sit there looking pretty. Thank you, Bunny Tooth. Please to the re- most recent Minsk James, what's the next question? The did, signatories hey, of the hey, most hey, recent were between the Donetsk and Lugansk republics in Ukraine. Russia zone? wasn't even part of them. Like Second three, of all, okay, as far on. as the Minsk agreements, the Ukrainian government has never displayed a willingness to implement them. Okay, turn that down. Okay, There's video evidence of you being shorter than me. Do you know that? No, there isn't, actually. There literally isn't. Do you want to bet money on it? Oh my goodness! I, I wasn't paying attention. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. To the it's, 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 it, I think Destiny's gonna make Haas break. I think that's actually what it is doing now. I, I, I need to. Him. 
I'm so sorry. I, I zoned out for a second. I need to, it's all white noise at this point. I it, to... it, this is worth re-listening to. It's one of the only good moments in this debate. Okay. It's up there with your mom. You take that back. Okay. The Ukrainian government the has never displayed a willingness to implement them. Okay, turn that down. Okay. There's video evidence from... of you Racky... being shorter than me. Do you know that? <laughs> no, there isn't. Actually, Morager says... There literally isn't. Question for... Jackson Do you want to bet money on it? Okay, they said if the annexation of Crimea he was justified, <laughs> would the annexation of Texas and other territories you justified bet money on it? during... I thought it was about something to do with Ukraine. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Jay, did you see even, ja even Jackson cracked up? I mean, you can you can tell that James the tallest one here. He just has that build. He's going to be like eight feet tall easily. The Mexican-American War. <laughs> The difference here is No, no, that this is in our favor. The U.S. annexed Texas in an even worse... They annexed uh, the Mexican territories in an even worse way. Texas first declared its independence and then joined uh, the U.S. in a similar way that Crimea declared independence and then joined Russia. Wait, were there international bodies claiming what you could or could not annex at the point when the United States was annexing territory in the Western U.S.? What do you mean international bodies claiming what you can When we say something annex. is allowed or not allowed, usually oh, it's Oh, because the West to... says it's not okay? Is that what you're saying? Because the West says you can't do it? When you're looking at things it. like the U.N., you, like the Soviet, or I'm sorry, Russia's party to, to these organizations as well. Like, what do you mean? You, okay. it's, it, you can't you can't say like did the United States do something like illegal? In, the UN you know, the is not the 1700s or the 1800s. The, the UN when, when, is these, not when the these international guys. bodies don't the even UN exist. Is, it doesn't make the any UN sense. The UN is not the be all end all to the recognition Destiny, of sovereignty. Destiny, did it adhere to uh, international law when there was a coup against the democratically elected government before the Crimea referendum? Uh, I, I don't know what international law would have justified a Russian invasion. Can you fill me in on that? You know, I actually, I actually. You don't uh, have an answer for that. That's no, no, no. Right. Destiny, okay. Destiny. Destiny. Hey, 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 hey. Shut, let, me, let me finish here. <laughs> Destiny, actually, do you need pills for gynecology? Because I think you're right. Destiny. <laughs> 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 Destiny, do you need pills for gynecology? Because I think you're right. I'm actually, he has I'm actually not surprised. I'm actually not surprised that Destiny didn't know the answer to that question because, again, his debate partner earlier on claimed that there was a legal impeachment, even though it didn't even meet the legal qualifications of the Ukrainian mm -hmm. Constitution. So I'm not very surprised. Destiny, would you would no, you say no, that you're skinny fat? Would you say wait, that you're a fat wait, guy who's wait, a really skinny? Wait, so many I just, questions. I got called a liar though. If you call somebody, do I just I just want to say that. Okay, Did they get say, three quarters of the votes? Let me let me respond here. I wanted to say something because listen, this, this is, video uh, evidence well, of you having to very wide hips. Respond, respond if he was called a liar. I do want to give him a chance to respond. What the he's going fuck to the bathroom. was that? Dylan? It, wouldn't it very really wide hips just mean it, very wide hips just? It means got like under his skin. Belt. That got so deep under his skin he can't even respond. Like that's <laughs> that makes sense honestly because I don't know if you've ever seen. Uh, Haas's first ever uh, argument with um, with Destiny, but he was basically simping for him the entire time because Destiny like actually kind of wanted to give an ear to what you know the way he was saying, and he was just like, "Really, Destiny? You would want to listen to me? You want to listen to me about Lysenkoism and all this dumb shit? Really, Destiny? Thank you, Destiny. It's so funny." Like he gives destiny his heart. Oh, yeah. That, it's a very that makes horrible. this kind of sad. Yeah, it does. It does. How did it come to this? Um, the internet and a belief in individual reality and content creation that slowly morphed into basically the worst of the worst, constantly gaining more attention until we end up with Destinies and Vosh somehow being seen as the intellectuals on YouTube, which is funny shit. And I say that as someone who kind of likes Vosh. So. It'd, be, it'd be funnier if it wasn't true. Like, this is kind of horrific. Where's Dylan? Did Dylan just go? I kind of like Dylan. He's gone! I think Dylan him. just wants to get, like, yeah, water or something. I don't know. Oh, okay. Dylan's in... Wait, is that a Maryland flag? I think it's a Maryland flag in the background. I'm pretty sure it's Ew, a pride flag. flag. No, the no, not the pride flag. The one like straight ahead from the. You camera. can actually make stuff out in that. That's like, 
it's like a piece of abstract art that back wall. I can't decipher anything. It's the, they're called eyes. Sunday. You should try to use them sometime. I left my glasses inside my cardigan and I sat on them the other day. I don't have glasses anymore. Well, I forgot that you wear glasses. Sorry, I, I have, you know, these... I can't see Jack. I'm just seeing, like... like muscles. I'm just seeing, like, a line of Q-tips and, and one of them's really angry. Dylan? Alright, well, this one coming in from Chris Morlock says, Dylan and Destiny, oh, do you deny Chris that 4,000 ethnic Russian civilians... 80% of civilian deaths have been killed in the Donbass. I mean, I don't know if I'm saying this wrong. Why do we keep using this, Jackson? This is like the RT propaganda. Door. Like, did you know that like 83% of civilian deaths have come from Eastern Ukraine? Yeah, the civil war is in Eastern Ukraine. It's not like there are going to be Western Ukrainians killed in Eastern Ukraine. No, I don't understand. I don't understand what the point. Yeah, but the, because the majority of the, because Russians. the majority of some of these places are ethnically Russian. That, that, those so are the why civilian is Ukraine deaths attacking that are a place where the majority no, are resisting no, no, them? Because no, right no, now no. there is a. Why? Why is Ukrainian attacking? The place where the majority of, are resisting them when they are apparently like 80 percent of the way through on developing their anti-russian uh uh bioweapon it doesn't make any sense does it just the logistics they don't yeah, plan so, out so so where are the ukrainian like mechs like the the ukrainian mech warriors or i'm really wondering they're they're not in from turkey yet they've only got the drones oh shit oh shit well, exactly we're there, the where, the that is being funded and supported by Russia. They're trying to establish sovereignty in their own borders. Okay, Jackson, go ahead. So Ukraine can commit genocide no, no, then, right, Destiny? Jackson. That's a genocide? They're they're targeting and trying can to I... erase the ethnicity of a certain group no, of people? No, on the... Hold on, all right. More or less, yes, they're trying to eliminate I, the Russians. I, I have a response listen, to this. Listen. With science. Destiny, to... Destiny. Hold on, Jackson, I promise I'll come right back to you. I know that... Hold on, just bear with me, Jackson. I understand. It's, I just, He's barely gotten to talk, Dylan, James. This is ridiculous. All right, hold on. I promise Jackson will come back to you, but Dylan, I know that you said you wanted to address I want to. I want to. Oh, I want to. This is more important to me, actually. I would say I'd rather. I'm, I'm a. <sighs> I, I was completely wrong on every, on every count with how this is going to go. Yeah, on same here, honestly. Every I'm kind count. Of disappointed. In Hazab, I mean, he made me laugh, but I for the wrong like reasons, he, I, though. He just didn't. No, it was for the right reasons. The fuck. Okay. Um, no, it's more that he just lacks like precision and sauce. He's just angry, but he can't be this angry. This is not. He's not on. What is it? He always says like, "It's not. This is not his cage. This is not his lair. This is not his jungle." Right? Like this is. This is James Kunz, is that how you pronounce it? That's that's his jungle. And he can't he can't you know he can't, you know, do what he wants to do. I'm a dirty liar. But uh, Secretary General, I want to specifically the Secretary General of the United Nations actually commented on the accusations of genocide by uh, the, the republics of Donetsk and Luhansk, and they said that there's no grounding to them. Listen, Sorry, can you repeat Jackson. that? And the UN is the be all end all for I'm not saying it's the be all end all. No, Russia wait, wait, should be wait, wait, Russia should be the be all end all. Can you repeat that? Dylan, the Secretary General of the United Nations made the said that there is not a genocide in the Donbass. Okay, well, first of all, former I Prime Minister of Portugal. You're not first, hey, hey, let, let me finish. First well, of all, I never made the claim. Second of all, uh, okay, that I was there was just, a genocide. Well, I was talking about all, that earlier. Second no, wait, somebody did. Was on, it you or Hans? Exactly. I didn't say that. that. Second of okay, all, hey, let me finish because Destiny made Destiny made an accusation Ooh. earlier. He said, "Why do we keep uh, touting these RT propaganda lines that 81 percent of the people, uh, civilians rather, who are dying in the Eastern Ukraine conflict um, are Russians?" That or ethnic Russians, whatever you said. That's not what I said. I said that 81% of the civilians are dying in rebel-held territory, and that's not from RT. That's what the United Nations said. So apparently you now are confused between RT and the United Nations official sources. I, I'm confused as to uh, just how serious you are about this debate. Oh, good God. Brooks, you are tall. Wait, so Destiny do you only has narratives. He doesn't have no, any mean potatoes. Steven. Go ahead, Steven. Wait, was that, I'm sorry. The Leningrad leprechaun just threw me off. Can, can you repeat your question to me? Destiny, you want to start yeah. talking about the body Leningrad types? You have the most grotesque. Oh, okay. <laughs> the, le <laughs> the fuck, bro? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Dude, please, one more time. Like, it, it's the only, it's, it's the only thing that makes this worth my life. Like, otherwise, this is just depressing. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. 
said that 81% of the civilians are dying in rebel-held territory, and that's not from RT. That's what the United Nations said. So apparently you now are confused between RT and the United Nations official sources. I, I'm confused as to uh, just how serious you are about this debate. Wait, so he only has narratives. He doesn't have no, any meat and potatoes. Steven. Go ahead, Steven. Wait, was that, I'm sorry. The Leningrad leprechaun just threw me off. Can, can you repeat your question to me? Destiny, you want to start yeah. talking about <laughs> body types? You have the most grotesque. <laughs> uh, he's, he's under his skin. He is under. It's unbelievable. He's under his skin. Jesus. The meat's on the table. Like, what the fuck? This is so good. It's actually incredible how much he's under his skin, which is which is kind of uh, telling, to be frank. <laughs> okay, it's my question to you: disgusting, skinny. That's <laughs> Sid from Ice Age. <laughs> Destiny, my question to you: like Sid from was A. What, what did he just call him? <laughs> what, what was that he said? And it's like <laughs> Gustin Skinnyton. What? What did he say? <laughs> <laughs> He's, I think he said he ugly, disgusting, like skinny something. I oh, age. I thought I thought he had like a weird, like posh name well, that, involving the word he... skinny as a pun or something. I don't, I don't know. No, that would have been that would have been funnier. That's, that's skinny unfortunate. destiny. I guess it does rhyme. I thought I thought he was saying like Gustav Skinny Tin or something. I wasn't. I, was, uh... I just want this to end. This is too long. Um, that's me because. <laughs> Consider <laughs> just fucking mute him for a second. Why did, did you call it? Himself? Why did you call it RT propaganda when these are United Nations figures? A and B. Why did you say that uh, everyone here is ethnically Russian when they're, you're in the Donbass? When I said that these are people who are dying in rebel-held territories, <laughs> which is distinct from the opposite side of the gray zone. What, wait, what was the first thing said by you? Beta male Bono that looks like Sid from Ice Age. That's, you know, he, he has fuck. Stop it. He's got gyno. God damn. God damn. <laughs> he can't help himself. <laughs> Sid from Ice Age. <laughs> he that's can't all he can say though. is Sid from Ice Age. Bro, that's. He's even losing the roasting. This has officially turned into like a cringe stream. stream you know this that. Is, this is the massacre. This, this is, is a massacre. This, this, this is, is the real and this is the real invasion. But this is successful from the get go. He literally, literally has gone no. Like destinies weren't even that like they were funny, but they weren't like novel or interesting. Like it's just goddamn they're, what thin skin. They're on, they're only funny. But compared to Haas and like Haas's reactions make them good, right? Well, it's not, it's, oh yeah, no, no, I no, no. I'm I'm saying they're great, but I'm saying like they're not like really great personal insults or some like weird thing that came no, out of nowhere. Haas, oh my God. Haas makes them great. This is, yes. He amplifies other people's bullshit very well. Yeah. He just basically shot himself in the foot. Fuck. Well, all right. Jackson said something. Uh, go ahead, Jackson. I, the Soviet shorty over here is just destroying my ability to hear anything. Be you? Beta Bell Bono, who is literally fucking built like fucking Sid from Ice Age, just a little long torso, who isn't... Okay, good. Let's go to Jackson. He's talking about other... No. He's, he's talking about other people's... Opinion. The next question. Beta Mel Bono looked like an overgrown... Chris with Warlock a beard. says... Dylan and Destiny. We got that. I one. couldn't even hear it. The Russian runt was screaming so much I couldn't even fucking respond to his question. Was there a claim oh, that sorry. the UN has said that there is an ongoing genocide in Donbass? Is that no? You fucking no, they said the bitch opposite. It. You said it was RT propaganda that eighty-one percent of the people died on rebel. Uh, no, I didn't say land. that the claim itself is propaganda. I'm just saying that repeating you that, did. like you I said, said, it was RT propaganda let me, talking. Let me. Points. I can that's tell you. I, yes. Talking points. Data. Talking points. What I'm no, saying that's is what that you said. What, yeah. Do you, well, do you want me to tell you what I said, or you're just gonna keep screaming? I can't like you're like your friend over here. Right? Right? Fun the, 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 the question is why say. we shouldn't be surprised to see the majority of people dying in, an, in a Russian ethnic majority area are going to be ethnically Russian. That's not surprising. No, Listen, that's people, not people what fight I said. for. That's not. Haas, Haas, Haas. That's not what I said. I said they're dying in rebel held territory, the 81% are. Not that they're all, all ethnically, ethnically Russian. Russian. What, what, what is the percentage of ethnically Russian? Double D Destiny. Double D Destiny. All 
Hey, Moscow Destiny, Munchen, quiet. Destiny. Can you answer hey, that double, question? Double, Destiny. Destiny. Can you double, can you, can you, can that there are two warring factions? There's a rebel held territory. Can somebody clarify what that means? Is he saying that Destiny has large breasts or what? What is the point here? Double D Destiny? What does that mean? I, I, so yeah, he's implying at some point he made a joke about Destiny being a what he called a skinny fat, uh, which is a term used in the uh, bodybuilding or fit communities to mock people who are not fit, but also not fat. They're skinny fat. And so he is implying that same sort of line of insult. Oh, okay. That's all I got. That's what does my that interpret. do with double Ds? Yeah, Boobs. I don't get that. Oh. Boobs. Oh, it's boobs. That's what I'm saying. He's, he's oh, so I was right? Oh, that's, yeah. yeah, it's like your stomach, right? It's not your breasts. Well, I mean, like, Infrared is not exactly renowned for his anatomical wisdom, so. Oh, shit, you're right. <laughs> and then yeah, there so. are the Ukrainian military and volunteer militaries warring on the other side. What I'm saying and what the United Nations is saying is that 81.4% <clears throat> of the civilians killed over the last three years, we don't have all the numbers, but over the last three years, died in rebel-held territory. Go ahead, Destiny. And, and what bitch tits Bono doesn't understand oh, is that people are defending their sovereignty. I want to hear his answer. I want to hear his answer. Just like a man. Sound like the beginning of a rap. His wife and big sister. Pause. I want to hear his wife. I, I can't. The men, tiny tanky you know? is too much for me. I just can't hear anything. Yeah, I yeah. Hear bitch tits Bono doesn't understand right, that let's people want to defend their life. He sounds like he's beatboxing. I can't get over it. Coming in from just like a man Dave wants Kroll. to defend we his wife to to from not. One. Let's talk about Steven's body later. Please. Dave Kroll, does this <laughs> think we don't realize that whenever he is getting owned. Okay, that was good. James won me back a little bit there. Okay, you're a beta male, and you think getting owned is from a fucking 32 year old StarCraft player There's who literally that. has nothing going All fucking right, going go for him in life. He's a millionaire. What the fuck are you talking about? He's got nothing going for him in life. Elon yeah, yeah. Says, a fucking 32-year-old grown man StarCraft player with fucking gynaco mastia. Okay, this one from Rihan says, does yelling at Max... Literally Max built like an 11-year-old child. Hold on, Haas, come on. <laughs> Hold on to that comment. This one coming in from Urban says... Yeah, that's right. Urban Lockman says, Russia has the worst human trafficking problem of any country on Earth. Are Haas and Jackson pro-child sex trafficking? Uh-oh. Are Destiny and uh, Dylan Burns pro lowering the age of consent to 16? Because as Destiny's <laughs> friend, Mr. Girl, Destiny has a pedophile community. All right, let's go to the next one. Louis Romero. He defends the pedophile. This one, the girl yeah, with Louis Art Romero King. Says, uh, Jackson, do he wants to deep in chemical weapons design. He wants to wants the plat target pedophiles with quote Russian genes. Pedo really? DGG. No. Go ahead. Jackson, Literal pedo. Fuck. Heard that. Nobody heard it. I didn't hear that. Nobody heard it. They it's said, impossible. Jackson, do you <laughs> Jackson, do you believe <clears throat> in chemical weapons designed to only target people with quote unquote Russian genes? Really? <laughs> yes. That's what they say. Yes. When did it's I say that? It's completely irrelevant and immaterial to A tier because okay, even if so Jackson I don't think they even that. said you said Jackson never <laughs> Just asking, Jackson just never asking made, them the question. If he I, I think I think even uh, Destiny and Dylan would uh, would admit that I never said that in the debate. And though they don't probably watch my streams, I no because Haas did. Haas said that explicitly, and he tried to defend it afterwards. Brooks, you weren't here for that. You missed you missed gold. Oh my god. Is anybody still here? I am. I am hearing. I am here. Oh God, your 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 filters are so good. I can't hear a single thing. So if you don't respond, I think I'm disconnected. I was struck with terror. I can tell you, you I've never us. said that in my life. No, I, I Do you disavow when Haas said it. Then well, you disavow well, we'll the Kremlin gremlin. He doesn't okay. have to disavow it. <laughs> he just isn't disavow. making the affirmative claim. <laughs> you you fucking disavow. bitch, Bono, you little fucking no, bitch. No. You fucking bitch. Well, can I can I ask him then? Do you find the claim believable? You fucking. <laughs> okay. It's his wife. I think. I other men. I think. I I can't hear you. I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here's what I, I want to know if you support the How can I statement. You, you broke the stream. You broke it. <laughs> Hang on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna change the title of this to the Kremlin Gremlin because I like that one. The Kremlin Gremlin's a solid one. That's that's. that's oh, I, I don't want to do that though because I've I've I, I remember this. Um, Modern Day Debate lost their stream once because they tried to change the title midway through. It screwed things over. Uh, I don't know if that's because they were using Zoom.
but I'm not going to risk it. I'll do it afterwards. Then nobody will know what the stream's about. Nah, I'm not going to do it. But that's that's a good one. That's for the list. What happened here? Exhausting. I think. How, how can I insult no. a old this child? I'm sorry you're so weighted down, Mr. Bichek. I don't know. I don't know. It's a really epic pose from Jackson there. I tell he spent a lot of time on his hair before this. So I'm so sorry. I think that there are uh, <laughs> China and Russia at uh, mm. the United Nations have bro both expressed their c concerns over uh, chemical chemical labs um, in Ukraine that get U.S. funding. Um, there's several of them, but we don't really know what's going on there. And I think it would be, uh, I, I don't think we can jump to conclusions as to what's happening there, except for what Russia and China have both said when they've expressed their concerns. Which kids bond a dead be bad destiny? It's not relevant at all. Dead be dead dead. Do you appreciate your question? <laughs> it's like a rap. Like, I, I just want to cut all of those sequences and just put them together and it'll be like Eminem. I can't even barely handle this. He is so... It's unbelievable, actually. Like, I thought he was a shithead, but this is wild. You know what it is? Um, he he realized that this is what people watch him for. And so now this is all he does. He doesn't have to try oh, anymore. See, now you made me sad. Now I can't enjoy it. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. God damn it. I, I mean, like, to, to be fair, I don't think... I don't think any of this is planned out. Like, he is floundering as hard as it looks. I think that that's an explanation for why he doesn't try anymore. Because, like, for example, his perspective philosophy debate, he had a weird command of Hegel. I don't know if it was right, but it was, like, weirdly specific. Like, he had, like, quotes from the philosophy of nature. Like, two hands. Yeah, he had quotes that he had looked up online. Again, you made well, this Well, hang on, hang on. Not not just looked up online, though. He knew them in context. He was, he was, like, drawing on them in a part of the debate that nobody anticipated would happen. Like, he had knowledge yeah, of that. Yeah, it wasn't just quote sniping. No, it was weird. Like, I was, I was blindsided by that. Um, mm. I don't think, I don't think he'll, mm. I, I think prior to like doing like YouTube and whatnot, I think he was actually a little bit serious briefly. Um, he was basically doing the Vosh thing where it's like, you'll, like, you see like, uh, Sargon doing like the tough guy routine, not like the tough guy routine, but you know, like hitting hard back against, you know, like the, the feminists and whatnot. We're going to do the same thing, but against people like Sargon. And this is what, this is what infrared was. Um, but up until that point, like he actually tried a little bit he was in law school he he was a person who was accustomed to like reading and sort of like uh like hustling on, on the the academic end a little bit and then he got into this and he real he realized that uh you need to stream every day you don't have time to read you don't have time to do research you're just doing this all the time and you're selling your character so as a result of that it's not because he thinks to himself oh i'm going to be cynical and just sell my character it's that he was so insecure he just gravitated towards only doing that because that's what was rewarded and so this is what you get as a result. Like I don't, I don't think this Damn. is a, I don't think this is a display. I think this is a symptom. I agree what? with that. Thirty-two. Hold so oh, on. Oh, like, just let's... so the audience knows what's happening, James is right-click muting him, and Haas is spam right-click unmuting so that he can keep screaming into the microphone. <laughs> this is what goes. Listen, no. can't hide. This is what coming in from what? You can't hide no, of stop. knowing. And okay. You it is like pain of knowing no, and uh, <laughs> with, no, you can't stop pain with your stop it. We all in because in red red we need you to shut the fuck up so you can look look james james is james is pounding the button so much he's accidentally hitting the wrong button and messing up the screen that's what's going on yep oh my god it's the q a dude no you're in pain that's where coming in from okay this is a thank you. So it's been so Bro, you long. called me the StarCraft trooper here, but you got like 400 ATM smashing the fucking unbeam on your this fucking mouth. You can't oh, hide the pain. Stop. This is what we know. Oh my god. I, I love how like he's he's barely peering above the line here in this shot. And this Take a fucking RSI, dude. One. You gotta slow down. This one coming in from <laughs> Cedar says, why are, what are the... How old is Haas? I think Haas is in his mid-twenties. Panelist thoughts on, quote, third... Is this a... I hope this isn't a troll. 
on third hole theory. No, that's okay. Never mind. Hey, Destiny, Chris laugh Warlock through the pain. So laugh through the pain of knowing. This would go over Chris Warlock. Wait, was that three hole <laughs> theory? Wait, what did Des that have to do with? Laugh through the pain, Destiny. Go ahead. Laugh. No, no, the three holes. It refers to the tri tripolar vacuum yeah, yeah, uh, left yeah. behind by Destiny, the three nuclear Destiny, powers. Destiny. The United Kingdom, the United Destiny, States. You have fucking, I, nothing yeah. but a fucking <laughs> bluff, no Destiny. You have no it's fucking true. substance. No meat and potatoes. You hide behind your left. I can see the hey, pain wait, in your wait, eyes, Bono. I can see the pain in your eyes. Just like. Can I just say, you know who else doesn't have meat and potatoes? Your child. Your child. You know who else? You know who? Oh, but he's not like, like you. Doing? You know who else doesn't have meat and potatoes? The Russian soldiers in Ukraine right now. Man, that's a lot of food shortage. Yeah, huh? that's fake. Fake news, dude. Okay. Prove then. it. <sighs> okay. Like just. A Dingo, so I can hear anything. Pauses in his thirties, James, or Jay Grimes? Not James. I'm, I'm thinking of James on here. Grimes says Haas is in his 30s. I heard he was in his early Oh, Haas is not, no. Haas, no, no, no. Is, Haas is like 26, I'm pretty sure. I could see Hinkle. I, 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 I could see Hinkle being Haas. in his 30s. No, Hinkle is way younger. Hinkle's like 22, 23. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Wasn't he just running for office like four <laughs> or five years ago? That puts him in high school? Yeah, no. Um, because I remember uh, Haas talking to Hinkle. This is like the first time they ever talked. And... Um, Haas literally said, like, oh, I'm 20, I think 25, and I would imagine that was, like, about a year ago, so I would imagine he's 26 now. Yeah, my understanding um, was he was, like, a year younger than and he said, And he said, oh, are you... He, he said, like, oh, I thought you were way older or whatever. He said, no, I'm 22 or 23. And I remember thinking, because I was like, oh, shit, he's my age, because I'm, like, 20. Yeah, what have we done with your 20. life? Think of where you could be right now. Did yeah, you I know, right? Talk like, your destiny on a stream, dude. Come on. Yeah, I, I, I've thought about that. Well, Grimes, like, Grimes you know, is saying that he said so himself. He's in his thirties. Oz is in his thirties. This is what Grimes says. I, I don't, I can't verify this. Grimes, Grimes, like the singer. Grimes in our chat. If you can hey, substantiate Grimes, that in a way that's not, in a way that's not unethical, but that's and you're weird. You're lying about Haas's age, but uh. I was gonna say I like like your music, but I don't, I don't. I've never listened to any of your music, to be honest with you. So, so therefore, I don't like your music. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I don't know. Look, Let's keep going. I'm pretty sure that Haas is in his mid twenties. I I thought he was. I was. I was certain he was twenty six. I'll put a few loonies and toonies onto that one. A yeah. So would I. I'm just. I'm. I'm. I'm curious if that's actually true, and we've been lied to, because that would be funny. But he also wouldn't make that that remark otherwise. Anyway, so we'll, we'll keep going. But this one coming in from Show Any Proof. Oh, come on, Oz, how do you have so much energy? I can... I'd like stand. Show any does... proof. Dad. Show the proof. Says uh, Stan says, does Haz still think the Donbass region is in the north of Ukraine? I never fucking said that in the first place. Shut the fuck up. Fucking DGG DG Okay, this one coming in from Constantine. Why does the East European countries why do the East European countries beg to be a part of NATO every time the Russians start shelling a foreign city? It's almost as if Russian aggression is driving countries to join NATO. It's almost, it's almost as, as if those countries are called by far right like, nationalists. Go ahead. It's almost as if every single time the West leads a coup or regime change operations in a central or eastern European country. Uh, they make great strides either in, you know, one of the four, uh, you know, main steps in joining NATO uh, when they have this coup government in place. Have you ever noticed that? I just want to say we didn't establish that it was a U.S. led coup. We certainly didn't establish that. And we more than like we more than established so that with for, five James, billion. Just for the James, record, Ukraine, five so billion just for the just for the record, Ukraine wasn't going to join NATO until the Crimean invasion happened. What? That That's not true. What? Oh, Absolutely. you want to debate about that? We have evidence. The Prime to the Minister, the Prime Minister, Bono, Minister literally Bitch said. Bono, we have evidence to the contrary. Literally, we have said evidence to the contrary. Wait, 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 Destiny, Destiny. Do you know the four steps to join NATO for, for Be, uh, being Jesus, given please. the green light by Blessed NATO me. to Blessed join? Me. Is Blessed that the same as them having an intention Blessed. of joining? Blessed. Wait, I'm evidence. curious. Huz, 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 wait, I'm curious. I want to hear Destiny's thoughts on this. Got to pull uh, back. First of all, do you know the four steps in joining NATO and how many of those steps Ukraine has achieved? And also, do you know what uh, NATO, uh, what NATO said about uh, Ukraine membership? 
um, at the 2008 Bucharest before the Crimean referendum. I don't care if they were given the green light in 2008. Yatsenyuk <laughs> literally said, you just said he literally that said, I'm giving the green light, but him. they didn't have an intent. Let him finish. After the coup, the prime minister literally said that there were no plans on the table to join NATO. He literally said that. That was his stated position. He literally position. said that. He that literally was his stated said position. That changed, that changed once Russia invaded and annexed illegally the Crimean Peninsula. And that's why, and the other statements that countries have made about joining NATO have also changed as Russia has increased its aggression. That's why countries like Finland and Sweden are considering the, joining NATO, which, given what Russia is doing, seems to be pretty fair. Yeah, because Russia's going to. Wanna... All right, Dylan, Sweden. Wait, wait, wait. Shut no, the I'll fuck up. I'll respond to that. Right. I'll respond to that. All right. Well, I mean, only, only, only as a contingency plan. I'll respond to that. First of all, in 2008 at the Bucharest summit, oh NATO declared that oh Ukraine could become a uh, a member state of NATO <laughs> upon further deliberations and accession talks. Um, but what I do want to say is you said that after the 2014 coup, they had no intent to join NATO. In 2017, the Ukrainian parliament adopted legislation reinstating membership in NATO as a strategic foreign and security policy. What happened between 2014 and 2017? Why would they want to join NATO in 2017? In 2019, a course. Why would they want to join NATO in 2017? Why would they want to join NATO in 2019? You sound like a little bitch. Okay. You've always sounded. No, no, wait. What? Yeah, what? Why would they want to That's join NATO in 2017 question. and in 2019? What happened? And Jackson? what happened? What happened after 2014 in Eastern Ukraine? We could go there too. No, let's go, go ahead, exactly Dylan. to what yeah, I said. No, do you deny? How many do you deny that the do you deny that the prime minister Ukraine? literally said that they what were not at seeking the trade union hall massacre? They were not. Okay, yeah, pivot, pivot, pivot. Okay. Just you're the one pivoting. Ahead, Dylan, I'm not point. pivoting. I made it very Destiny, clear. what was Maidan about? Just what was the fucking Maidan about? They wanted to fucking join NATO, you dumb fuck. That was All before right, any fucking crime. Me. No, it shit. wasn't about no, joining no, NATO. It was about, it was about, about the EU and NATO <laughs> as a no, whole. They wanted no, to turn. It was an no, anti-Russian no, fucking movement. It wasn't. They no, it had wasn't. every intention no. to join NATO no, by then. It was not about joining NATO. It was about European Union trade deals. It was about joining the West in general. They're waiting super patiently, guys. Please. Can you mute the Holodomor <laughs> Hobbit again, please? It was about Dylan, 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 Dylan. It was about okay. that. There's two it's things. Uh, dead <laughs> beat, breast and eat. I'm trying to keep at the breast and eat. James, I'm trying so hard, man. Laugh, please. You know, Laugh through the pain. <laughs> <laughs> Destiny. Hey, hey James. Wait, it was Destiny. my turn. Wait, wait, no. Destiny or Dylan. No, Dylan. But I never Dylan. have to say. I've been Dylan. waiting. Wait, wait, wait. So... No, you don't need you me to insult me, but you don't need me. I've been honestly fucking telling you. You don't want me to. I can't, okay, so there's two you, you, things you I want to You don't mute him when he insults oh. me. I'm going to go for a fucking beat. I'm not, well, I'm not insulting you right now. I'm trying to behind laughter. I can I'm trying to, I just want to say something. I if we were wanna, insulting you, I okay, I Vladimir the, the Virgin, we'd be asking you about three hole theory. Go ahead, Dylan. Jesus. He's coming up with all these shits. I can. Okay. He's got, so he's got like someone messaging that. him. Like he's got he's got people messaging him names and he's just rattling them off one at a time. It's oh you know one one hundred percent, but he's he's picking them. It's he's pulling it off like it's Jesus Christ. So the Euro there's a musicality to it. Was was um uh, it started because Yanukovych pulled out of uh, negotiations to join the EU, and then once the protest movement started, then it expanded to like anti-corruption and a lot of other issues as well. And there were people on the ground, not all of them. It, the the Euromaidan protests were extremely diverse, but some of them did want to join NATO. But that doesn't mean it started because of that. It, it started once uh, Yanukovych pulled out of EU negotiations. And the second thing I wanted to bring up about NATO was that after the Russia, this is driving me crazy. I uh, isn't it Yanakovich? It's not Yanukovych. Mm. Am I right? Or is that... It's it's, Yana it's Yanakovich, right? That's how you pronounce it. It's not Yanukovych. It's Yanukovych, or... or... That's, that's how you... I don't know. You don't know? Probably both I, I don't know. work, depending on the country and the, and the language, I would assume. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not Japanese. Fair enough. ...invasion, the regime change war there, uh, they started in Ukraine. Uh, now... Uh, Finland, the first time in human history, the majority of Finnish people want to join NATO. Uh, Putin has gifted NATO something. He has gifted them uh, legitimacy in the modern age, where there was tons of people like the Finns. He's like, I don't know about joining this NATO. Why does it thing. even exist? Now, why does They're going to put nukes in Venezuela. Good luck with that. <laughs> Russia's going to put nukes in Venezuela. Good luck with it. What is that? Yeah. Even, you, you expand you NATO to Finland, then Russia's going to make military packs with Cuba and I Venezuela say, all over the fucking world. 
world against the I U.S. Empire. Say, Good luck with that. I Russia can't, can't even get wait, its four-wheel trucks into fucking Eastern Ukraine. I don't think we have Oh, really? Really? Where's Russia? the evidence for that? Do you have any evidence for that? There's no fucking proof of that there's a logistical disaster. It's all fucking made up on Twitter, AstroTurf, fake news. We've debunked it on my like stream several that. fucking times. Could, it's not fucking true. Hey, Destiny, I know you love having your mouth open because you like soaring out. Of tire, we I could send you photos of tire. Rock Keep opening your mouth. Me, so, so my. Can we so, mute this redditor's microphone? Keep Jesus, Haz, Let's... I'm gonna ask if you want. I can send you pictures. Of oh, that's actually that's that's the most cruel insult yet. I actually can't. <laughs> oh, look where it paused. <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that looks like him before eating the burger <laughs> on the fucking uh, perspective philosophy debate. <laughs> I'm gonna put this into the thumbnail. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. Give me a sec. I'm just saving this for later. Oh, I almost feel bad for him. Don't. Again, these are piles of human garbage. Oh, I would have been generous until they started holding water for a regime that's actively killing children. Yeah. I was, I was, I, 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 my, my days of being kind to Haas are long over. Oh, man. Just gonna pop this here for later. This is gonna be this is gonna be on uh, on on Haas thumbnails in future. It's a good one. It's that that is that is not just a good one. That is the best one. Uh, and and you've got to do the the meme of things just going into his mouth. Exactly. Subway sandwiches and subway trains and popsicles and I don't know. Use your imagination. I can't think of anything else that's phallic. So you I mean, just, I mean you hink, have like a huge, hink, uh, hinkle, like hinkle a little bit, hinkle a little bit. Oh, yeah, hink, hinkle going in and out, that'd be fair. I'll probably destiny after watching how Hans, Hans is reacting here. You can do like a little comic text thing. It could be like Ice Age, like sloths from Ice Age. Okay, guys. Or bioweapons. The mm, last, the last bio three minutes. It's the last three minutes, and then I can move and not die of blood clots. Let's do it. Actually, yeah, I know. Let's just let's just do it. Tire rot amongst keep, the keep waiting. Okay. Pictures are what? Tire rot. You know when rot when if you don't do proper maintenance on trucks, the tires will rot out, and that's yeah, go ahead. a huge Show issue. Show us the proof. Show us okay. the widespread can... logistical disaster. Well, I'm not saying logistics. I'm talking about tire <laughs> rot right now. Logistics is another issue. Show us the widespread tire rot. The widespread tire. I can give you yes. examples of tire rot. But until we find out and do a proper investigation, we're not gonna have. Oh, there's because you don't know shit. The because there's no, no fucking no, no. You're not listening. Forward. If any of these truck, if any of the vehicles invading Ukraine is experiencing tire rot, that means proper maintenance was not done on those vehicles. If Meaning any that, of them, if, yes, if any of them, because so you, it could be, when you talk about it could be, when it no, when you do, which to be fair would be a logistical issue, but it would be prior to the campaign. Burns has a point here. I mean, that's. No, no, he's right. I, I'm just, I'm just saying, like the the characterization of that is not a logistical issue. Doesn't I, maybe I'm I'm off base there. My, I don't know how the terminology typically goes in these circles. But. Uh, I think he's more trying to say he's not talking about the grand literal logistical issue. Like there is what is the meta story that's happening, but instead, look on the ground, this is happening. If it's happening in one instance, you don't. That doesn't happen. Like, oh, oh, this this one person died of Ebola in this orgy. Probably no one else has it. We're cool. Like it's it's uh, that's kind of how that works. Yeah. Do maintenance on do? these vehicles. You don't do it like one out of. You do maintenance like you like you circle maintenance. If so there's a mis okay, I'm, if I'm there's not, a mis gonna, I'm not, I'm one or two, not, I give up. So, James, up. why? Jackson, you, why are you muting me? Talking when you, I mean, sorry, not Jackson. Because you never give me a chance to say anything. Well, you let Dylan and Destiny is, talk was... this whole fucking time, and I didn't get to say shit. <laughs> He's the, he's, the he's, he's the Moscow mule. He's the Moscow mule. That doesn't Moscow fucking mean anything. <laughs> well, okay. 
want to say thanks, folks, so much you're for tuning in. You're a fucking biased you? moderator, James. You're a biased fucking moderator. You have been He keeps fucking uh, insulting me, talking over me. You didn't mute him once. You didn't you, mute this little you, fucking Gnome once. This little he did Gnome Destiny. Yeah. You didn't mute the Gnome, Gnome Destiny before. once. He muted me multiple times. <laughs> yeah, I was muted. No, Wait, you can we can words? we actually prove, James? Not, not once. Uh, James, James, real talk. Can you prove right now that you haven't received any of that $5 billion that was marked to Ukraine? Are you part of the end? Passive aggressive jokes only bitch ass fucking pedo nerds find funny. Shut the fuck up, little bitch. Nobody fucking has your sense of humor except pedos like Mr. Girl. Nobody shares your fucking passive aggressive, fast talking, mumbling, stumbling sense of fucking Starcraft to me, little bitch. Okay. Accidental space. He's just like, the fuck am I doing? He deserves it. Okay, I, is Destiny going to say Rap God before the end of this? It's got a few seconds. Like, you fucking laughing, Destiny, you passive aggressive little okay, bitch. Destiny, let me air your dirty laundry, Destiny, because I found out a lot of things about you, Destiny. Let me air your dirty laundry, my Please do it, please. Yeah, yeah let me air go. your we dirty laundry, go. Destiny, Let's you motherfucker. Oh, want to say, folks, thanks so much for tuning in. Our guests are linked in the description, and want to say... Thank you so much for all of your super chats. We've raised hundreds of dollars tonight for World Worldwide Orphans, which is the charity watchdog evaluation. Is bitch tits well. Bono. Bitch tits Bono. Bono. No, not, okay. Dead be dead breasted. Dead be dead breasted. Are you going to let Ivan the end sell over here make fun of me like this, James? We Destiny. Say, <laughs> oh, oh, Destiny. You literally. God damn. Let your wife get no, sleep with other men. You, you're fucking living insults. You're a 32 year old cuck, and you're talking about incels. You're talking about incels when you're a literal cuck. I think Destiny's 33. Destiny, you failed. Okay, want to say thanks, everybody. We Destiny, like the girls you failed to get with, talk to me, little bitch. Please give me some names, dude. Keep something all the reasonable from the. The list is too long. Like, thanks, everybody, and we'll see you in the next debate. Take care, everybody. And thanks so much for your donation. There's no bonus round. We're we'll put the receipt on the social tab in the YouTube social community tab. Want to say thanks so much. And that's something that no matter where we stand on the war, that's something we all agree on is it's a good cause helping out orphans around the world. And so, again, we'll share that donation receipt. Um, oh, don't be a coward. Just say you're against it. Like, he's, what, what are you scared of? Offending the, the Hinkle fans? Like, come on on the YouTube social page. Thanks everybody, and we'll see you next time. I, I hate that. I, ha I hate the weird assumption that you need to like abet a side of a debate in order to be a neutral moderator. That's ridiculous. Evidence for God. I wanna, this is why I think just, this type check of, that. This is why I think these types of things are completely and totally meaningless. Well, they aren't though, because here, here's the thing, like, let, let's say for whatever reason, Destiny and Dylan just didn't we're, we're feeling off today or something like that. Like, maybe they, weren't, maybe they weren't on their game. Like, this is actually, there, there are stakes involved let in me, this one. Let me rephrase. This is why I think these things are counterproductive, because it creates this attitude that you have to platform two, uh, two different uh, positions, one which is actually grounded in some version of reality, and the other which is completely and totally out there in... Um, with no with, that's completely and totally uh baseless just no no foundation at all i mean go ahead i was just gonna say to continue on with what sunday's saying actually adding it perhaps going against it so yeah what if um destiny and dylan burns were on their off game like what would happen exactly are, are you saying like we're gonna have like 100 people or whatever go on to like the haas Hinkle side. That's possible. Yeah, I mean, if, even if, even if that was the case, I'm I'm very like questioning of those people in the first but, place. If, like, well, but but again, so let's let's take a step because you're thinking people as in adults. This is YouTube, children. We're talking well, about exactly. children like, and yeah, children. Exactly. Absolutely, thirteen year olds, ten year olds, absolutely have no, what being questionable about someone. Oh, this guy's he's making a good point. Oh, he seems confident. I should look more into what he says is kind of all it takes. Like it's is, is, it, is it is it going to make a decisive 
It would more go against the point of even having debates in the first place. No, 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 no. You, you can have debates in the first place. The problem is actually on modern day debates that they're incredibly irresponsible and greedy with how they go about this. They'll take anyone they think anyone. will collect views. And James has no has no spine or character in the actual conviction, so he will actually say amidst children being bombed in their homes, uh, we don't we're we're a neutral like thing like fuck you. I'm I'm sorry. I, I have no yeah, respect I, I for that. I think it would be more. I think more the point would be against having debates then, because you wouldn't even want to have that risk. No, you can. If we're well, saying that. Well, well no, no, you, you we can. Have a certain side we want those kids to be on, then we would rather argue just to basically just give them our position. And, well, well, no, because now you're throwing now you're throwing the dice that they will just happen to not have the wider uptake um, yep. with with the broader public. You can have debates, but there's a careful way to do it. Um, the reason why James was so quiet, and the reason why he wasn't willing to like be hard handed with any of the people there is because he's a slime ball and he wanted to retain them for future debates. This is accurate. This has nothing to do with um, the issue with debate. Debate is very valuable. Even debate around dangerous issues can be extraordinarily valuable if it's done responsibly. Um, he's rolling the dice because he doesn't care what the outcome is. A great example actually would be old, uh, once upon a time, Politicon had actual debates uh, before whatever the hell the last few years have become. Um, and you'd see things with actual back and forth. You'd have a few minutes to make your claim. And the moderators were like reporters and people who gave a shit. And so they wouldn't let something slide. Uh, it was important. Because again, uh, the thing we're seeing here is advocating for children. That's what this is. This is winning the hearts and minds of the next generation. Because it's anyone who's swayed, if they're 30 years old and you watch this and you go, well, you know, I was fairly, you know, on the side of Ukraine, but man, this hostile really got me. Like, yeah, you're lost. You never were there in the first place. But children, that's uh, that's who we're actually, this is for. That's who YouTube's for. People don't want to talk about that. YouTube's for children. My audience is apparently between 23 and 27, oddly enough. I yeah, was... you have like seven, you have 12 people. Like, like when you get into those big numbers, that's the kids. That's Fair the kids, enough. man. I, I have I have on average fifty now. You take that back, sir. Well, I'm, I'm I am early. I am completely wrong. I apologize. You are a big <laughs> big player in the space. I am. I'm a president, in fact. All right. Yes. I I need to get out of this chair. So let's call it here. Um, All right. Um, I just wanna I just wanna congratulate Haas and Jackson on their uh, their astounding victory. I didn't think they could do it. Congratulations. <laughs> proving me wrong. <laughs> yeah that was that was amazing <laughs> i will say uh this i hate haas enough to say that this was this was wonderful this was kind of wonderful yeah it was pretty good congratulations good night everyone good night good night, good night.